Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. So, Brookie, what did Luke say after you told him that? Oh, he didn't really say anything. He kind of just ran out of the room. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, Brookie, I gotta go. My sister's being annoying. What? I am not, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, try not to fight too much. I love you both. You're both my best friends, and I want you guys to get along. You don't have sisters. You don't know what it's like. Daisy, why are you on my bed? Um, because, Molly, um, I accidentally spilled water on my sheets, and my bed is wet. I don't care. This is my bed. Get off of it. It's my property. Molly, I'm studying for my science test, and it's very important. Besides that, Dad's downstairs running the vacuum. I can't study down there, and I can't sit on a wet mattress. Ugh. Why do I have to share a room with my sister? That's it. I've had it. Mom! 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 What is it now, Molly? Oh, my gosh. I'm washing these dishes. Mom, I want my own room. No, I need my own room. Well, Molly, there's only one bedroom for you and Daisy. One for baby Kira, which you don't want a room with her because she's up half the night crying and needing a diaper and a bottle and... Ah! Why can't I have my own room? I'm the oldest. You got your own room. No, correction. I have to share it with your dad and he snores and talks in his sleep. Sometimes he even farts in his sleep. Ew, gross. Look, Molly... This is the house that your father and I can afford. Yeah, and it's great, isn't it? Even as an elevator. I never thought I'd live this amazingly. Oh, man, this house is great. Well, it doesn't seem that great to me. Why don't we buy one that has a, my own room and Daisy has her own room? Molly, you obviously don't remember what our first house was like. Yeah, Dan, she was too little. <laughs> but I remember that house like it was yesterday. Baby shark doo 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 Baby shark doo 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 Molly, be quiet. I can't hear Coco mowing. No, I want to sing it. Baby shark doo 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 You're super annoying, Molly. Oh, you're super annoying. Okay, girls, that's enough fighting. Come on in the kitchen. Your mom and I are making something delicious for dinner. I kind of hungry. Me too. I'm kind of hungry too. What are we having? Oh, look, girls. It's taco night. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited, Molly? What's wrong, Molly? Why the sour face, honey? Oh, I don't want to eat any tacos. What? Why not, honey? You love taco night. It's so much fun. You get to make your own taco, and then it tastes so delicious, it goes into your tummy. I don't want to put anything in my tummy. Oh, do you have a tummy ache? Yeah, I have a really bad tummy ache all of a sudden. I think I think I need to go sit back down and watch Baby Shark. Oh, I think she just wants to watch Baby Shark instead of eat dinner. Um, Dan, you obviously don't know our daughter. <laughs> Her want to watch anything over eating tacos? I don't think so. She loves tacos. I really don't think she has any desire to eat dinner. She just acts like she doesn't feel good. Oh, my tummy really hurts. Oh, honey, I'm going to go get you some medicine, okay? And you can drink some Pepto-Bismol. Maybe it'll make your tummy feel better. I don't want to take medicine. I don't like medicine. Okay, honey, here's some Pepto-Bismol. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it. Molly, come on. Be brave. Take deep breath. You can do this. Come on, Molly. You can take the medicine. It's okay. <laughs> I'll give you a um, prize. Do we actually have a prize? Oh no, I'll have to look around and see if I have a toy or something that we forgot to give her for her birthday. <laughs> Just take the medicine, honey. Your tummy really hurts. Ew, it tastes gross. I know it tastes gross. Hey, look it. Look what I've got. 
I took my medicine, so I get that cute little monkey, right? That's right, sweetheart. Oh, here you go, honey. You can have the monkey. Thank you, Daddy. It's really cute. Oh, no. With the monkey, my tummy doesn't feel so good. Uh-oh, honey. Do you need the pukey bucket? I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! I need Mr. Bucket! Uh-oh, he got to throw up. <laughs> Oh boy, looks like somebody might have the stomach bug. Oh no, if she's got the stomach bug, it means we're all gonna get the stomach bug. Not me, I'm not gonna get it. Oh my god, my tongue queen. Oh man, she must have a fever. She's got it really bad. Well, I just gave her the medicine, so hopefully some of it stayed down there before she threw up. Don't worry, Molly. Pepto-Bismol always makes me want to throw up too. It tastes terrible. I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to throw up my taco. Ew, gross. That's so disgusting. Oh, man. I can't even move off the couch right now. Tommy hurts so bad. Oh, my gosh. They both have the stomach bug, Laura. We're doomed. What are you wearing? I'm getting my hazmat suit and uh, my face mask and... Uh, um, uh, I need to get some hand sanitizer. Oh, honey, I think we're probably going to get the stomach bug, too. You know how that germs happen. The stomach bug is relentless. And we only have one bathroom! Ah! Wow, Mommy, I never thought we'd be so sick that we'd match the couch. I know, we're so sick we turn green. Oh, I have to try to make it to the toilet. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, I gotta change my clothes again. I hope you hurry up in there, Dan. I, I need to throw up. I need to use the bathroom. I gotta go potty. Me too. Why do we have a house that only has one bathroom? Oh, no. Oh. My turn. I have to go potty next. I'm not gonna wait either. I have to go so bad. Wait, where's the potty? There it is. I forgot for a minute. It's because I'm so weak from having the stomach bug. Oh, I just, I just throw up in the shower, I guess, you know, because, girls, can you hurry up? I need to use the potty again. I'm not done in here. <laughs> oh, man, I think I'm going to throw up in the sink. Oh. Are you girls almost done? I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, never mind. Too late. That's why we saved up to buy a bigger house. We needed more than one bathroom. Holy guacamole, that sounds awful. Yeah, this house was really expensive. Brookhaven is, well, very expensive to live in, and so we did the best we could. But rest assured, if you ever have to go potty because you have the stomach bug, there's more than one bathroom. <laughs> yeah, too bad there's not more than one bedroom for me and Daisy. But I'm thankful and grateful that you guys bought us such a nice house to live in. I guess I am pretty lucky. Aw, thanks for saying that, Molly. Well, I better get started on dinner. Dinner? What are we having? Are we having tacos? I never want to look at another taco again after that day. Me either. I love tacos. I know, but your father and I can only have tacos like once a month. Every time we think about them, it's like, oh, I'm reliving that throwing up thing all over again. Anyway, we're having nice, healthy, delicious salads. Oh, salad. No, honey, what's wrong? Are, are you getting the stomach bug again? No, I just can't stand the thought of another salad. Oh, oh I'm with Molly. I'm having a hot dog. See, dad's eating a hot dog. Well, I gotta eat salad. I don't wanna eat salad. Dan, we're setting a good example for the girls. Stop eating the hot dog. You're not the boss of me! I can eat a hot dog if I want to! Unless you can catch me! Oh, wow. So grown up of him, huh? Yeah, well, you just can't make your father eat healthy. You just can't. <laughs> Dad, this show is hilarious. Mmm, these Doritos are good. Oh, baby Kira did not want to go down for a nap. Oh. Sorry, honey. I'll get her on the next one. Sure. Mom, you want some Doritos? That might make you feel better. Oh, yuck. Those smell so gross. Doritos smell gross? 
What's wrong with you? My stomach hurts really bad. Oh, honey, that sounds terrible. Would you like some chicken noodle soup? No! Don't talk about food! Ew! Do you want some water? No, I don't want anything. I just want my stomach to stop hurting. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Maybe you have the stomach bug. And if you do, I'm going to stand way over here because I don't want it. That's good, because the smell of those Doritos is going to make me throw up. Oh, man. Maybe we better get you the puke bucket. Molly, seriously, please stop crunching those Doritos. Okay, Mom, I'll put them away. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Here you go, honey. Here's the barf bucket, just in case you need it. Thank you. Oh. Oh, incoming. Blech. Ew, gross. Okay, um, it's about time for me to leave. <laughs> Marley, what's going on over there? You're interrupting my reading. Mom's throwing up into a bucket. Ew, gross. Is she in the stomach bug? I don't know what's wrong with her. She might. Oh, no. We're all going to catch it. I just know it. Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of baby Kira. Thanks, Dan. Uh. <sighs> Is it time to wake up already? Come on, honey. It's time to get up for work. And, well, the girls, they, they need to be driven to school because, you know, vacation's over. No, I can't get out of bed ever again. Seriously, honey? Is your stomach still upset? Yeah, I threw up all night long. Honey, maybe you should go to the hospital. No, you take the girls to school. I'll stay here. Hopefully I feel better soon. Come on, Molly, get in! Why are we riding in the sheriff's car, Dad? Because Mom can't drive us to school today. That's right, girls, and I have to hurry so I'm not late for work. We look like criminals back here, Dad! Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> We're behind the metal cage, even. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's like a metal cage between the cop and the criminals, and we're we're in the back of the cop car, and we didn't even do anything wrong. Molly, if you get another detention, I'm gonna put you back here for reals and take you to jail. Seriously? Is Mom gonna be okay, Dad? I'm really worried about her. I'm worried too, but I think she's going to be fine. I may need to take her to the hospital, and if I do. I'll tell the school right away so they'll send you home. Really? Well, then we should definitely take her to the hospital because <laughs> I want to get out of school. Molly! See you later, Dad. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Love you. Okay, now I've got to drop baby Kira off at preschool. Oh, my God. I forgot baby Kira at home. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dad's having a really hard time right now. Yeah, he's not used to doing Mom's schedule, but don't worry. He'll get the hang of it. Seriously? What is wrong with me? Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh. Maybe a nice warm bath will help my stomach feel better. Oh, wait. You don't think? No, it couldn't be, Laura. Don't even think that. But it could be. Maybe I should take a test. Oh my gosh. I might be pregnant. Okay, the instruction said just to wait and see if it turns blue. If it's blue, it means I'm going to have a baby. I mean, I already have baby Kira and Molly and Daisy. Oh, there's going to be so many diapers. So many diapers. Okay, let's not freak myself out right now. It's probably just the stomach flu and I'll be fine tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it turned blue. O-M-G. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll just call Dan and ask him to come home, and then um, we'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey, honey, what's up? Are you still really sick? You need me to take you to the hospital? Um, Dan, could you come home? Um, okay, yeah. Let me just, let me just, um, um, tell my, my boss, and, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, Dan. See you in a little while. Are you okay, honey? Um, I think so. Okay, I'll be right there. Honey? Honey, what's honey? What's wrong? Are you okay? What's that you have in your hand? Um, well, it's a pregnancy test. A what? A, a, a what? A pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, okay, but why do you have that? Well, I have it because my stomach felt like it did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. Oh my gosh! Well, what did it say? It says I'm um, I'm pregnant. 
we're gonna have another baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, all oh, the diapers! So many diapers! Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Dan? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pull this together. We're having a baby? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Actually, honey, I'm kind of glad. You are? I love kids, and I think we have a really nice family. Oh, you too. Except for I wish I could stop throwing up. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Honey, are you okay? I'm gonna be a dad again. Maybe this time I'll actually get a boy. Three girls and no sons. <sighs> Look, Molly, Dad's car is home. Oh my gosh, he never comes home early. You know what this means. Something's wrong with Mom. Something's really wrong with Mom. Mom! 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 Oh, hey, honey, what's up? Mom, are you okay? Why are you eating cotton candy? Mm, it just sounded good. Huh? Are you dying? Tell us the truth. Girls, of course I'm not. But Dad and I have a really big announcement. Um, honey, I brought you all these snacks. I wasn't sure which one you wanted. Announcement? Yeah, Mom's finally over the stomach bug, apparently. Look at all this food. Nah, she'll be sick tomorrow morning, too. Seriously? Why? What, what's wrong? What disease do you have? Oh, I don't have a disease, girls. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Say what? Pregnant? What are you talking about? You already have a baby. You just had one. Her name's Baby Kira. Did you forget about her? No, it's just, well... <sighs> you're going to have a new little sister. Or brother. Oh. My. Gosh. Seriously? Yep, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I already took a test, so I know I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Another baby? What if this time you have a boy? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing news, ma'am. Well, Molly, what do you think about it? Ah, I can see into my future now. Come on, little brother. Please, stop stop pooping your pants. It's so gross. Oh, Molly. Mm -hmm. The other one needs a diaper change, too. Other one? What are you talking about? Yeah, your little sister, remember? Huh? What? How many babies did you have? Oh, just another eight. Eight? <coughs> shh, hush, little baby. Hush, hush. Oh, my gosh. Mom, stop having babies. My future looks grim. Oh, Molly. But look at all the snacks you get till the baby gets here. Baby, is there only one or is there eight? Eight? I hope not. <laughs> Dan, if I'm having eight babies, we need a lot more pizza. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you want some uh, juice with that too, honey? No, she can't have eight babies. No! wake up mom no no school today please girls you don't have school today wait what what's going on mom are you surprising us with disney <sighs> if we go i want to go to magic kingdom for sure mom and i want to see the fireworks <laughs> molly we're not going to disney was school canceled because of the snow oh my gosh no girls today you have Dun, 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 dun. A dentist appointment! Wait, what? A dentist appointment? No, Mom, I don't want to go to the dentist. That's boring. I don't like going to the dentist. Someone is always like sticking their hand in your mouth and... Yeah, that's part of going to the dentist. They check your teeth. I hate it. I'm not going. I've got to study for my science quiz in, in study hall today. Sorry, girls, but you've had this appointment for like a month. I just haven't told you because neither one of you would want to go. Now... Hop to, get dressed, we don't want to be late. Ugh, Mom! I'm going back to bed. Molly, get out of bed. Unless you'd like to be grounded from Brookie for a week. What? No, I'm out of bed. I'm out of bed. Oh, no. I hate going to the dentist. Come on, Molly, we're going to be late. I'm coming, I'm coming. I couldn't find my other shoe. Molly, if you just put them back in the closet, you would know where they were. You'd think that you were my second mom, the way you boss me around. Whoa, both of you girls are pretty grumpy about having to go to the dentist. It's going to be fine, I promise. 
Well, it sure beats going to school, that's for sure. All right, girls, we're here. Yay! Molly, I feel like you were honest with that yay. Totally was not. I don't want to. Molly, we're already here. Just go inside and wait in the waiting room. Seriously? Dr. Molo and Dr. Payne? I hope I get Dr. Molo. Yeah, Dr. Payne's name is basically exactly how he is. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! One time I almost bit his finger. What? Molly? <laughs> Not even kidding. He just was like, ow. He was like pulling my cheek kind of funny. And then he like grabbed my tongue to look at it. And it hurt. And I I don't know. My, my, my teeth just wanted to come down and chomp on him. Well, good morning, girls. I'm Dr. Moeller. Who's going first? She is. No, she is. Uh -oh. Actually, I have Daisy on my clipboard first. So, Daisy, you're up. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. Good luck, Daisy. So, Daisy, how are you doing? I'm okay, except for I'm at the dentist, and I don't like being here. No offense or anything. No offense taken. I'm um, just going to take a quick peek inside your mouth at your teeth. I don't like anybody's fingers in my bath. It's weird, and I don't like it. I know. I'm just going to look in there with a the light. Okay, can you say ah? Ah. Very good. I'm going to be very gentle when I examine your teeth, okay? Okay, I guess uh, you seem pretty nice, Dr. Molo. Mm hmm okay, uh-huh. It looks like you're doing a great job brushing and flossing. How many times a day are you brushing and flossing? I brush in the morning after breakfast and floss, and then I can't really brush when I'm at school, um, but I brush at night before bed and floss. Wow, that's great! Okay, well, you don't have any cavities, so you are done with your appointment. Really? That was quick and easy. Yeah, no cleaning this time, but I expect you to be back in a few months for your cleaning, okay? Sure thing, no problem! So, Daisy, did you get your teeth clean? No, she said next time. That's just her way of getting you used to being here at the dentist's office. Next time, she's definitely going to clean your teeth. It's okay, I trust Dr. Molo. Okay, Molly, you're next. So, Molly, have you been brushing and flossing? Yeah, because I don't want to have cavities. That stinks. Okay, Molly, just say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoa, you're drooling a lot, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> My nose is kind of stuffy, so that's okay, Molly. Here you go. I have a bib for the babies that come in. I'm not a baby. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, ooh, um, hmm. Was that a good ooh or a bad ooh? Um, not really a good or a bad. Just a noticing that your teeth are a little crooked. <gasps> what? No, they're fine. My teeth are perfect. Actually, Molly, um, I'm going to recommend that you get braces. Say what? Braces? Nope, nope, nope. Pass. Hard pass on that one. Um, I don't think this is really an option, Molly, because your mom said if you need a braces, you should definitely get them. What? I don't want to. They might hurt. No, they won't hurt, Molly. And you'll look adorable in them. I have all different colors. Would you like pink, blue? What are you doing with that? That, 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 that tool! Uh-oh! Um, this is how I'm gonna ratchet them on. Ratchet them? That sounds not very fun at all. I don't want to have them ratcheted on. It's okay, Molly. I just need to get my screwdriver and my drill and... No! No, 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 Molly, just trust me. I've been doing dentistry for so many years. I've done so many braces. Now, which color would you like? Huh, I guess purple. Awesome! Whoa, Molly, why does your face look so weird? Because it's still numb. Oh no, did you have to have a shot of Novocaine? Sure did. Well, let me see your teeth. Did she clean them? No, I don't want you to see my teeth. What? Why not? Because they just look different, okay? Molly, come on, let me see. I don't need to show you my teeth, okay? <gasps> Molly, you got braces. Yeah, don't remind me. I like the little purple parts of it. They're really cute. You look adorable in braces. I, I do? Yeah, don't sweat it, Molly. You look so cute. You know, Daisy, sometimes you're the most annoying sister in the world. Uh, thanks. But what I mean to say is, sometimes you're also the world's best sister. Aww. Thanks for making me feel better. I was kind of embarrassed about having to get braces. 
Don't be embarrassed. You're taking good care of yourself by making your teeth look lovely and healthy. So, um, I think you should just get a purple, like, sweater to go with them. You look adorable for school tomorrow. Yeah, don't remind me I have school tomorrow with braces! Hey, Molly, good morning! Hey, what's going on? What is going on with you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The dentist wired her mouth shut. <laughs> Really, Molly? Are you being serious? No, she's not. I'm not being serious about that. <laughs> Molly, seriously, are you going to open your mouth? No, probably not. Okay, well, you don't have to talk to your friend ever again if you don't want to, Molly, but I think it's silly. All right, Molly, I'm going to tell you a funny joke, and then you're going to have to open your mouth and talk to me. It's making me feel like you're mad at me or something. What? No, I'm not mad at you. Well, here's the joke. What did the Dalmatian dog say after it had lunch? What did it say, Brookie? She's great at jokes. It said, that hit the spot. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I can't laugh, I can't laugh. That <laughs> hit the spot. <laughs> Molly, whoa, you got braces. Well, 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 look who we have here. Brace face. What? What'd you call me? <laughs> Metal mouth, you look ugly. What? What? I. I. <laughs> Molly? Oh my gosh, Molly, I'm so sorry that Sarah was bullying you. I guess I should be used to it by now, but I'm not. I feel very self-conscious about these braces, and she made fun of me the minute I walked to the door. I knew I shouldn't have laughed at that joke. Sorry I told it, Molly. But it was pretty funny, right? Yeah, but that's not the point. I... Molly, don't pay attention to Sarah. She would tease you if you were perfect. And by the way, nobody's perfect. But I think your braces are so adorable. I love the little purple parts. Yeah, I haven't gotten a purple sweater to match it yet. Don't worry, we could go to the mall after school and pick out a perfect purple sweater to go with them. Really? You'd be seen with me with these braces? Are you kidding me? You are adorable in those braces, Molly. Now hold your head high and show Sarah that you don't care what she thinks. Thanks, Brookie. You're a good friend. Well, 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 who do we have here, Metal Mouth? Yeah, that's right. I am Metal Mouth and proud of it. Better watch out. Because if you stick your finger at me too much, I might bite it off with these awesome metal teeth. Yeah, that's it. Whoa, Molly, that was kind of a stretch. But I'm just saying, I am awesome with my braces. You're gonna gonna keep me down. Not gonna keep me down. Love my braces, yeah. Not gonna keep me down. I'm cool. No matter what you say, I love braces, hey. Please just stop singing that awful song. Whatever. Well, Molly, I bought some Oreos for lunch. Maybe we could celebrate getting rid of Sarah. Ugh, I can't have Oreos. Braces. Well, chocolate ice cream it is then. I can eat that. Yep, I can eat that with braces. <laughs> Just can't let the bullies ever get you down. Hey, Molly, guess what? What? What is it, Brookie? I video chatted you to tell you that I am having a party tonight at my house. Seriously? That sounds amazing. Oh, hey, Brookie. Daisy, get out of my room. Sorry, Molly. No can do. Da Daisy wants to be here, too. Why are you talking about yourself like that? Because I, I want to, okay? Guys, don't fight. I know your sisters and all, but you're both invited to my party. We what? A party? Are you serious? Absolutely. <laughs> it's tonight. Oh. What? What's wrong? Yeah, Daisy, what's wrong? Mom's never going to let us go. Yes, she will. She'll let us go. We'll see about that, Molly. Mom! 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 Uh, what is it, Molly? I'm kind of busy. Oh, I had a long day at the office. 
See, I don't think she's gonna say yes. A say yes to what, girls? Did you do your homework? Did you do your chores? Uh, Mom, our best friend Brookie is having a party tonight. On a school night? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, but it sounds like fun. We're gonna watch a movie. Can we please go? We'll be home before 10. Ah, uh, girls, not on a school night. You have homework. I already did my homework. Molly never does her homework, so what's the difference? Hey, I do it, like, once a month. Uh, sure, Molly, sure. Girls, it's a school night. You know the rules. Mom, even if it was a, a Saturday night, you probably wouldn't let us go. Come on. Don't be such a strict mom. Let us go, please. Girls, did you do your chores? Yeah. Did you really, Molly? Yeah, and I can do a few more chores before the party starts, even. Just let us go, please. Girls, the answer is no. No parties and no visits at your friend's house on school night. Oh, man. This stinks. Molly, uh, you could still do those extra chores, though. Ah! Hey, Molly, what's up? Just video chatting you to tell you a huge surprise. Really? I love surprises. Wait a minute. Did you get me a puppy? <laughs> yeah, right, Molly. Although that would be pretty awesome. No, I'm having a party at my house tonight. I mean, I know it's a school night and stuff. Yeah, my mom will let me come. Seriously? Hey, Daisy. Daisy, why are you in my room? Oh, can we just skip this part, Molly? I come into your room. You get mad. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. You're not supposed to be in my room. Girls, try to get along, okay? Okay, Mom. So, Brookie, uh, what time's the party? 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. We're watching an amazing movie. Can I count on you guys being there? We have to ask our mom first. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. She's going to say yes. She always says yes. Well, you guys should definitely ask her first. Okay, but count on us being there. Mom! Mom! What is it, girls? <laughs> I'm just baking this delicious cheesecake for dinner. Seriously, we're having cheesecake for dinner? Well, we're also having some chicken and sweet potatoes, but we could probably have the cheesecake first. Ooh, dessert first. You're the best. Mom, I was wondering, um, can I go to Brookie's house for a party tonight? On a school night? Um, I don't know. Did you girls do your homework? Yeah, I actually did. Me too, Mom, and my chores. Well, as long as you're home by 10 o'clock, I don't see why not. What are you going to do at the party? It sounds so fun. We're going to watch a new movie and eat popcorn. Well, don't get too full on all this cheesecake then. Is this too much cheesecake to eat? Daisy, that's the entire cheesecake. Ooh, it smells so good. I probably could skip popcorn later. Who am I kidding? I'm going to eat all this cheesecake and some popcorn. Whee! <laughs> yeah! Molly, where are you? I'm over here, Daisy. Look at these awesome tricks I just learned. Whoa, move over. I want to try some too. Yeah! Do the backflip. Do the backflip. Girls? Girls, where are you? Girls? <laughs> Whee! Marty, stop doing those backflips. What? Backflips like this one? Molly, what are you doing? <gasps> Molly, did you just do a backflip on the, tr on, the, on, the, on the... I can't even talk. I'm so upset right now. On the trampoline? Yeah. Isn't it awesome I learned how to do that? That is so dangerous. Don't ever do that again or I'm going to get rid of that. Mom, that's what that's for. You're supposed to jump up and down. Yeah, just up and down, not backflips. Your knee could have come up and, and smacked into your nose and then your nose would fall off. Uh, Mom, I don't think her nose would fall off. She may get a nosebleed. Yeah, Mom. No, it would definitely fall off. We'd have to go to the ER. They'd have to sew it back on. It would be terrible. Oh, my gosh, Mom. You're such a strict mom. I'm a safe mom. There's a difference. Now go inside and do your chores. Chores? But I want to jump on the trampoline. Chores are boring. Molly, it is time to do chores. Fine. Whee! This trampoline's so fun! Whoa, Molly, you learned a bunch of new tricks on that. You can do a backflip and everything. I know, right? <laughs> I'm awesome on the trampoline. Maybe I'll go to the Olympics. Molly, I don't think there's Olympics for trampoline. No, but gymnastics, and I could be pretty good at that. Girls, girls, where are you? Oh, there you are. Whoa, Molly, did you just do a backflip? Yeah, I totally did. Isn't it awesome? Well, I guess it could be kind of dangerous, right, Mom? 
No, move over. Let me show you how it's done. Mom? Oh my gosh, mom's amazing. Holy guacamole. Boing, boing. Mom, you are so cool. I know. I try really hard. Maybe after this we could go for ice cream, chocolate, vanilla, or all of the above. Ah, oh, four scoops for me. Me too. Daisy, 6.30. It's time for brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. OMG, it's a new episode. I'm so excited. Girls, girls, it's time for bed. Time for bed? <laughs> Mom, the sun is still up. Yes, and it's very important for you to get all of your rest. So that way, you're good at school tomorrow. Mom, it is like not even 7 o'clock yet. We can't go to bed yet. I'm not even tired. Well, you're going to have to get tired, Molly, because you need to get your rest. I want you to be the best student you could possibly be. I'm going to be a miserable student if I don't get to watch Brightly Colored Unicorn. It's a brand new episode. Molly, you don't want to be grounded, do you? Oh, man. Well, I got good grades, so I'm staying up late. No, you're not, Daisy. But our friend is outside. She wants us to come out and play. Hey, guys, can you come out? Uh, no, my mom says I have to go to bed. Um, but I'm a big fan. Molly, no fans. You have to go to bed. Okay, let me just say hi. No, Molly. Hi, thanks. Oh, my gosh. My mom's making me go to bed. I can't even talk to fans. She's such a strict mom. I'll be checking in a minute, Molly. You better be sleeping. Now she's making me actually fall asleep. Okay, fine. <sighs> Molly, you think we should go to bed? We've been watching Brightly Colored Unicorn for like hours. And it's 12.30. We have school tomorrow. Oh, I know. But tomorrow's Friday, so it's like the last day of the week. It doesn't even count, does it? Girls, <laughs> you're up late tonight. Mom, where'd you get the cheesecake? There's more in the fridge, the freezer if you'd want some. Of course, I could pop it in the oven real quick. OMG! Is that the stuff that you got that from that special food truck? Yeah, they make it homemade and then they freeze it and then you can buy it. And it's so good. Holy guacamole. Girls, um, so are you tired? Do you, do you want to go to bed? No, nah, I think I'm good for another episode. Besides, tomorrow's Friday at school. Hmm, this does look like I get a, a good episode. Shove over so I can watch too. Mom, you're so cool that you watch Brightly Colored Unicorn. Yeah, she really is. Well, who wants cheesecake? I do! Me, me! <laughs> we have the coolest mom ever. Ah, I'm probably going to be tired tomorrow though. Another day, another detention. And I missed the school bus, so now I have to walk all the way home. Oh, I'm so tired. It was such a long day. <laughs> What's that guy doing crawling around on the ground? He must have lost his car keys or something. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> ah! It's a, 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 a zombie! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Molly. There's no such thing as zombies. Where'd you get that cool Halloween costume? Uh, something tells me that he's a real zombie. Ah! Stay away from me, zombie! Stay away! Brains. Is he still behind me? Oh, gosh, yes! He's still coming behind me. Oh, my gosh! Okay, maybe if I just wind him around these swings, he'll get all trapped up, and then and then he won't be able to get me. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work, right? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know I'm over here, guys. He's just running around. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's sitting down on the swing. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta run home. Wait a minute. First, I should take a picture because I don't think my family will believe me that, 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 that there's there's zombies in Brookhaven. I've gotta pull my phone on my backpack and 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 take a photo. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Say cheese, zombie. No, I said cheese. Okay, yeah. All you can say is brains. My house. I've never been so happy to see you, house. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Daisy! Daisy! What are you freaking out about, Molly? Oh, it's probably because you're going to have to tell Mom you had detention again. No, Daisy. No, it's it's much worse than that. You got in-school suspension? Molly! No, 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 no. I, I, 
I was walking home from detention, and, and, Molly, take a deep breath. You look like you saw a ghost. Worse, a zombie! Molly, don't be ridiculous. Stop pranking me. No, Daisy, seriously, I really saw a zombie in Brookhaven. I think there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. No, there's not, Molly. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Look at this. Holy guacamole! You, 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 you took a picture and some video of a real zombie? Whoa, that's YouTube gold. Oh, maybe we could put it on TikTok too. Daisy, not the point. We're gonna, we're gonna be eaten by zombies. They, they all want our brains. Oh my God, we have to tell Mom, and then we have to leave Brookhaven. Okay, well maybe you should tell her. She believes you better. Yeah, that is true. You fib sometimes, but have your photo and video as backup, just so we can show with a proof. Got it, Daisy. Come on, let's go tell her. Ah, <sighs> what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Oh, hey, girls. Molly, did you have detention again? Um, yes, but Mom, we have something very, very scary, drastic, and crazy to tell you. What? Are you girls okay? What's going on? Mom, take it from me. I didn't want to believe Molly when she said this, but it's the truth. There's a zombie in Brookhaven. What? What are you talking about? That can't be true. Show her the video and the photos, Molly. Okay, Mom, come look. What is that? It's a real-life zombie, Mom. We have to get out of here before all of Brookhaven panics, and, 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 and we can't get out of here. Oh, my gosh, you're right. Okay, you girls go start packing your bags. I'll call your dad at work. If we don't get out of here soon, Mom, we might turn into zombies. Don't talk like that, Molly. Just go pack a bag. Don't bring too much. We need to be very mobile. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do I pack for a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to think of it as packing for a vacation. We're not staying in Brookhaven where the zombie apocalypse is. We're staying in a beautiful new town where there's no zombie apocalypse. Well, that is true, but I'm going to miss my friends. Yeah, me too. Here's hoping they don't turn into zombies. Yeah, here's hoping. Are you packed already, Daisy? I sure am, Molly. Daisy, do you think I should pack my metal detector? What? Why? Why would you need that? In case, you know, maybe you could detect a zombie or something. Molly, ma, they aren't made of metal. Uh, yeah, but, okay, yeah. I guess I don't need that. How about my guitar? And then I could be like, la, 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 in case we have a campfire. Molly, we're not going to have a campfire. We're just trying to escape from some zombies. Okay, well, what about my ice cream cart? You know, that thing is amazing. And we can make some extra money. I could sell it on the beach, you know. I could sell chocolate ice cream. Molly, just pack some clothes and stuff. And don't forget underwear. Why? Um, Should I not pack, like, you know, like anything else? Like my computer or... Yes, bring your computer, of course. But, like, just, like... Clothes, underwear, socks, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, the necessities, not a guitar. But what if we get bored and you need me to sing you a song to turn that frown upside down and not think about some zombies? Ay, ay, ay. I think sometimes, Molly, you're already brain dead. Oh, Daisy, that's rude. Just pack, Molly, hurry. I'm packing the guitar. I don't care what she says. Don't worry, family. I'm going to take care of all of us. Dad, you made it home. Yes, and I saw five more zombies. And and, it, and it's not good. They're going to make the announcement soon, and the roadways are going to get all clogged, and we're not going to be able to get out of Brookhaven, and then we're going to turn into a zombie family. Oh, man, that sounds awful. Okay, let's go get in the car and get out of here. Bye, Brookhaven. Bye, beautiful house. I'm going to miss you. I brought a little vehicle to help us, uh, so, you know, the zombies can't get in. Well, at least not right away. Only guacamole, Dad. You're super prepared. Okay, Molly, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy, long ride out of Brookhaven. Really? Why aren't the roads paved? No, this vehicle is just really bumpy. Oh. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, listen, Dad. Um, they're making an announcement on the radio. Maybe they're going to give away, like, free tickets to Disney since, uh, you know, Brookhaven's kind of zombified. I don't think so, Molly. Let's just listen to the announcement. We want to let you know that zombies are starting to take over Brookhaven. We don't want anyone to panic. No panicking, please. But we don't want any of you to turn into zombies. 
So we're asking you all to stay in your houses. Do not leave your houses. Uh-oh, we broke that rule. Not really, Molly. I mean, we didn't know that we were supposed to stay in our house before they made the announcement. But look, we've already made it to almost the line. You know, the line out of town. Whoa! So far, nobody's on the road. Well, give it some time, Daisy. I'm sure a lot of people will be on the road soon trying to escape Brookhaven. Good thing we got out when we did so we don't turn into zombies. Dad, look! It looks like they put a wall up all around Brookhaven! Yeah, but look, there's still one road we can get out of. No, they've got a construction on that road. It's closed. Well, Molly, this is kind of a circumstance where I don't care about road construction. We need to get out of here before the zombies get us. Okay, Dad, well, put the pedal to the metal and let's get out of here. Mom, look, we're almost out of Blackhaven. I know, honey. We're finally going to be safe. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Wait a minute. It's blocked. What? There's like a force field here. Oh my gosh. They've, they've, they've made it impossible to leave. But the zombies are in Brookhaven. You have to let us out. Let us out of this force field right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's official. We're doomed. Breaking news, breaking news. <sighs> the government has put a force field around Brookhaven because we are now considered a zombie zone and they don't want it to spread to the rest of the country or world. I hope you all remain safe and don't become zombies. This is our last news report. Goodbye. What? They put a force field around us and they're not gonna let us leave? But they're zombies! Speaking of zombies, um, there comes one right now! Ah! Okay, um, guys, we need to go, like, right now. Where are we going to go? Everything's closed up. I don't know, but there's a zombie coming and I can't get inside this giant truck. We're all going to die. Ah! Well, no, we're not going to die, Molly. We're just going to turn into zombies. We're now being a zombie family. Brains. I don't want to be a zombie. I don't want to be a zombie. Daisy, I'm so excited about our sleepover with Brookie, aren't you? Totally, Molly. This is going to be so much fun, but what are we actually going to do at this sleepover? I thought we'd watch a movie, eat popcorn, maybe do like a dance-off, watch TikTok videos, and play Roblox, of course. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, look, it's Brookie. Brookie! Hey, what's up? Come on in. Whoa, your bag looks really heavy. Are you staying for a night or a week? <laughs> I wish I could spend the night for an entire week, but my mom's too strict for that. I really had trouble um, getting her to agree to let me spend the night for one night. Well, then we better make it the night of our lives. Daisy and I were just talking about the fun things we could do. Really? Is Roblox on the list? Is watching TikTok on the list? Is eating popcorn and watching a movie on the list? Check, check, and check. All of those fun things are on the list. I knew you guys would have the best sleepover ever. I'm gonna go put my stuff upstairs. No problem, Brookie. I'll start on the popcorn. Uh, Molly, you might want to come here, baby. I'm trying to get the popcorn, Daisy. What is it? Um, someone's at the door. Are you going to let me in or are you just going to stand there? Jeepers. Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Ugh, I guess I'll open the door for myself. Rude. Uh, Sarah, okay, I didn't actually invite you in, but all right, um... What are you doing here? I came for the sleepover, duh. I got the invitation in my desk at school. What? Wait, you sat at Brookie's desk today. Yeah, I can sit in any desk that I want. Well, that's why Brookie didn't get the invitation and I had to call her and invite her. Uh-oh, Sarah actually got Brookie's invitation. Wait, so you didn't actually invite me? Remember, Molly, don't stoop to her level. Don't be a bully. Um, well, um, yeah, sure. Of course I invited you. That's what I thought. I'm such a popular girl. Like, who wouldn't want me at their sleepover? Oh, Sarah, um, hi. What are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover. I got an invitation. Duh. She got an invitation? Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have another friend join us for the sleepover. Well, whatever. Now that we've agreed that I was invited. Ugh, duh. 
can we actually have the sleepover? Like, what are we doing? We're doing so many fun things. We're watching a movie. We're playing Roblox. We're watching TikTok. What? Boring, boring, boring. Everyone knows that cool and grown-up sleepovers are always stay up all night challenges. What? Stay up all night? But we have school in the morning. So? If you don't want to be a loser and you want to have a super fun, super cool sleepover, you take the don't sleep in Brookhaven challenge. Duh. Well, um, what do you guys think? I'm going to do it because I'm going to be cool. I don't know. I need my beauty sleep. You sure do. Okay, Sarah, no being rude. Ugh, all right. I'd say sorry, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah, we know. <laughs> What are you laughing about? I didn't tell you to laugh. Ah, uh, this is my house, Sarah. I can laugh if I want to. <laughs> oh no, I've got the giggles. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Stop making me laugh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, I can tell this sleepover is going to be very annoying. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute! Oh my gosh! Those TikTok videos of kittens are so cute! Lame. Okay, well, watch these TikTok videos of these dogs. Also lame. Ah, oh, it's 11 o'clock. I'm getting so tired. Don't forget, we're taking the No Sleep in Bookhaven challenge. Yeah, um, maybe we should start playing Roblox. That'll keep us awake. Good idea! Nothing keeps you awake like playing Brookhaven. You live in Brookhaven. I know, but I'm going to play Brookhaven on Roblox while I'm living in Brookhaven. Whoa, mind blown. Oh my God. What is Granny doing in, in, in Brookhaven? And there's Piggy and they're after you. Don't worry. I've got my supersonic rocket launcher. I'll take care of them. Whoa, Sarah! Oh, I'm getting very tired. Me too. Oh, it's almost midnight. I'm so tired. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Where is she going? She's doing laps around the house. Maybe to wake her up. Uh, that's actually a good idea, but I'm really lazy, so that just makes me more tired. There it is! This ought to wake me up. Nothing's gonna wake me up. Me either. Oh, really? How about this? <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? Molly, quit squirting us with the, with that, the, the, the fire extinguisher, you Looney Tune! <laughs> oh, no! Here it comes again! <laughs> I'm so giggly! <laughs> That's because you're so tired, Molly. Uh, I'm tired, too. Oh, I think it's going to make me fall asleep. No sleeping! No sleeping! Okay, okay, I'm awake, I'm awake! Wait, no, 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 I, I, I'm not. Well, there's one down, two left to go. Brookie, wake up! Wake up! You, you need to wake up! <laughs> Brookie? It's no use, Molly. She's down for the count. Like I said, <laughs> two down, one down. What? Are you talking wrong, Sarah? Are you getting sleepy? No, I just was terrible at counting for a second. Anyway, one down, two to go. You mean three? You're in this competition too. <laughs> There's no competing with me. I'm amazing at everything. Except for being nice. You're not very good at that. <laughs> Oh, boy, Molly. Good thing I brought this Starbucks. Two hours later. So tired. So incredibly tired. Molly, you need some coffee and stat. Yeah, and not just a cup. A bucket of coffee. Somebody get me a straw. Bing! I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. And I'm gonna win this no sleep challenge. Oh no, she's gone to hyperspeed. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of caffeine, Molly. That was probably a bad idea. Oh my god, I'm so awake. Oh my. Uh oh, I drink too much coffee. Now I gotta go poo poo. Oh, that's what happens when you drink too much coffee, Molly. Oh, I'm so tired. I 
I... Dizzy, wake up, wake up, wake up! Nope, that happening. I'm going... <sighs> down. <laughs> well, loser, it just looks like it's you and me. Well, I'm not a loser yet. <laughs> looks like I'm going to beat you at this competition. I don't think so. Jeepers, I thought all that coffee would keep me awake. But it's so late, I, 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 I'm just falling asleep. La da da, la da da. Go to sleep so I can win this competition. Sarah, you're cheating! What, me? Never. <sighs> you don't even have an angelic voice, but you're still kind of making me tired. You know you want to close your eyes. Go to sleep and I'll give you a surprise. Yeah, the surprise will be you'll win. I don't think so. What are you doing in your bathing suit? I'm going outside to wake myself up. It's 20 degrees outside. Exactly, that should wake me up. Oh, this isn't too bad. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Wake up, Molly, wake up, wake up, wake up. You will not lose this challenge. You will not. I can do anything. That I put my mind to. I'm gonna win this challenge if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> there, I'm awake. <sighs> oh, poor Brookie. She hardly lasted at all. Daisy did a little better, but... <sighs> Not that better. Where is Sarah? She seemed to have disappeared. Maybe she went in here for a snack. There she is over there. What's she doing? She's sleeping, sitting up in the chair. <laughs> I won! I won! Everybody wake up. I won, I won, I won. I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. <laughs> Best day, well, and night, and day, and... Wait, what, what day is it? Ugh, I'm too tired. <laughs> but I won! Oh yeah, really, baby Kira? I have no idea what you just said. Girls, it's time to do your chores. But mom, we're watching this amazing TV show. What? About a raccoon? Yeah, mom, it's really interesting. This adorable raccoon is basically just hanging out, being lazy. Um, sounds a lot like you girls. You both have chores and you haven't done them yet. I did a blah 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 blah. Yeah, my exact thoughts. Why doesn't baby Kira have to do chores? I'm not sure that's what she said, Miley. Yeah, I think it's what she said. I don't want to do chores. Well, but you girls need to help me. You're you're so grown up now. You, you can vacuum. You can do the dishes. Well, what does baby Kira have to do? She can just stay here and watch the raccoons on TV and, you know, not get anybody's way while we're vacuuming. But, Mom, I want to stay here and watch the adorable, lazy raccoon. I mean, look at him. He's at a wildlife shelter, just like recuperating. And, you know, he got injured. Someone, like, hit his foot with a car. And it's a crazy story, Mom. Oh, uh, that's lovely, Molly. But right now, what I need you to do is vacuum the floor. I don't want to. Baby Kira doesn't have to. That's because she's a baby. And when you're a baby, you get away with everything. I did not why, yeah. Yeah, you are lucky, baby Kira. You get to chill out on the couch and watch a raccoon show. This isn't even fair. Sticky old chores. Ugh. Molly, can you switch with me? I, I need to do the vacuuming. What? No, I don't like doing the dishes. But I can't, Molly. I broke my wrist and remember? I'm not sure mom actually remembered. Because if she did, she'd probably have me doing the vacuuming and you doing the dishes. What? No, I hate doing the dishes. There's all that food stuck to the plates and then it gets under my fingernails. It's so gross. Molly, I have to vacuum because I I can't get my cast wet. Ugh, fine. Ugh, I hate being so grown up. Stinky old dishes. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, this isn't so bad. I mean, I at least have one arm that I can vacuum with. <laughs> Molly, are you almost done doing the dishes? Yeah. 
seems like it took forever. Like, I'm pretty sure uh, it took me at least a year. That's a year of my life I can't get back, Mom. A year! Molly, you've been doing the dishes for 15 minutes. Now it's time to get your homework done. But, but, Mom, I just finished my chores! I know, growing up is so hard, isn't it, Molly? I can't have any more responsibilities! Oh, Molly, you're just getting used to being a grown-up, that's all. I'm not a grown-up. I know, but we start practicing when you're this age. What? No! Oh my gosh, I don't, ah, I don't want to do any more responsibilities. Daisy, help! I'm not in charge here, Molly. I can't help you. Well, at least I can do my work on the computer. I hate having to write things out with a pen. No one will be too upset if I just play Roblox for a little while, right? I mean, holy guacamole, all this responsibility. It's too much for me. It's too much. What? A new Roblox game? Costs 50 Robux to play. Wait a minute, how much do I have in my bank account? Zero dollars? That's okay, I'll ask mom for some money. Mom! Mom! Yes, Molly? Hmm, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Mom, um, can, can I have some money? For what, dear? Are you done with your homework? Um, uh, well, I'm working on it. But anyway, there's something that I want a whole lot, and I've been doing my my responsibilities and um well what is it molly is it something for school of course i can help you pay for something if it's for school no it's so i can buy robux because there's this game on roblox i want to play and molly you have a job you have your own money now well uh don't tell me you spent all your money what could you possibly spend all your money on well um it all started when i can't believe that i'm the ice cream truck driver this must be the best job in the entire world. OMG, I love the ice cream truck. Can't wait to go inside and see what it's like. What? Ever since I got my driver's license, I'm like the most best dream job ever would be driving the ice cream truck and serving all this delicious ice cream. I wonder what it's like inside. And now I'm finding out. Look at this, chocolate, vanilla, birthday cake, bubble gum, and mint chocolate chip. Yes, delicious. All right, well, I guess I should be open for business. Yeah, this is the best job ever. The best job! Hello, can I get some service down here? Daisy? Yeah, I want an ice cream of five. They sound delicious. What you got up there? Oh, we've got everything delicious. What What can I get for you? I'll have um, a scoop of birthday cake, please. Okay, one scoop of birthday cake coming up. I'm just gonna get a cone and then go over here, get the birthday cake. Mmm, this smells delicious. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, you're not supposed to lick the customer's ice cream cone. That's disgusting. Well, I gave you two scoops, so that was too much. So I'm just gonna lick one, one of the scoops and then give you the other. Forget it. That sounds disgusting. Okay, well, I guess I'll just eat the whole thing then. And while I'm at it, mmm. Look at that chocolate. That looks good, too. Mmm. Oh, this chocolate one's good. Mmm. So good. Mmm. And, um, by the end of the day, I had eaten all the ice cream. Oops. And, well, uh, my boss sort of made me pay for all of the ice creams, and then he fired me. What? You lost your job already? You only worked one day, Molly. Well, that's why I don't have any money. So can I have some for Robux? Uh, no. And also, no! Now go do your homework. Oh, man! This stinks. Look at Baby Kira's still watching the adorable raccoon! That's it. I've decided I'm no longer going to be responsible. I don't want grown-up training. Grown-up training sounds awful! Doo-doo! Yucky! Miserable! Ugh! Molly, what are you doing? Why are you pulling out all those old baby clothes of ours? Because I've decided I'm going back to being a baby. What? What are you talking about? You're being crazy right now. Um, I'm not crazy. Here's the thing. Mom expects us to try to do this grown-up training where we have all these responsibilities. It's too much. I can't do homework and chores on the same night, especially when the rogue raccoon on TV show is on. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh, my sister's having a nervous breakdown. Pretty much, I'm reverting. I'm going back to being a baby. Uh, Molly, I don't think this is going to work. Seriously, if you can't beat him, join him, Daisy. Here, I got a little onesie for you, too. <laughs> Molly, I 
can't remember their bunny ears hair. It's ridiculous. What? I think it's adorable. And ga 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 go 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 ba 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 Oh, yeah, you're just trying to be just like Baby Kiwa. Pretty much. Whoa, did you just take your brace off? You're not supposed to take your cast off. Well, for being a baby, I sort of have to. Okay, don't break your wrist again. Ugh, if it wasn't bad enough, you broke it the first time. We couldn't even go to Chuck E. Cheese because of that. Oh, yeah, not like it was, like, really awful for me or anything, Molly. Wee! Wee! What is that sound? Baby Kira, are you crying? Are you okay? I need a little guy and Molly and Daisy, your babies. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Molly? Daisy? Daisy? Why are you dressed like babies? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Girls, that's enough of that now. Come on. I don't want to get animal responsibility, so I'm not doing them. I'm a baby again. Too bad. Molly, you, Daisy, I, I, okay, I would expect this from Molly, but I would not expect this from you, Daisy. You like responsibilities. Well, everybody needs a break. You're working us too hard. Now, excuse me, I'm having a snack. <laughs> Looks like you have three babies now. And guess what, Mom? I just made a poo-poo. You better not have Molly. You're not even wearing a diaper. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not done yet. Oh, my gosh. I want Baba. Oh, my gosh. I'll get you a bottle. Just, just stop crying like that. Oh, I can't deal with three babies at once. It's like having triplets. Molly, it's actually working. I know. No responsibilities. And you and me, we get to watch the raccoon TV show. <laughs> Look at him. He's so adorable. Where's my bottle? I also want a donut. Molly, babies don't eat donuts. You have to just eat a bottle. I want a donut, though, too. Well, I don't really think you can. You're a baby. Daisy, I'm not really a baby. I'm just pretending to be a baby. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Mom. Mmm, this is going to be so delicious. <laughs> Ew, what is this? It's baby formula. Don't you remember how delicious baby formula is? No, ew, that gross. I don't like it. Molly, are you having a temper tantrum? That's it. Time for you to take a nap. What? I don't take naps anymore. No. <laughs> Naughty little baby. Ow, stop kicking me. Ouch, you're kicking me. Molly, you, uh, if you want to act like a baby, then you're going to be treated like one. Good night. No, I don't want to get in bed. I'm not doing it. Good night, Molly. Have a good nap. Oh, maybe being a baby isn't all that's cut out to be. This kind of stinks. Or maybe that's just the smell of my super dirty diaper. <laughs> I'm sneaking out of here. <laughs> she doesn't get to tell me what to do like a baby. Nah, 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 nah. I'm sneaking out. Oh, there's your back. It's turn. Okay. Molly, what are you doing? Hey, you're not dressed like a baby anymore. That's because being a baby isn't what it's cracked up to be. Mom, Molly snuck out. She thinks she doesn't have to do what you tell her. Well, first of all, whether you're a baby or not, I'm still your mom, so you have to do what I tell you till you're an actual grown-up. Second of all, since you want to be a baby, you're going to get treated like one. Time out, chair. Time out, chair! Oh, Molly, you're going to get in trouble. You shouldn't say bad words in baby talk. But, 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 but! No buts about it, Molly. Time out, chair. <laughs> Being a baby is, is terrible! And very annoying for me, Molly. Are you done being a baby? No! I don't want to ever not be a baby because then I have to go back to having responsibilities. But also, this is kind of annoying too. I don't know what to do. Should I be a baby or should I not? Oh. Well, Molly, if you can't beat him, join him. You might as well act like, well... Your own age again. Ugh, I hate when my sister has a point. Good morning, Molly. Mom, too early. Too early. 
<laughs> Molly thinks I'm her mom. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Molly, seriously, it's time to wake up. Mom, I don't know why you sound so funny, but it's too early. Molly, open your eyes, please. Huh? Grandma? Is that you? It sure is, Molly. Grandma! I'm so excited to see you right now. What are you doing here? Wait a minute. Did Mom decide to take a vacation without us? <laughs> no, of course not. Although I'm sure sometimes she feels like she might need one. Nah, not with us. We're the best kids in the world. Sure, sure you are, Molly. You're the best grandkids in the world for sure. Well, I'm so excited to see you today, Grandma. Are you excited to see Mr. Meows a lot, too? Yeah, your cat's pretty cool. He can hang out. Oh, that's great, because I love cats. I love every kind of cat. Okay, Grandma. We know you love cats. They're your favorite. Good morning, Molly. Did you see that Grandma's here to babysit us? Yeah, Daisy. It's awesome, right? I love when Grandma comes to visit. Me too, Molly. Me too. Okay, girls, what's for breakfast? Everything! Just make everything! Molly, she can't make everything. Don't be crazy right now. Oh, I bet I could make everything. Yeah, see, Daisy, she can do it. Oh, this toast was delicious! Glug, 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 glug. Orange juice was good, too! Okay, well, here's some bacon and eggs, girls. Ooh, looks delicious, Grandma. You really are the best cook in the entire universe. I agree, Molly. She really is. Well, girls, um, what did you want to do after breakfast? I don't know, something super fun, Grandma. What do you think? Well, fun is my middle name. Ha, <laughs> Grandma, you're awesome. Ooh, bacon and eggs. One of my favorite breakfasts. Breakfast, Daisy. Breakfasts. 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 That's what I said. <laughs> Daisy, you're cute. Mmm, doesn't this look good? I just made myself some hot chocolate. Whoa, Grandma, that does look good. I love hot chocolate. It's one of my favorites. So, girls, how's school going? School's going great for me, Grandma. Don't ask Molly, don't sheesh. Daisy, that's not true. I've been studying. Yeah, one time in your whole life. Ooh, Molly, you have to study. You want to be smart, right? Yeah, Grandma, I am smart, though. Smart enough to know that it's time to watch the brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. The news, boring. Ooh, let's see what's on the news. No, Grandma, that's boring. Ooh, Gordon Blaxier. I love to watch him cook. No, Grandma. We're going to watch this. What's this? It's called the Brightly Colored Unicorn. It's amazing. Grandma, can I sit next to you? Of course you can, dear. I wanted to sit next to Grandma. Get up, Molly. No, I was here first. You, you didn't get here first. It's not my problem you didn't get here first. Fine, Molly. The Brightly Colored Unicorn. The Brightly Colored Unicorn. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Mr. Meows a lot. Did you toot? <laughs> no! Grandma's cat farted! Molly! Well, it did. Ew, Mr. Meows a lot. What have you been eating? Oh, he eats a lot of cat food and tuna and bagels. Bagels? Grandma, you're not supposed to feed your cat bagels. Well, he likes them with cream cheese. <laughs> Don't, Molly, I smell it too. It was Mr. Meows a lot. No, Molly, it's you. Molly, please go take a bath. You're starting to get a stink cloud. Oh, but Grandma, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, it's not nice to blame a toot on Mr. Meows a lot when you're the one that needs to take a bath. Fine, Grandma. Ugh, don't want to take a bath. But Grandma's still pretty cool. I forgive her for making me do things in the morning like take baths and brush my teeth. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm clean! Okay, I better brush my teeth because if I don't, Grandma will be like, did you brush your teeth? And I'll be like, no. And then she'll be like, we'll get back in there and brush them. And I'll be like, okay. 
Brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth. Brush, brush, brushing, brushing my teeth. Ah, I feel so clean right now. Grandma, I took a bath and I brushed my teeth. Daisy, did you brush your teeth? Um, well, um... No, she didn't! Daisy, you have to go do that! Don't take my seat, Molly. It's not very really nice. Okay, Daisy, I won't take your seat. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. The brightly colored unicorn. Molly, you don't just want to watch TV all day, do you, dear? Mr. Meows a lot. Really could use some fresh air. Well, then you're in luck, Grandma, because... Basically, we have the biggest backyard in all of Blacksburg now. Just wait, Grandma. We have a huge backyard. Do you want to see it? I love the outside. At my house, at the retirement home, we have a garden. It's so lovely. Mr. Meows a lot loves it, along with his 99 brothers and sisters. Grandma, 99 brothers and sisters? How many cats do you have? I think it's 100 the last time I counted. I love cats. I love every type of cat. Oh, MG. My grandma is crazy about cats. Okay, everybody, let's go outside and play! Oh my gosh, look how big our backyard is. It's so amazing. I don't, Molly. We just put in those hedges so it's like green everywhere. Daisy, you want to have a race? So, Molly, I love races. Grandma, do you want to race too? Oh no, dear. I'm much too old for that. I'll watch you girls. Does Mr. Meows a lot want to have a race? No, Mr. Meows a lot just likes to sit here on my shoulder and be lazy. Mr. Meows a lot. Lazy little kitty. He talked to me! Say something, Mr. Meows a lot. Say something. The Toy Hero fans are watching. Come on, Mr. Meows a lot. He's kind of shy sometimes. Yeah, right. He talks all the time. <laughs> Mr. Meows a lot says, subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. You won't regret it. Okay, Daisy, let's start here. And on the count of three, I'm going to say, um, three, two, one, go. And then we're going to run to the other side of the yard. Are you ready? I'm ready, Molly. Three, two, one, go. Molly, you seen it. Not really. I just, I didn't remember to say one. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Yeah. Whoops. I jumped over the hedge. Daisy? I'm right here, cheetah, cheetah, pumpkin needle. Lyle, lyle, pants on fire. Hey, it looks like one of our friends are here. Hey! Hi! Are you a fan? That's awesome. Nice to see you. Do you want to play? We're playing, um... We're playing, uh... We're playing races. Molly. Oh my goodness, you couldn't even talk. And go! I'm gonna win again. I'm gonna win again. Oh my gosh, I'm super awesome. I'm gonna win again. Okay, Molly, whatever. You were racing yourself. Oh, now I'm hot. I gotta get in the pool. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Hey, Toy Hero fans. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel, okay? Yeah, guys, don't forget. I'm gonna go down the slide now, Daisy. Whee! Ah, oh, nobody can find me. Me little. I wonder if Grandma will come looking for us. Daisy? Ah, oh, Daisy disappeared. Girls? Girls? Where are you? Girls? Girls? Grandma doesn't know I'm down here. Ugh, I can't hold my breath much longer. Girls? 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 <laughs> oh my goodness, you girls tricked me. And Mr. Meows a lot hates going in the water. I know. I tried to get him swimming lessons. Grandma, you tried to get your cat swimming lessons? Yes, he really just needed to know how to swim in case he fell out of my cat boat. Cat boat? What's that, Grandma? It's a boat that I bought for me and my cats to go out on the river. Why? Because they like fishing. <laughs> Grandma, I love you. You're so strange. Well, when you get old, you do things like put cats on boats and go out into the river. Okay, Grandma. Well... I'm very young, so I don't know anything about that. But you're still the best grandma in the entire world, even if you're crazy about cats. 
Well, I love cats. I love every kind of cat. <laughs> All right, Tao fans. We'll see you next time. You guys are amazing. We love you. Bye. Mm, this is delicious. Mm. I mean, I kind of wish I had some dessert, but you know, as far as sandwiches go, this one's pretty good. Molly, Molly, what you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Hey, why are you sitting in baby Kira's high chair? I accidentally tripped. You tripped and fell into the high chair. Well, I'm a little clumsy. I just got new contacts. Ooh, don't you want to wear glasses? You'd be so cool. No, I want to wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses. Molly, do you want to come outside and play with me? Uh, no, not right now, TC. I just want to, like, hang out. But we could play soccer. It would be so much fun. No, I want to eat my sandwich, chill, and watch some TV, okay? Mm. But you have fun playing soccer. I can't play soccer by myself. Uh, I guess I'll just swing on the swings then. Uh-huh, okay, well, have fun. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, boy. I could take a nap like this. Daisy, what, what, what is it? Why are you crying? I, I, I... <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? What happened? Was there a bully at the park? No, Molly, I, I, I got poked in the eye. Hey, guys, you guys want to hang out? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, my sister got poked in the eye. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. Can you see out of it? It's, 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 well, it's bluey. Daisy, just blink your eyes and, and, and maybe it'll get better. No, Molly. Everything is still really bluey. Something is not right with my eye. I need to go to the hospital. Well, Daisy, uh, Mom has the car. I can't drive you there. Call 911 then. Okay, I'll call 911. Um, uh, call emergency services. Here we go. Why is my phone broken? Are you serious right now? Well, why aren't they coming? I don't know. They're not answering. Ugh, this phone is broken. Maybe it's not your phone, Molly. Maybe it's the hospital. I don't know, but the ambulance is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with the ambulance, but but we did a paramedic. Don't be scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, sorry, but we can't hang out right now because my sister got poked in the eye and she might be going blind. Okay, Daisy, come on. I'm gonna lead you to the hospital. We'll have to walk. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a walk, but you can do it, okay? You didn't break your leg, did you? No, I just I couldn't see where I was going because these new contacts and 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 and, and, and I got. Well, poked in the eye with a stick. Oh, Daisy. Oh, no. Come on. Well, follow me. Come on. You can hold my hand and, and we'll walk to the hospital together. No. Wrong door, Daisy. That goes into the bathroom. Well, I can't see anything, Molly. Well, I don't think the toilet's going to help you. Unless, you know, you have the poo-poos. Then you should probably go there. Molly, this is not the time to joke. I can't see. Okay, Daisy. Don't panic. Come on. Let's go. Okay, Daisy. We're at Maple Hospital. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, look at those little babies. We are, they're supposed to be at the vet, not here. Molly, stay focused. Hi, what can I do for you today? Are you sick? Uh, no, but my sister got poked in the eye with a stick and she can't see really good out of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll get her admitted into the ER and have a doctor in right away. And also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> are you a subscriber? Molly, not the time to talk about this. Look at my eye. It's swelling shut. Oh, no. Okay, well, can you get us in right now? Of course. Anything for Molly and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. I'm bleeding over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, you got a lot of patience today. We sure do. Okay, head on over to the ER room, please. I'm about to have my baby, and it's making me very grumpy because I was on my way to get an Italian sub, and now I don't even get my sandwich. Whoa. Somebody get her a sub. Scat, watch where you're going with that stretcher. You almost ran me over. Okay, um... Here, I'll grab the wheelchair. You sit in it, okay, Daisy? Um, I don't want to disturb you because I know your sister is sick, so I just made this sign. And could you read it, please? Are you recording? Oh, my goodness. Daisy, we're famous even when we come to the hospital. Well, our fans do love us, but I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't look at that right now. I can't look at anything. All right, Daisy, we're going into the emergency room. Everything's going to be fine now, okay? I hope so, Molly. I want to be able to see again. I know you do. Okay, here. Um, just get up onto this bed. 
Uh, when will the doctor be here? Any minute, I'm sure of it. Excuse me, I need this room. I, I'm gonna have a baby. Hello, I'm the doctor. What seems to be the problem today? I'm here. I'm gonna talk to the doctor. She got poked in the eye. Okay, why don't you move on out of here? You are okay. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Just because that lady's not gonna have, uh, she gonna have a baby doesn't, doesn't mean that, um, she gets the bed. You're fine. You're not even sick. Scram. Ah, this doctor's crazy. Holy guacamole. Okay, Daisy, let's go into this other room. Obviously. What? I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he might be an imposter right now. Okay, apparently this doctor is not crazy anymore, and he's going to help my sister. I, I'm having trouble breathing. I'm so nervous. Okay, well, we're going to put this oxygen mask on you, and tell me, can you see this? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Okay, you're probably going to need a shot. What? A shot? Oh, boy, Daisy hates shots. Oh, my gosh. I don't want a shot. It'll help. Don't you worry. Uh, let's get an IV started here. An IV for her eyeball? Ah, uh, guys, could you stop stepping on my sister? <laughs> Seriously, you're going to give her a concussion. Oh, my gosh. I got here as quickly as I could. I got your papa. Yeah, I got your papa. Oh, my gosh. What happened, Molly? Um, well, Daisy went over to the park, and her new contacts made her eyeballs not work quite right. They were a little blurry, and, well, she ran into a stick on a tree and poked herself in the eye. Oh, my gosh, my sweet girl. <sighs> um, I think this girl needs to have a doctor because she's laying on the ground, and... Okay, are you okay? Yeah, <sighs> sometimes I just have my back seize up on me. Ugh, it's the worst. I can tell. Oh, my gosh. Maybe they have a shot for that or something. Oh, poor little girl. Hey, why don't you go over to the gift shop and get something for Daisy to make her feel a little better? Here's some money and, um, you know, get her anything that she loves, okay? Okay, Mom. No problem. Wait, where's the gift shop? Oh, boy, the last time I was here was when I had baby Kira. The gift shop was in the basement at that time, but that was over a year ago. No problem. To the basement. Finally, I found the elevator. That seemed to take me forever. La, 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 la. Whoa. Well, this doesn't quite look like the, the gift shop, but maybe it's closed? I don't know. I better look around and see. Holy guacamole. It's kind of creepy in here. What's that, a science lab or something? La, 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 la. Brr, it's freezing in here. Wait a minute. Where am I? Use the hospital bed to place a body into the freezer? Oh, I didn't find the gift shop. I found the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, it's okay. I can just get out of here, right? Yeah, the door opens. Wait a minute. Why is it opening and closing? Is it, is it going to lock behind me? Ah! Am I locked in here? Oh, my gosh! <sighs> what was that? My stomach must be growling. I haven't eaten food in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Great. the door opens. Oh, it looks locked. Okay, I know what to do. I just gotta put him back in the freezer, right? Get on this bed, zombie. Get on it! <sighs> okay, this freezer looks empty, right? Okay, in you go. Give me your brains. O-M-G, guys! I put that zombie in the freezer and now I need to get this door open Um, and get out of here! Okay, the gift shop is no longer down in the basement. And it seems like they're testing on zombies down here. So, um, yeah, let's try a different floor. Um, well, um, uh, th the second floor, maybe? Oh, gift shop should be there, right? Can't be any worse than what I just witnessed. I can't believe there's zombies in the hospital. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. Wait, this is the gift shop, right? I mean, there's toys in there and, oh yeah, maple gift shop. Okay. I have to pick out something that I think Daisy would actually like. Oh, look at that teddy bear. I bet she would really like that. She'd be able to snuggle in and yeah, she'll love this. Slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. Sorry. I've got to go see my sister. She's got a, 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 a her eye. Oh, wait, there she is. Okay, why is there somebody with a dumbbell on top of my sister? You should be in daycare. <laughs> I'm so nice. Bye. 
Buddy, is that you? I can barely see you. Oh, sorry. Here, I, I brought you something that you're really gonna love. Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Are you frowning, Molly? I can sort of see you a little now. The doctor's been giving me some some medicine for my eye. Yeah, it's a teddy bear, and yeah, I'm frowning, and yeah, it's because I saw something crazy, and and then and, and, and it scarred me for life. Oh boy, Molly. I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, Daisy. I'm, I'm really not sure. It was crazy. Where's Mom? Oh, she went to get some coffee. Okay, baby Kira, uh, Mom will be back with a bottle in a minute. I'm sure of it. Here, you can have this teddy bear. What? That's supposed to be my teddy bear. Well, I'm sorry, but I think baby Kira might need it. She feels really sad. I'm back. Mom, baby Kira needs a bottle. Oh, man. Did you, wait, did you find the gift shop? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, it was quite the adventure. Could you please go up to the maternity ward and get your sister a bottle? Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost this time. And make it quick, Molly. Well, I know that the basement isn't the, where the maternity ward is. I guess I'll go up to the third floor. Oh, it says ultrasound. I always wanted to go in one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, that's where they see the babies. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over to this section and see if we can find a bottle around here. Ooh, this is like, this is pediatric care. I bet there's one in here. Is there any nurse here? Because that baby is crying. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this baby up because I don't want it to cry. And the nurses seem really busy. rock a baby in the treetops. Gosh, is that a second baby crying? rock a babies in the treetops. Okay, well, I've got to go down and give my sister that bottle. Um, I guess you guys can come with me, because, um, yeah, uh, baby Kira gets very grumpy if she doesn't have her baby bottle. Hey, Molly, what are you doing with those babies? Well, they kept crying, and I was going to bring baby Kira her baby bottle, and, well, I didn't want to leave them there, and a nurse wasn't there. Molly, you can't just walk out of the maternity ward with babies, but they needed someone to love them. <coughs> see? See what I mean? Oh my gosh, Molly. Take those babies right back right now before we get arrested. Well, it's not like I stole them or something. I just, well, I, I, oh boy. I can see this is going to be a very bad day. You're having a bad day. Try being me. Oh boy. Okay, well, here's the baby bottle. I can't get one, I can get one, I can get one. I know, you love baby bottles. Mm, it's pretty good. Molly, don't drink baby Kira's baby bottle. Has anyone seen the missing babies? Uh-oh. That doctor's looking for these babies. I didn't mean to take them. I just tried to soothe them. I was going to bring them back. All right, we need to um sound the alarm. There's children missing. There's children missing from the maternity ward. Well, let's try to get these guys back here before anybody notices, well, that um they're gone. Too late. Everybody notices they're already gone. Maybe they just crawled away on their own. Yeah, just stick you guys down here, right here, like this. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, the nurse is gonna find you in about two minutes. And I'm just gonna sneak out of here so I don't get in trouble for um, trying to soothe the babies. And um, oh, it's just a disaster. Oh my gosh, I gotta run. I don't want them to see it was me. Truly, I don't steal babies. All right, I go back down and see my sister now. Oh, wait, I didn't take this elevator before. Okay, there's the emergency room. This hospital is so huge. I can't even find where I am sometimes. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Did you take those babies back? Of course I did, Mom. Of course I did. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's doing, like, gymnastics and dancing on Daisy. And they're also doing CPR. Um, you guys are not real doctors. She has an eye infection. Oh, my goodness. I feel better. Can we go home? Oh, man, someone has diarrhea. We need to get out of here before we all catch the stomach bug. Daisy, are you seeing any better? Yep, I'm completely cured. Let's go home. Well, here's all the ambulances. They could have been more helpful earlier today. Would you please watch out? You've run into me about five times. Oh, my gosh, that old lady is, like, so mad. Oh, no, there's somebody else having a baby. Whoa, I wonder if that's the ambulance that I tried calling. Now I know what happened. Daisy, you're wearing glasses? Yep, after that crazy time I had at the hospital, the contacts aren't worth it. 
Yeah, <laughs> you think you had a crazy time? Wait till I tell you what I saw in the basement. What? Was it haunted? No. Worse! <laughs> channel my sister daisy and i are going to play a brand new escape grandma today yeah she hates us because um we're her worst grandchildren i guess <laughs> oh my gosh is that an olive on her face no molly it's supposed to be a what holy guacamole it looks like an olive it's so big so guys we have some sad news that we want to tell you before we start this game yeah guys um i broke my wrist uh, last weekend, uh, she was climbing a tree. She was trying to be just like me, and, well, she fell out of the tree, and she hurt her wrist. Yeah, actually, I had to have surgery on it. But she's back to being able to play Roblox, so, but she might just be kind of like a noob until her wrist completely heals. Yeah, so, guys, don't be hating on me if I, if I make mistakes and die a lot, because, um, my arm is still in the cast all the way down my, to my wrist, so, I can only just move my fingers, but I might not be able to play Roblox as good. But we still love her, right, guys? Send Daisy lots of get well wishes in the comment section below, okay, guys? We're so glad here at the Star Squad to have her back to making videos. Even if she is my annoying sister. <laughs> Molly! That's not very nice, you know. I, I'm injured. Can't you be a nice old sister? Um, well, not really. <laughs> Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Molly took the cookies from the cookie jar. Mmm, yum! They're delicious! Molly, quit getting distracted by the cookies! You're just upset because you only have one hand now, and so you can't eat two cookies. You can only eat one at once. Yeah, that does kind of stink. Guys, if you have a broken a bone in your body, let me just say it hurts really bad. And, well... I'm glad that it's being fixed because um, I want it to just be over with, basically. Yeah, my sister was in a lot of pain when it first happened. I was there when she fell. It was really sad and scary, but she's okay now, so don't worry, guys. She's, she's healing, and you're still doing better than me with one hand, Daisy. How is that even possible? Because you stink at Abby's, Molly. That's why. <laughs> I'm playing this Roblox with one hand, and I'm still better at it than you. Where, where, where? Oh, aren't you so perfect? Oh, there's ugly Granny. Oh, man, she's got so many hairs on her face. Granny needs a razor. <laughs> so she can cut all her hair off of her face. She's like the bearded lady. Ooh, look at all these cookies. Doesn't it make you want to eat some, Daisy? No, they're probably booby trap. Ooh, Daisy just got killed. I wonder by what. But the psycho granny chasing you. Oh my gosh, she's really mad. Look at her face. Oh man, you can't be mean to my sister. She broke her wrist. Be nice, evil granny. Okay, here comes Daisy. She's trying to get by granny. She's too busy freaking out. What? She's got a cookie shop here or something. She's storing all the chocolate chip cookies in the world. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Yes, Molly. You gotta go up this fan. Oh no, not the lasers. Anything but the lasers. You people know that I hate the fan lasers. I am so terrible at them. Oh my gosh, I, I might actually make it. Oh, I actually made it. I'm getting better, I think, I hope. And Daisy's gone again. Daisy's so much better at this game than me. No, Molly, actually I died. I was behind you. Oh, look at these shiny crystals. Come on, Molly, we don't have time for that. We have to try to get through this lava. Oh no. Except for you just died. I know, I'm always dying in these games. Good thing I didn't break my wrist or I wouldn't be able to do anything. I can barely survive with my wrist being, both of my hands being okay. Can you imagine if I broke my wrist? No, Molly, I think that that would just be tragedy. Whoa, Daisy, you gotta move quick on this one, girl. You gotta move quick. Do you need help? How you gonna help me, Molly? You're too busy trying to survive yourself. Daisy, uh, I hate to admit this. But when I had to make these videos and play Roblox for myself last week, I really missed you. Really, Molly? Yeah, really. Uh, sometimes we're annoying to each other because we're sisters, but I just, I love playing Roblox with you. Guys, if you would miss Daisy playing Roblox, slam that like button. It's a flaming meatball. Go, Daisy, go. Molly, my legs aren't broken, just my wrist. I can run. Okay, not as fast as me, though. Yes, just as fast as you. Whoa, that flaming meatball comes out there quick. I think they're actually... Giant balls of yarn. Ooh, look at this. This is kind of pretty. 
Is there anything else down there, though? Nah, just the flaming meatballs. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna miss some sort of trick or something. Like a secret part of the game. I love secret parts of the game. This is kind of pretty through here. I want to, like, hang out in here. Um, Daisy, what's this about? We're we'll gonna race Granny, I think. Yeah. Granny can go extra fast because she's got fart power. <laughs> Actually, she's already beating me because she does have fart power. Oh, I gotta speed up. <laughs> Get out of here, Granny. Oh, I'm right behind her. What if she farts? You're definitely a goner if she farts, Molly. Okay, Molly's um Molly is actually picking up speed here. Beating Granny. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going down some stairs, seriously? Stairs on our car? That seems dangerous. Oh my gosh, I think I beat Granny. Well, this is good news because then I don't have to do that part all over again. Good job, Molly! You're still slower than the person who only has one hand, though. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, look it! We're gonna go down where the cookies are baked. That's probably not a good thing, Molly. Whoa! Ow! Ow, that really hurt my wrist. Really? No, not really. This is just Roblox. I only broke my wrist in real life, not in Roblox. All right, let's go up in this event and see if we can get out of here. It's crazy granny, crazy granny. Free cookies. Well, let's go down here. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, it tricked me. All right, now what do we got to do? Oh, I think we got to do a speed run. Wee! Whoa! More speed run. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa! I just got killed in the in the milk or whatever. Holy guacamole, this goes by so fast. Okay, this part's kind of hard. Holy guacamole! Ah! I keep dying in that same spot because this part's really hard. Boing, boing, up to the top. And then more jumping. Wee! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh, look at me, guys. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead Ooh. yet. Okay, now I'm dead. Do you have any Robux? Maybe you could skip the stage. I don't need to skip the stage. I can win. Okay, DZ, when your wrist was broken and I had to play this one game by myself, oh my gosh, it was so hard. It took me like four hours, Daisy, to complete it. Really? Yeah, for real. It was so hard. Boing, boing, boing. But it's good to know you missed me, Molly. I did miss you, Daisy. Who else can annoy me like you? Ditto, Molly, ditto. I think we gotta go up this way, Daisy. And then, um, oh yeah, over here where the arrow is. Unless it's another trick with the one that says free cookies or whatever. Look up. Um, okay. Why am I, okay, why is it doing that though? Like, oh, we only have enough to like bounce to the next thing, I guess. All right, enough, enough wind power. You make enough wind power for everybody, Molly. Are you trying to say I fart a lot? Uh -huh. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> oh, brother. Yes, I completed it. Go me. Ooh, look it. A topiary hedge. And why is Granny sitting out here? Because she's going to chase us through a duh. Is she really? She just sort of looks like she's sitting there. Oh, no, here she comes. And she's got evil gnomes out here. Ugh. They have creepy eyes. I like gnomes. I think they're cute. You would, Daisy. You would. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button. Oh, gosh. Granny just... Kill me with a cookie? I don't know. If you gotta die, I guess that's a good way to go. <laughs> okay, Molly, we both died on that round. But that's because it was practically impossible. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but when we get out of here, it looks like we have to fight a giant gnome. I so want my backyard to look like this. <laughs> it's so creepy and cool. I have to agree, Molly. It is pretty creepy. Oh, man. I didn't even pull the lever. Are you serious? Ah, no! I don't want it any more of your poison cookies! Okay, hopefully it's saved this time, because I don't have Daisy to show me the way. Oh, yeah, I've got to go this way. Follow the gnomes! Follow the gnomes to get back home! Um, okay, I pushed the lever, so now I can escape! Dun, 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 dun. Wow, she has a beautiful backyard. Why is she so grumpy? Oh, she's waiting around the corner. Look at her. She's angry again! She's always angry. Oh, we get to go behind this beautiful waterfall. Okay, decent obbies. You definitely made a decent obby. This is really cool. Now where do we have to go? On a log ride, Molly. Duh. Oh, Daisy didn't make it. We gotta jump in the lily pads. Boing, boing, boing. Wee! Got it. I feel like the, the gnomes, they're, they're watching me, Daisy. Uh, what's that giant cookie do? I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be an epic boss in three, two, one. Keepers of the cookies. Oh! Okay, best granny game ever! Uh oh, she's after me. She's after me, Daisy. You can bite her. You can bite her with your fake teeth, though. 
Granny's trying to kill me with her walker. And I'm going to kill her with some fake teeth. Granny's trying to kill me with her walker. And I'm going to bite her with these fake teeth. Okay, keepers of the cookie. Whoa, oh, here comes some more. Ba-boom! Ba-boom! Come on. Down you go, Granny. All right, I love this game. This game is awesome. If you guys haven't played it, this is fun. Grandma's trying to kill me with the walker, but I'm gonna take her down with these fake teeth. Oh my gosh, I've almost won. Ah, no, oh, I died at the end. Are you serious? That makes me mad, man. It makes me really mad. Well, it looks like Granny killed you with a walker, and you tried to kill her, but it didn't work. Granny tried to kill you with a walker, and she did actually kill you with a walker. Okay, thanks for singing the second verse to my song, Daisy. Oh, gosh. Here's another one. Boom! Gotta shoot all the grannies before they kill me. Boom, boom, boom. Ah! Oh, my gosh. I ran right into that one. Oopsie. Dentures launcher. Oh, my gosh. This is too much. Daisy, this is the perfect game for you to play, Um, like, being back for the first time. Couldn't agree more, Molly. This is pretty funny. Except for I beat them already. Blah, 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 blah. You're so great at Roblox. I know. Everybody knows Daisy's good at Roblox. Why are you trying to kill me, lady? They don't want you to survive, Molly. Duh. Oh, my gosh. There's more. There's always more. Come on, Molly. You got this. You can do it. Get that granny. She's right behind you. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. Molly, keep moving. They're going to be right behind you if you don't. Boom, boom, boom. Gonna kill you with some dentures, lady. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, Molly. You're so close to winning. You got this, girlfriend. Ha <laughs> ha! I think I did it, Daisy. I think I did it. You did it, Molly. Congratulations. Oh, it took forever to take down that grandma with those dentures. Yeah, Molly. It really was crazy. It only took me one try, though. Oh, look at... We have we have uh, chocolate chip um, wheels on our car. That's super cool. Oh, my gosh. I see myself up there. All I have to do is not crash. And I'm going to get a badge right now, guys. O-M-G. This is one of my favorite Escape Grandma games I've played. This is really fun. Look at that, guys. Look at... I just won. That's amazing. Look at me. I'm huge. All right, let's go see Granny. Ugh, she is creepy. Ugh, but we escaped her, so we're all good. And look, guys, you can teleport back to the start if you want to play again, and you're crazy like that. What are our other options here? Ooh, speed and jump. I definitely want to get onto the jump button. <laughs> all right, can I go jump on Granny's head? Because that would be so cool. I don't know if I can, guys. I'll probably die right here. You crazy, Molly. I know, here we go. Jumping on Granny. No! <laughs> I totally died. Oopsie. Maybe if I jump on the tree first and then jump on Granny? I don't know. You guys know I love to do this, but I think the trees are like not real trees, so you can't jump on them. Guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to say something sweet to Daisy in the comments since, you know, she's been through a lot the last week and a half. Yeah, I really have, but still better at Roblox than you. What are you doing, Daisy? You forget how to do an outro? Come on. Sorry, I'm a little out of practice, okay? But at least I'm better at Roblox than you are. Daisy! Ugh, you're starting to make me less happy that you came back to playing again. Really? No. I'm super glad that you're here. Me too, Molly. Me too. <laughs>
Who's having a salad when they come to Chuck E. Cheese? Everybody's eating pizza. Tasty toppings. Pepperoni, sausage, peppers, onions, um, pineapples. What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking extra cheese and pepperoni. Bookie, am I right? Yeah, that sounds delicious. Ooh, look, we get like a special birthday party package. We get soda, chips, and pizza. Awesome! And look, there's Chuck. Hi, Chuck. It's so great to see you. Haven't seen you since I was little. They gave me balloons, Molly, because it's my birthday. Whoa, that's amazing. Let's, wait, I have to go to the bathroom. Molly, be careful. The bathroom is kind of creepy. Um, why? And also, I can't go in. It's closed. Maybe I can go in here. No! Okay, the bathrooms are closed. So if you have to go to the bathroom, um, you can't go. All right, guys. Um, our pizza is ordered, though. So, like, let's play some games and, um, yeah, see what happens. Chuck E. Cheese's <laughs> sketchbook. Hey, I was playing this game and it's my birthday! Whoa, Brookie's getting angry. Sweet spin. All right, I'm gonna try this one. I hope I win, like, a million tickets. Come on, come on, come on! Wait, is this broken? All right, let's try the ski ball. That's usually fun. Oh my gosh, are all these games broken? Oh, um, Molly, don't get too upset. It's a thought that counts, right? Right, I think so. Except for nothing's working. Swipe card to play. Oh, maybe I gotta have a card or something. Let me go see if I can find a card. Okay, I've got my, um, my credit. So now I want to press start because I want to play ski ball. Oh, wait, I think this goes over here. Why won't this work for me? Molly, just chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. Your ski ball is not working. Just try a different one. Okay. All right, finally. Wham! Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't do so good on that one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I got 2,000. I got 9,000. Holy guacamole. You're amazing at ski ball. Molly, do you want me to help you? No, I don't need help. I just, I need to win ski ball like once or twice. Oh, that ball is stuck. Huh. <sighs> You got 9,000? How am I ever going to beat that? It's the thought that counts, Molly. We're here for my birthday. Oh, I got 3,000. How many balls do I have left? Oh, I got 5,000. Okay, I'm doing better. I don't feel as lame now. Well, that one was kind of stinky, but... Look at this person over here. They got 10,000. Wait, what? I looked away for one second and I got 9,000? OMG! Gonna do a little dance. Gonna do a little dance Um, at Chuck E. G's. Nice song, Molly. Yeah, I couldn't think of what to say. <laughs> Day at the beach. Oh, wow, that looks fun, Daisy. It's totally fun. Square one, um, bowling. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of, like, shooting game? Like a carnival game? I love these. Um, I don't know. That's a lot of tickets. Uh, land on the pad to win. Dog pounder. <laughs> these games look so fun. I don't know if I can actually play this one. I, I don't... Some of them you could play, some not. But... Pull the handle, yeah. Okay, I'll pull the handle. Come on, big winner! Attention, Chuck E. Cheese fans! We have a birthday girl in house, and her pizza's ready. Meet us in the showroom, Brookie, and you can have an amazing party. I won 50 tickets! And also, Brookie, Daisy, it's time for us to eat our pizza and watch the show! I hope they heard the announcement. I'm sure they did. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Holy moly. This is awesome. <gasps> There's even a birthday cake for Brookie. That is so cool. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your birthday cake. Oh no, it's not my birthday. It's my best friend's. It's your birthday. Don't lie. It's not my birthday. It's her birthday, Brookie. <laughs> You're just being silly. Don't you want birthday cake? I want you to go away because you're super annoying. Molly, don't be rude to the dog. Can't remember what character he is. All right, guys, let's eat some pizza. Mmm. Are you going to sit here the whole time? Ho, 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 ho. Probably. I love the customers. Um, okay. Well, guys, the show's about to start. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, unicorn princess. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you since math class. Oh, well, why are you guys at Chuck E. Cheese celebrating something special? Ho, 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 ho! Of course they are! They're celebrating Molly's birthday! What? No, no, we're not! We're celebrating Brookie's birthday! Oh, this Chuck E. Cheese has gone right downhill. Oh, well, happy birthday, Brookie! Um, I'm so glad that you are able to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Can I hang out with you guys? And my friend, too? Uh, yeah, you guys can both hang out with us. I think all the pizza's gone, though. But you can have some delicious cake from this dog. 
Okay, everybody, attention! The show's about to start! Hey, does anybody remember that cheeseburger being a part of the animatronic show? Oh, yeah, isn't that, um, oh, no, I, I don't know if I remember. Oh, wait, yeah, Cheesy McCheeseburger or something? Cheesy McCheeseburger is not one of the characters. Like, you got Chucky, you got the bird thing, you got the weird... The purple monster guy that looks out the corner of his eye at you and you wonder, what is he thinking? There's the dog that plays the guitar and the chef that plays the drums. The Cheesy McCheeseburger is not an original character. It's just weird. Well, the show's about to start. Let's just see what happens. Hi there, I'm Chuck E. Cheese. Did you like your pizza? <laughs> it's the best on the planet. Oh, Chucky, you're the best on the planet. Give me a big smooch. <laughs> I don't think so. You have pepperoni breath. <laughs> well, oh, okay. All right, kiddos, let's get poppin'. I'm Chucky Cheese and I'm here to say I'm the coolest mouse anyway he's chucky e. cheese and i really love him oh my gosh isn't he so cool molly look at chucky um cheese he keeps looking over at that cheeseburger he doesn't trust him yeah the bird girl keeps looking over there too something very strange is going on here uh, molly don't look now but that creepy cheeseburger is standing right behind you what I don't see a creepy cheeseburger. I just see a person dressed as Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, Molly, she's not lying. It's right behind you. Ah! I thought you were animatronic! Are you going to say anything? Molly, I don't think it talks. Okay, well, I'm just going to go over here and sit over here. Molly, it's following you. I think it wants you to die. What? No, this is Chuck E. Cheese. What are you doing here, you imposter? This place is an amazing place for kids. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Yep, it's definitely following me. Um, Guys, do you want to get the check and get out of here? Uh, not really. It's Bookie's birthday. Besides, it's only chasing you. Oh, my gosh. Or maybe if I stand on the table, it'll just go away. Ah! Molly, is that a knife that the, the cheeseburger has? I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. I have a plan. You guys distract the hamburger. I'll be right back. For some reason, it must know that that I'm a Roblox star, and 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 it's after me because it wants my Roblox star. That, that that's all I can think of. How do I get out of here? I, I knew I came in here, but all right, there we go. I'm gonna go dress up like, well, Chucky. That ought to help me. Wait a minute, I can't get over there. But here we go. Buy access, 440 Robux. Holy guacamole! Okay, maybe if I just put on this like costume over here or something oh i'll pretend i work here how do i put this on oh my gosh that thing's gonna come and kill me perfect that creepy 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 cheeseburger won't even know who i am now i'll just go over here and take people's orders <laughs> perfect hi welcome to chuck e cheese i'm molly what can i get for you see my disguise is working perfectly oh no here comes the creepy cheeseburger don't even recognize me <laughs> but it looks like they're looking for me. Why are they after me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the dog's after me, too. Abandoned ship. Guys, our Chuck E. Cheese time is over. Guys? Guys? Oh, my God. My friends. They're missing. Um, guys? Brookie? Are you okay? Molly, that evil, that evil cheeseburger trapped me in this ticket blaster. I can't get out. Brookie, don't worry. I'll try to rescue you. Great idea bringing me here for my birthday, Molly. Um, okay, well, I didn't know about the evil cheeseburger, so that's not really fair. Where's... Oh, God. There they are. No. No. Molly, I thought you were going to get us out of here. All you did was get stuck in here yourself. Well, let's look at it this way. We could collect some of these tickets while we're in here and play lots of free games. Yeah, if, if, if a giant cheeseburger wasn't chasing us. Uh, yeah, good point. Sorry I ruined your birthday, Brookie. That's all right. We'll figure this out somehow. If that cheeseburger ever goes away. Wait a minute, I have an idea. 
I could take a chomp chomp out of his head. I love cheeseburgers. Molly, I think that might make you a zombie if you try to eat the cheeseburger's brain. Good point. <laughs>
Yeah, like 10 times, Molly. Marty, this place has a name. It's called Paradise Island. Oh, well, on my reservations, it just said, The Resort! <laughs> I cannot wait to see what Paradise Island is like. Ooh, it looks promising so far. Hello? Does anybody work here? Hello? Reservations for three. Oh, great. Nobody even works here. Yes, but Daisy, look. It has a buffet! Is that all you think about, Molly? Uh, yeah, that's where I'm headed right now. Excuse me, I want to go on the buffet. Why can't I? You probably have to have a reservation. For a buffet? No, you don't. Oh, it kicked me out of the buffet. I knew I should have put extra food from the plate in my pocket. We're gonna starve! Okay, I, I've got to go see what's going on with our reservations. Oh, self-check-in. All right, this is, this is good. Okay, standard room number two. Check-in successful. Perfect. Now let's see if I can go to the buffet. Just want to eat at the buffet! Well, you ate like a pig on the plane. I don't know why I can't go to the buffet. Oh, my God! Uh, Molly, it says closed. Oh, man! Uh, don't worry, Molly. You can come back to the buffet in the morning. Let's go see our room. Okay, fine. We're in room two. There's not enough room, though. You guys might have to sleep down here on this couch. Molly! Sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> Ooh, VIP, huh? Ooh, we've got a gym. Okay, Molly, I have to say this. This is actually pretty nice. Yeah, but how do I get to the second floor? I'm confused. There's no one here to tell me what to do. I think you have to just use your smarts, Molly, and figure it out yourself. Oh, standard rooms. Premium rooms. Okay, I, I think we have to go in here into the standard rooms. You didn't get us a premium room? Hey, they were all booked. This is a brand new resort. Rooms one through eight. Oh, it's got a laundrette here, too. That's nice. La, 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 la. Molly, come this way on the escalator. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, where's room two? Whoa! It was right back here, Molly! Where'd Brookie go? She went to the gym. You know how she is. She's got to work out 20 million times a day. Okay, come on in, Daisy. I can't, Molly. You locked me out. Okay, I can't get out either. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, this room is actually pretty nice. There's only one bed, though. What? Ay, 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 Molly. Well, I'm sorry. I got us I got us somewhere to stay, though. That's that's a plus, right? Yeah, I guess. And probably Brookie will be working out for a while, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna go to sleep. Me too. Tomorrow starts our girls only awesome party! That would be our best friend. OMG, we're supposed to be on vacation, Brookie. You're supposed to sleep in. No time for that. We have a lot to do on our girls only vacation. First, we have to go to the gym. Uh, didn't you just work out like until midnight? Yeah, that's sort of true. And I am on vacation. I guess I could take a break from that. We've got to go to the pool. Well, I'm down for that. But um, what about buffet? Uh, since it's still only 3 a.m., I think it's a little bit early for buffet. And I also think it's a little early to be up. Sorry, I'm just so excited. But we should definitely go to the pool anyway, right? <sighs> okay, I guess we can go to the pool. Molly, come on. I really want to get in the pool in the hot tub with you. Okay, okay. Ooh, cotton candy. Holy guacamole, they have everything I could ever want in my entire life at this resort. You guys totally owe me an apology because... This place is amazing! Still no bathing suits, though. Mm. So good. So good. I don't know where the bathing suits are, but I don't care. I'm just getting in right how I am. Okay. <laughs> You're kind of crazy, Brookie. Yeah, but it's going to be so fun. Woo! I totally want that. OMG! 95 Robux! I thought everything was included! Apparently not. Yeah! Wait a minute. What's going on with the pool? Oh, it's closed until 7 a.m. The cover's on. Oh, 
my gosh! Is anything open in this resort ever? No buffet, no pool. I got out of bed for this. Well, I guess I gotta get in the hot tub. Do you think that could be open? Whoa, this is a deep hot tub. I almost fell to the bottom. Ah, sitting in the hot tub in my pajamas. Well, this resort didn't have bathing suits. A lot of things are closed in the middle of the night, but it's still a pretty nice place to vacation. What? Molly, where'd you get that giant, awesome thing of cotton candy? Right over there, and it's one of the only things that's not closed. Oh, I thought you said this resort was awesome. Actually, I think it is really awesome. They just close up at night, that's all. I guess a lot of resorts would be like that. I am still having the best girls only vacation ever. Me too. What about you, Daisy? Well, I prefer a bathing suit when I get into the tub. Or, I mean, into the hot tub. Yeah, well, Miss Picky Karen, you can't have everything, you know. This is my vacation. I expect everything. I'm going to have to give this three and a half stars. Oh, everybody's a critic, especially my sister. <laughs> you guys fight like sisters. It's kind of funny. Huh? What? Can't hear you. Got cotton candy in my ears. No, you don't, Molly. What? Can't hear you. Oh, brother. I'm stuck on vacation with these two. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs>totally gonna win this game i know you dad are dad because you eat lots of beans and you fart a lot oh yeah very funny <laughs> guys this game is so much fun my parents have never played this before so i'm super excited to play fart attack against my zombie family are you guys ready i'm ready when you are molly i really think dad's gonna beat us all i do too he's super good at farting hey <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. That's a compliment in this game. Um, Dad, where'd you go? Um, I think he totally got um swept away by that giant person over there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, a YouTuber's in here! Hey, everybody! <laughs> yep, we're YouTubers. You guessed it. Okay, animation's almost over! Oh, wait, no, it just started. Yeah! Time to get some fart attack going on. Wow, that person is huge. Please don't step on me. Ah, no! Oh, <laughs> I just fell down into the sewer. Yuck. Oh, a big stinky burrito. Ha, ha, ha. Now, where's my dad when I want to see him? There's dad. Hey, dad, I have a little surprise for you. Ha, 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 Well, Molly, that made you die. I don't care. Molly, I'm going to get you. Hey, mom. Don't just stand there, mommy. Lots of beans. I don't know about this, Molly. This seems like a bad idea. What? Does this seem like a bad idea? <laughs> Whoa, a big stinky burrito. Give me that! Hey! Hey, big person, you're not allowed to eat all the burritos. That's just rude. Eating lots of beans, of beans, of beans. Eating lots of beans, of beans, of beans. Oh, I'm getting bigger. I'm getting so much bigger. Uh-oh. Let me get this burrito. And that cabbage. Oh, Dad, you're in trouble. You're in trouble now, Dad. <laughs> Molly, how rude. That's part of the game. You toot on people. It just It's part of the game, Dad. You're just trying to get us. You're not even trying to get anybody else. Of course not. I want to get my family. That's the best part. Oh, I'm getting epically huge again. Oh, a stinky cabbage. Ha, 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 ha. I'm collecting all the beans, the beans, the beans. Uh-oh. Dad got huge. That's a, that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. Uh-oh. He's coming my way. He's coming my way. Oh, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> we farted at each other. <laughs> I'm going to get you, Molly. Ah, oh, sure you will, Dad. Sure you will. Better eat some more beans. Better eat a lot more beans. Whoa! I just leveled up! Awesome! Eating all the beans, the beans, the beans! 
eating all the beans, 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 beans. Okay, I've eaten so many beans. If I eat this many beans in real life, oh my gosh, I'd have a tummy ache. Uh oh, a golden burrito. Oh, bum bum bum. I'm like Godzilla right now. I'm gigantic. Look at all these little people over here. Are you trying to fart at me right now? I don't think so, Dad. Oh, you're just in so much trouble right now. Oh, I wasted my farts on that. That's not even good. I need more fart power. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Seriously, who thought of this? Makes me want to sing a very special song. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? Ah! Oh, I'm, I'm caught in a fart cloud. Ah! I love Roblox. Yes, I do. I love Roblox. How about you? Do do do. I love Roblox. Yes, I do. I love Roblox. How about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. Come on, guys. Give this video a huge thumbs up. It makes me so happy when you guys do that. Oh, my gosh. What just happened? Someone just farted at me. Okay, I'm so not done yet. Oh, there's a giant burrito with my name on it. And a giant cabbage, too. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh, Dad! <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. I was, I was like, huge, and I tried to get Dad, and he totally ran away before I could. He's quick, my Dad. Oh, yeah, getting all the beans, the beans, the beans. Okay, where is my mom and dad? I don't see them. I've got to find either my mom, my dad, or Daisy. Ooh, good, I almost died right there. That would have made me sad. <laughs> dad! <laughs> Molly! Dad, you cannot get mad for me trying to win. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, someone just farted at me. Ah, oh, 23 seconds left in this match! I'm only trying to get my family. Which is making me super happy! In this game, you better have your finger on the F button the whole time. Because that's how you fart. Oh, two seconds! I just want to fart at somebody right now. Round finished! No! Okay, let's see how I did. I hope dad didn't beat me. Okay, most player kills. I had three kills, 119 beans collected. I farted seven times. Um, actually, I had the most beans collected. Go me, 119. Um, and the most kills was done by Ricky, not my dad. Oh, I really thought I'd be the best farter. I wanted the best farter award. <laughs> Don't worry, dad. You win the best farter award every single day of life. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very funny. Collect everything in this bonus round. Whoa, someone just farted at me. Hey, stop it! And fart! Whoa, look at all these stinky burritos. They look super delicious. Oh my gosh, look at all these stinky burritos. I need them all! Yum, yum. Yum. Yum! Yum! I love burritos in real life. They're delicious. You ever go to this restaurant called Moe's? My family goes there. Yeah, zombies eat burritos. Of course we do. Oh, somebody just stepped on me! Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Okay. I didn't win anything. I got 12 burritos and 2 cabbages. But everybody else beat me. Oh well. Where's my family? Mom? Dad? Where are you? I'm over here, Molly. Mom, you didn't do very good on that last round, did you? Not really. It's okay, Mom. You just gotta eat more beans. Hi! All these people are are landing on me! <laughs> Dad, everything's gonna be okay, don't worry. Oh, that was crazy. Ah, here we go! Match number two! dun 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 Eating all the beans, the beans, the beans. I don't know why I just love singing that song when I play this game. 
Oh, there's a burrito over there with my name on it, and that person's gonna get it before me. No! Oh, and I just fell into the toilet! Oh my goodness. Let's go eat some more beans, guys. Oh, a stinky cabbage! It fell out of the sky and right into my mouth. <laughs> I had to use a little fart power right there. Oh my gosh, here comes my dad. Oh, look at that person. They are huge. Oh, a stinky burrito! This person is so fast. Why do they run so fast? They get all the burritos. Dad! Dad, what are you... Oh, Dad's wearing a gas mask! Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, Dad! 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 Holy, why are you following me? Why do you think, Dad? I ate a lot of beans. <laughs> I just farted my dad into... Into outer space! That's right, people. Outer space. Bye, Dad. See you later. I can't believe how many beans I'm eating right now. Ew! Avoid that. Oh, Dad! Dad, get out of here. <laughs> Dad just trying to chase me now. Whatever, Dad. You're not you're not as good at this game as I am. You'll never be as good as at fart attack as I am. This game is just funny to say. Fart attack, fart attack, f -f -f fart attack. <laughs> What are you doing up here, Daisy? Trying to stay away from you and Dad. You guys are crazy. Come on, Daisy. Let's play. Let's go. Okay, Molly. I'm coming. Oh, great. Dad's gigantic. Where's Daisy? I haven't gotten her yet. Hey! Who farted at me? Not nice. Ha ha. I didn't get out, though. And I got a burrito out of it, so bleh. Daisy, you chicken! You have to come in here, Daisy. Why, Marley, you're just going to fart on me. That's kind of the point, Daisy. Oh, man, I didn't mean to do that. How come nobody wants that stinky cabbage? Go get it. Ooh, a burrito! There's Daisy! I'm going to get her. Daisy, here I come. Ooh, look at that golden burrito. I want that. Molly, stay away from me with your stinkiness. No way, Daisy. I'm coming for you. I'm gigantic, too. My fart power is epic! Bump! Oh, I missed! No! Haha, <laughs> Molly! I told you I'm amazing at this game. Whatever! Oh, no! Someone farted at me and I fell in the toilet. There's my mom! Okay, I'm gonna eat this stinky cabbage. Sneak up on her. Hey! Someone farted at me! Who was that? I don't know, but I got past it. Mom! Dad! There's Dad. <laughs> See ya, Dad! Molly! Did you have to be so mean to your dad? Seriously? He has been trying to get me this entire game. Ah! Someone just farted at me. Ah! Someone just farted at me again. Come on! Throw me a burrito! I need a burrito. <laughs> she doesn't even see me right now. Things are about to get crazy right here. <laughs> Bye, Daisy. Molly. <laughs> I just farted on Daisy and she went flying into the toilet. Oh, look at that delicious look. Ah! Someone just farted at me. Oh, yeah. Fart at the YouTuber. That's nice. <laughs> Oh, 25 seconds. I totally got so many people. There goes my mom. I haven't gotten her yet. Gonna eat some beans. And pop! Oh, mom! Pop! Pop! Oh, I need to get more beans. I'm all out of farts. Oh, my gosh. Mom! Mom! <laughs> mom! Oh! No, wait. Okay, wait. Fine. I'll wear my gas mask, too. How about that? The round is finished, guys. Oh, that was so awesome. I love playing Fart Attack with my family. Okay. Most kills was not me. Most beans was not me. And most times farted was not me. I killed three people. I got 78 cans of beans. And I farted seven times. <laughs>
None of my family won, but we did have a lot of fun playing this game, didn't we, guys? We so did, Molly! Hey, Toy Hero fans, thanks so much for watching today. Ugh, why did someone just fart at me? Why? Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. People keep farting at me. I'm trying to do my outro, guys. Stop farting at me. <laughs> Here's my family. Whoa, that was super fun. I liked farting. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all, Dad. That doesn't surprise me at all. Anyway, guys, we have a ton of channels. Four of them, actually. So make sure you subscribe to all of them, okay, guys? We'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, Toy Hero fans! Today, Daisy and I are playing a super hilarious game called Fart Attack! Molly and Marty, bigger than you. You knew it. Whoa, Daisy! We got totally killed by a fart. Molly, ew! It's okay, Daisy. We can we can do this again. Molly, that was crazy. Let's do this again, Daisy. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it now. I got the hiccups. Molly, we have to wait till the intermission is over. Okay, Daisy, I'm so excited about playing this fart attack game. Molly, stop saying fart. Fart, 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 Daisy! <laughs> A toilet snake is lurking. Work together and fart toilet paper at him to defend him. Defeat him, not defend him. Ew, Molly, that sounds disgusting. Yeah, I know. Here we go. <laughs> beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. Which is a good thing in this Roblox game. You need beans. Hey, 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 lots of beans. Lots of bean, bean, beans. Oh, yeah, I just grew even bigger eating lots of beans. Hey, guys, beans are actually good for you. Hey, stop eating all the beans. Oh, I'm really sorry to do this. Sorry to do this. What? What? <laughs> oh, no, what happened? Oh, I fell down and I died. I don't know why, though. I don't know where my sister Daisy went. I guess I, di I got killed, but I don't really know how. Daisy must still be down there. Whoa! Here we go again. I need all the beans. Oh! Oh, that's why. Oh, my gosh. That's why. I got hit by that giant something. Whoa! Ew, this is gross. This is the grossest game ever. Tacos! Don't get hit by the toilet paper, everybody. Wow, that guy is giant. Molly! Daisy, how are you doing? Well, you're doing good. Stop eating all the beans. I need some too. Yeah, I leveled up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daisy, come here. I want to show you something. Yeah, what, Molly? I know what you're going to do. No, you don't, Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Daisy. Come here. Come here. I want to show you something. Molly, what is it? <laughs> oh, no, that made me tiny. I farted and it made me tiny. Molly, whoa, I am so big. Daisy, you ran over me and I died. Good grief. My sister is a giant fart monster. Molly. Don't run over me again, Daisy. That wasn't nice. Us little people need love too, you know. We're tiny, tiny. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm doing terrible at this fart attack game. Daisy's doing amazing, guys. She's doing so amazing. Woo! Holy moly, I just got giant. Watch out, everybody. Molly, you died just as quickly as you got big. I know, I accidentally fell into the water. I didn't mean to do it. I ate this giant, I ate this giant, um, taco, and then I accidentally fell into the toilet. <laughs> it was so bad. Ah! Stop killing me! Molly, I keep dying, too. I have zero p I have zero fart power right now. So bad. So bad. Do 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 da ba 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 do. Okay, this game is so much fun. Hey, stop eating it all. Uh, I maybe I need the power of the unicorn. Wee! I just got to try to survive. These people are just so mean. Holy cow, don't stop. 
She stepped on me and sent me into outer space. Oh, I'm still spinning in outer space. Spinning, spinning, spinning in outer space. Spinning in outer space. Spinning, spin. There's a floating toilet up here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so weird. That was so weird. Daisy, how are you? Daisy, come here. I want to see you. I miss you. Molly, I don't believe you. Daisy, you're so much bigger than me. Molly, eat more beans. I'm trying to eat a lot of beans, Daisy. But people keep just stepping on me. They're so mean. Whoa, there's a giant taco. Uh, give me more tacos. I'm hungry. Mmm. Okay, I have a fart power of 186. Molly, my fart power is so much bigger than yours. Yeah, why don't you use any of it, Daisy? I can't, Molly. I just got stuck. Ew, Daisy. Take that. Take that. Ah. Watch out, Molly. I don't want to run over you, but I will if I have to. Oh, Daisy. Quit being so mean. Sorry, Molly. I'm just saying. Hey, what's that? Is that good? Wow, I leveled up. I think it was a meatball. Do do da da ba 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 do Daisy! Sorry, Molly. I didn't mean to run over you. You're just so small. Ugh. My sister Daisy is better at this fart attack game than I am. <laughs> does that mean Daisy's better at farting? I think it does. Daisy, you're a super awesome farter. Oh, no! Mission failed. Mission failed! Holy moly. Oh, that game was so much fun. Okay, well, I collected 65 cans of beans. I farted twice. Not bad. Typically, you know, if you ate that many beans, you would have a serious problem. Do not attempt to eat 65 cans of beans at all. You will be so sorry, I'm just telling you. Whee! Where's Daisy? I'm over here, Molly! Did you do great? Not as great as you, Daisy. You did amazing. Whoa! It's a rainbow! We're going to Unicorn Land! Here we go! Whoa! Okay, why was I sent into outer space? I don't even get that. Hey! Wait a minute, that wasn't fair! I just died for no reason! Jeepers creepers! Eating all the beans I can! Cause I'm super hungry for beans! Growing, 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 growing lots of beans! Beans, 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 beans with beans! You guys like my song about beans? Triple kill! I don't know how I did that, but okay. Ah! Ah! Yeah! I'm gonna grow! Woo! Lots of beans! Lots of beans! Fart power! 272. That is a lot of farting. <laughs> Sorry about don't you fart on me. Get out of here. When you fart, it makes you smaller, though. Like, you can't use up all your fart power. Oh, my gosh. Here comes somebody giant. I have to get out of here before she steps on me. Too late. Too late. Oh, no. I died. Fart power zero. Look what I got. Toy Rose Molly won a hidden power up. It's stinky and foul. That's what it said. <laughs> I got a new badge, guys, for playing this fart attack game. It was crazy. Did you guys see what this is? It's the power of the unicorn. Oh my gosh. Do not step on that little emoji right there because you, it will make you die. Not even kidding. Molly, I'm doing awesome. That's great, Daisy. That's great. You're super awesome at farting. That's something to really be proud of. It is, Molly. I'm doing great at this game. Oh my gosh, that guy exploded! Do 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 da ba 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 do! Eating all the beans! Eating all the beans! Whoa! That was a giant fart. Look at that. Everybody died! Ah, don't die! Holy moly, everybody's getting hurt! 
crazy. <laughs> Daisy! I tried to fart on you, but it didn't work. Molly, how rude! Sorry, that's what this game's all about. <laughs> Daisy, look how skinny I am right now. I had to use all my bean power for that. You didn't even hold still. Molly, you're so funny. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, I died. That was so bad. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again, guys. I'm never going to give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Oh, my gosh. I got turned into a walking. I got turned into a walking burrito. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened, but I look hilarious. Look at my arms. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm a giant burrito. Oh, it says I did fantastic. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, no. I definitely died. Whoops. Do, 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 da, ba, 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 do. Whoa. I couldn't even see where I was going right there. Hey. Oh, no. She ate that. No fair. I gotta go see how Daisy's doing. Gotta eat me some beans, eating lots of beans. Eat me some beans, eating a lot of beans. Eating a lot of beans, eating a lot of beans. I don't even see my sister Daisy. There she is. Daisy! Daisy! Molly, stay away from me. No, seriously, Daisy, come here. Where'd she go? Daisy! Uh, the, for some reason, the game was, like, glitching, and, and, um, it, like, sent me over the edge, but I didn't do anything wrong. See, and now I just died again. That was so unfair. I was, like, huge, too. That was, like, oh, I hate when Roblox glitches. It's not cool. So not cool. Oh, Daisy, go pick on somebody your own size. Whoa! Molly, you keep dying. I know. I'm trying to get better at fart attack, but it, I think it's going to take me a little bit of practice. Daisy, what are you doing? Push-ups over there? Oh, the round is finished! Okay, I got level 8. I got 980 out of 1,500. Um, I got 1 kill, 72 cans of beans, and times farted 2. 2 farts in that. I need to do better. Daisy, how many farts did you get? I got, I got seven farts, Molly. <laughs> seven farts. Say it again, Daisy. I get seven farts. <laughs> dudes, do 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 dudes. If you try to go over there, you just get farted back. Okay, here we go again, people. Gotta eat up all the beans. Eating up all the beans. Eating up, eating up, eating up all the beans. Hey, get out of here. Just kidding. You can have a can of beans too. Whoa! I'm going to get this awesome thing. Yes! Oh, I, I am huge. I am huge, Molly. Rawr. Fear my wrath. My fart power is enormous. No one can kill me now. Except for that guy. He totally killed me. No! Guys, you see how huge I got? That was amazing. I did so good on that one. If you get huge on this game, then that's where you can really win. Molly, you a giant! I know, Daisy. I was like, get out of my way. I need to eat all of the beans. You should do that if can, if you can, Molly. Yeah, I will. If I can. Whoa! No, no, no! Oh, I got sucked in. Daisy, where are you? Are you okay? Molly, I'm fine! Daisy, I don't think you're fine. Daisy, I don't think you're fine. I'm back, Molly. Good job, Daisy. I'm coming with you. Molly, did you see that? I just ate that. Yeah, I did. I saw it. Whoa, stinkiness over there. Daisy, you're huge! 
Can I go out on this little island? I call this Bean Island. <laughs> you don't want to know why. So many beans. So many beans. So many beans. So many beans. Ugh. Like, the little guy was, like, so mean. He just totally got me. He farted at me. That was so rude. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Come here, you. Come here, you. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. Oh, no! We farted at the same time, and I lost. Apparently, he ate way more beans than me. Rude. I don't even know if I really like beans or anything. Wow, that guy just ate a burrito. Now he's huge. Daisy, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> Daisy, <laughs> Daisy, I farted on you and you farted back. Of course I did, Molly. That's what you're supposed to do in this game. Daisy, are you okay? I'm way over here, Molly. Bye. Whoa, Daisy, you got huge. Daisy, oh my gosh, my sister just farted on me again. All right, Daisy, that's it. I'm going to totally get you. Here I come, Daisy. I don't know where she went. She ran. There she is over there. Eating all the beans in the world. Super delicious. Silly little beans get in my belly. Hey, can you not fart at me? I'm just trying to get my sister back because... She's killed me like twice now. Oh my gosh, no one has gotten that Brussels sprout thing. It's gonna be me. <gasps> Two of them! Holy moly. Now I'm growing. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Till I can get my sister. What are you doing? Get out of here! You're so rude. Oh yeah, I just leveled up, people. I just leveled up. Now I just need to eat a big burrito. Hey, look, it's... Oh, my gosh. I totally walked off the end of the bridge. Ah, silly me. Silly me. Okay, where's Daisy? I'm right here, Molly. Whoa, what happened? That guy stepped on me, I guess. Okay, where... Oh, I got farted on. No. Then I burst into like a million little pieces. Okay, I have to try one more time, guys. Molly, yeah, I am huge. Whoa, Daisy, you finished that game, you're giant. Okay, let's see my stats. I had zero kills. Wow, that's terrible. Beans collected 57 times. Farted two. No, I farted four times this time. Whoa, I'm amazing, guys. Guys, if you can beat that many farts, you're amazing. All right, guys, I had so much fun playing fart attack. Hey, who just did that? <laughs> Daisy, I landed on your head. Molly, this is fun. Yeah, we should totally play again. You guys want to see us play this in another video? Let us know in the comments below, okay? Molly, that was so much farting. It really was, Daisy. It was so much farting. <laughs> Molly, let's play again another day. Sounds good to me, Daisy. Hey, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes Games. We put out awesome new videos just like this one every single day. Yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We love you guys. Bye! Bye, guys! Grandma, are you sure that you want to play this game? I mean, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, Molly, I think it'll be so much fun. And besides, Mr. Kiddums would like to play. Mr. Kiddums? What happened to Sprinkles? Oh, he stayed at home. Mr. Kiddums is with me today.
Grandma, you have like so many cats. It's it's insane. Oh, Molly, I love cats. They're amazing. Yeah, I know, Grandma. You love cats. You love cats. All right, Grandma, if you're sure, let's go play Fart Attack. <laughs> Good luck, Grandma. Oh, Molly, I don't need luck. I'm awesome at farting. <laughs> okay, Grandma, if you say so. Eating lots of beans, eating lots of beans. Beans are so good. Excuse me. I need deep beans. I need deep more beans. Oh my gosh. She is shooting out rainbow toots. Ah! Oh no, I died. No. Oh my gosh. I wonder where my grandma is if she's doing okay. Oh my gosh. That girl just burped. Yucky. <laughs> Yucky. So many cans of beans. Eating so many cans of beans. Eating so many cans. So many cans. So many cans of beans. Whoa, that guy is giant. Grandma! Grandma! You killed me with a kitty fart! Grandma! Sorry, Molly, I had to. It's a part of the game. Yeah, excuses, excuses, Grandma. Apparently, my grandma is really good at farting. <laughs> Holy moly. There's my grandma over there. Hey, Molly, just collecting beans. Grandma, you're always collecting beans. Stop. Stop it. People keep trying to fart at me. All I want to do is get super big. I definitely don't. I don't want to. I don't want to have to, like, hurt anybody. But first, I have to get super big. Rum, yummy beans. Not sure I can eat any more beans. Oh my gosh, I'm already bigger. Oh, look at that cabbage. That definitely looks like. Oh my gosh, that's a big person. I have to get out of here. There's my grandma. I'm not getting near her because she's she can be really mean sometimes when she's playing fart attack. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a big person again! No, don't come after me, please. I'm just a small guy. Don't be mean. I'm collecting all of these beans. And now I'm very sorry, but Where'd you go? Come back here! Grandma? Grandma! What is it, Molly? Grandma, I got something for you. <laughs> Molly, that wasn't very nice! Ha <laughs> ha! Grandma, I blasted you in outer space. <laughs> Round finished. Okay, let's see how I did. Most kills was not me. Most beans collected was not me. Most times farted was not me. I got one kill. I collected 52 cans of beans. And I farted once. <laughs> Where's my grandma? 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 I don't know where my grandma went. Molly, I'm right here. You blasted me into outer space. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry, Grandma, but it's part of the game. You said you wanted to play fart attack. Well, Molly, I farted on you, and it was a Mr. Kittum's fart. Ha ha ha! Oh my gosh! Run, Grandma! That person's gonna squish us! Grandma, are you okay? I'm just standing still, Molly. That was crazy. Grandma, come on! Good luck, Grandma! Thanks, Molly! Oh my gosh, I ran into a burrito like the very first second that I came in here. Oh, second burrito! Third burrito! Oh my gosh, I am huge! Now I'm gonna get a stinky cabbage. Oh, watch out, people! Watch out! Farts of epic proportions! Sorry, everybody! I died! What happened? Oh, somebody pushed me over the edge. I don't even believe this. Oh, MG, I was huge. That's not fair. Oh, what? I am not happy about this at all. Not happy. Do you know what the chances are of me getting that many spicy burritos and a stinky cabbage in a row? Jump on this giant roll of toilet paper. Somebody's eating all the beans. Oh, no! I did 
<laughs> I tried to jump on that giant thing of toilet paper and it didn't work. I gotta go. F Whoa, that guy is huge. Watch out for him if he farts on you. You're just donezo. Oh, Grandma! Grandma, you're huge! Oh, Molly, I've been eating so many beans. Grandma! Grandma! Why are you throwing me over into the water? Sorry, Molly. A game's a game. My grandma's ruthless in this game. That's it, Grandma. You want to be like that? I'm going to get you, Grandma. Oh, no. I think we're going to have to just die because I can't get out of here now. Oh, that really stinks. <laughs> okay, let me see where the burritos are. There's a burrito. Where is it? I jumped towards it. A cabbage, a stinky cabbage. Oh, yeah. I just ate a huge stinky cabbage. I just ate a huge stinky cabbage. That's a rock. Don't eat that. You'll break all your teeth. I am eating so many beans right now. I wonder how grandma's doing. Oh my gosh, my grandma is gigantic. And she's farting cats at everybody. Grandma, <laughs> stop farting cats at people. That's not nice. Grandma. Oh, there's a stinky cabbage over there. Gotta go get it. Gotta go get it. Yes! Oh, there's a burrito! There's a burrito! Oh, get away from that giant person. They will definitely blast you into outer space. There's another cabbage! Holy moly, I'm getting huge. Grandma! Grandma! Oh, hi there, Molly. You're gigantic. I know, Grandma, I know. Gotta blast this person into outer space. Oh, no! That made me super skinny. All my cabbage is gone. Grandma, you're super tiny again! I know, Molly, because I farted so many cats. <laughs> Grandma. You're crazy. Hey! Oh, somebody pushed me in the water again. Not fair, not fair. Eating lots of beans, eating lots of beans. Where is that? Oh, a burrito <gasps> and a cabbage. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so huge in this game. I can't even believe it. You just have to keep eating beans in this game. Sometimes you get like a burrito. Sometimes you get like some sauerkraut. Just kidding, it's cabbage. <laughs> No fair. Okay, yeah, it is fair because it's part of the game. Grandma, stop farting cats at people. You're not going to have any friends. <laughs> Molly, I think it's hilarious. Whoa, someone huge just farted on me. I went flying. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Oh, it was that big guy. The only thing is, is if you fart on people, pretty soon you're just going to be little. See, I'm huge right now. Oh, it's on. It's on. It's on. Whoa. Goodbye. <laughs> I farted on that guy just as the round was ending. All right. Let's see how I did, guys. Okay. Most kills. Not me. Most beans collected. Grandma. Good job. Grandma collected 168 cans of beans. Oh, thank you. I'm super good at collecting beans. Most time farted. Oregon girl. Me. I had no kills. I collected 76 cans of beans and I farted three times. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! Grandma, should we play again? Oh no, Grandma! Uh, ew! <laughs> Did you guys see that? I got blasted off of the edge of the toilet, and there's a mouse over there! Oh my gosh, that was crazy! People just go around farting all the time. I can't even believe it. Select farts. Okay, what kind do I want? Just a regular fart, a cartoon version. A cat far smelling of grass. Nah, I like this one. Okay, here we go. 
Let's make some bean soup. Grandma, you're going super fast. I'm collecting all the beans, Molly. Grandma, you better not fart cats at me. This is the last time I'm playing today. Molly, all of those big players, they get all of the tasty things. Oh my gosh, is that person going to get over there before me? Yes, because I died! No! I hate when I die. I hate when I get farted on and I die. That's like the worst. Where am I going here? Whoa. Okay, let's try this again. I gotta eat some more beans. <gasps> Whoa, look at that! There's a giant breed over there. She's gonna take it before me. No! There's a smelly cabbage over there. Whoa, stop farting on me! Ah! I got farted on again! Ah, so many farts. Oh, hey, Br pretty unicorn. Yep, you can be my friend. I'll accept as many friend requests as I can, guys. Roblox only lets you have so many. Grandma! I missed you! Not really. Molly, don't be mean. Grandma, come here. I want to give you a present. Molly, I don't think I believe you. Gra Grandma, what? Come back here. I'm not... Grandma. Uh-oh, Grandma. Ah, oh, cat fart! Get away from Grandma! Running away from Grandma. It wasn't me, Molly. It was it was Mr. Kiddums. Yeah, sure, Grandma. Ha ha ha! Gotcha, Grandma! I just got my Grandma. I got my Grandma so good. That was awesome. I'm gonna collect all the beans in the entire world. Grandma, stop farting cats at people. It's Mr. Kiddums. I mean it, Molly. It really is. Grandma. Everybody knows it's not Mr. Kiddums. No, I died. Oh, I guess you can't jump over that far. Whoops. My grandma keeps saying it's Mr. Kiddums. Everybody knows it's not Mr. Kiddums. I'm doing terrible right now. Gotta eat some beans. Power up here. I need a stinky cabbage to land, like, right here. Grandma, you're huge! Not anymore. She farted cats at somebody again. Oh, Grandma. Hey, get out of here. Oh, no! They blasted me! Oh, I keep getting beat up by the big guys. Run away, run away, run away. I just want to win one time. That would be so awesome. No! <laughs> she farted on me! Oh, I didn't get... I didn't get knocked out of the game, though. Haha. -ha. Oh, there's Grandma farting cats again. Oh, my gosh, Grandma. You're totally going to win. There's my Grandma farting cats again. Grandma's going to go eat that smelly cauliflower or cabbage. Oh, my gosh, Grandma. No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, my gosh. I want to get Grandma at least one more time before I stop playing this game. Where is Grandma? Do you guys see my Grandma anywhere? Grandma! Grandma, I made some nice bean soup. Just for you, Grandma. There's my Grandma. Oh, I'm all ready for this one, Grandma. What? Oh! <laughs> Somebody totally farted on me! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. Okay, let's see how I did, guys. Okay. Grandma didn't do good either. Most players killed, not me, not me, not me. I got one kill, so I got 
73 beans collected, and I farted three times. <laughs> oh, Molly, this was so much fun. Mr. Kittums liked the tooting. Oh, my gosh, Grandma, your cats love to toot. That's nice. <laughs> Molly, this game fart attack was really fun. I know, Grandma, I thought so, too. Hey, Toy Hero fans, if you like this video, make sure you give us a super awesome thumbs up like. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes games, where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. That's right. That's right. Hey, why are you farting at me? Stop farting at me, pretty unicorn. Oh my gosh, there's a big guy right there. Ah, he's landing on me. Oh my gosh, I'm going into the toilet. What is this? It is like an amazing place where you can just eat lots of burritos. I don't know how I landed down here, but I feel pretty lucky right now. I'm just going to get huge. I'm going to get huge. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes games. We love you guys. You're the best fans ever. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>
Because it's time for the next fart of doom. Except for I keep dying. Look at my bubble. It landed next to me. Oh, no. That other guy died, too. Are you okay? Oh, there you are. You're fine. Come on. Follow me. Everything's going to be okay. We have to jump on these giant gumballs. Boing. 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 Whee! And now clouds. First aliens, now clouds. Whoa! These are bouncy! Boing, 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 boing! And now giant boulders. Oh my gosh! I'm stuck between the boulders! Ah! <laughs> I died. Totally died. Yep. Sorry, guys. I'm trying my best. This is kind of crazy. Boing. Boing, boing, boing. Ah, made it to the next checkpoint. Now where do I go? Down? I guess down. This looks like a Trixie Bridges. I don't know what where I'm going. I'm gonna go down, though. That part was weird. A Trixie Bridge! Oh no, I chose the wrong one! My head went flying off. It's still flying. Oh, that was kind of stressful. <laughs> do, 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 ba, 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 do. See, this part's like wipeout. Don't get hit by these. Ah, like that, you'll die. <laughs> Whoops. Guys, I think I need to call on. You know what I'm going to say. The power of the unicorn. Okay, unicorn. Stop eating my homework for a minute and help me here. This part's really hard. Unicorn! What? You're not you're not gonna help me with this fart, Abby? Why not? Because it's super stinky? Fine, unicorn. Be that way. Being super super selfish. Boing, boing. Wow, this rock climbing wall is like really hard. They only give you like this little tiny ledge. Ah! No, I don't wanna die! <laughs> boing. Boing, 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 boing. Yes, next save point. Do, 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 do. Ow, I hit my head. That's it. Hey, is that guy over there the one that made the the giant fart of doom? <laughs> hey, guys, I don't make these games. I just play them. It wasn't my idea. I cannot get past this part. It's like so hard. Ah! It's like glitching. What do I do now? My legs are like... When you're climbing up there, your legs look like they're not attached. Hey, how'd you get past me? Maybe I need my bubble. He knocked me down! How rude. Get out of here! I was here first! Okay, guys. The next part of Doom is coming. But don't worry, I have on my protection bubble. I wish I could just walk around this. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I outsmarted you all. Oh wait, maybe not. I'm gonna jump. Oh, I'm gonna jump. I'm just gonna jump. <laughs> this guy and I are like, we can't. Neither one of us can figure out how to do this part. We're trying so hard, but we can't get past it. Is there any other way around? No, you can only go up. Go up! It's like you can't go over. I keep trying. Yes! Ah, oh, finally. Do not fall back down, Molly. Whoa! That was crazy. I almost thought I was going to fall again. And I was like, no. Just no. Yes, I'm going to do the next part. Checkpoint. Yeah. Oh, I only to die! Horrible news. Horrible news. I want to do over. Good thing I'm in Roblox, because guess what I get? A do over! Boing. Boing. Gotta jump on these giant bowling balls. Huh. Ah! Okay, someone is actually ahead of me. Look on the right hand side. I'm only at stage 20. Ronathendend. Ronathendend. <laughs> He's at stage 23. Okay, this time I'm going to do it, guys. First, I have to put on my protection bubble. Now I have to jump. Jump! 
The bubble wasn't necessary because it kept dying. Please, unicorn, I need your help. Power of the unicorn. Unicorn, if you don't start helping me, you cannot eat any more of my homework. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I think my unicorns decided to help me. Thank you, unicorn. What's this about? Whoa, I tried to like trick me. Whoa, boing. Trixie Bridges. Okay, which color? Oh my gosh, I did so good. This is like two Trixie Bridges in one. And I died. I am dying a lot in this game. I'm telling you, this game is really hard. So hard. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even walk out one that time. Oh my goodness. I might need to take a snack break. Ah! <laughs> Died. Okay, let's try the blue bridge. Yes, finally! Now I gotta jump on these giant slices of cheese. No, I don't really know if they're slices of cheese. I'm just guessing. This looks like a maze, which means do not touch the red part of it, or you are surely to die. Here we go, here we go. Don't touch the red parts. Oh my gosh, it's time for dun dun da the fart of doom. <laughs> this game is funny. Whoa! Almost died right there. Do you see that? And there too! Ah! I did die! I did die! Oh my gosh. I almost died by touching the red part. Then I almost died by falling over the edge. And then I tried to step back so I didn't fall over the edge. Didn't work. I died anyway. I love Roblox. Yes, I do! I love Roblox. How about you? Do, do, do. I love Roblox. Yes, I do! I love Roblox. How about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button! But don't break your computer. Don't break your tablet or your phone. That would not be good. Maybe just lightly tap the like button. <laughs> but jump up and down, you're so excited. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Now where? Ah, I'm gonna fall! Okay, now I'm gonna go over this very narrow bridge here. I guess that's what you could call it, a bridge. Hey, look, there's the aliens down there. Wow, look how far we've come, guys. We're doing awesome. Uh, maybe we aren't doing awesome because I can't figure out how to get to this next part. Oh my gosh, they are tricking us because look, guys, there's actually ledges, but they're the same color. Oh, that was so difficult. Couldn't even see where I was going. Do 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 ba 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 do. You know what time it is, guys. Time for the fart of doom. Ba 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 do. Checkpoint. Oh my gosh, there's two people beating me now. Someone is at um stage sixty one. Whoa, I have to catch up to him. Lego couches. These look so comfortable. I'd relax on one, but I don't have time because I've got to beat this escape game. Do do ba ba do 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 ba. Have you guys played this game before? Let me know in the comments below. Every time you go through a different stage on here, you get a new badge. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's a Trixie wall. The Trixie wall. So far, I'm doing good. I'm going to pick blue, and then I'm going to pick green, and then I'm going to pick... No! Oh, I was doing so good. And then I died. That's the way these Trixie bridges and walls go. You do really good, and then you die. <laughs> yes! <gasps> it's dark in here. Oh, there might be a ghost! I hope there's not a ghost. I can't even see where I'm going right now. What? Okay, good. I didn't see a ghost. Ah, I got an emoji balloon. <laughs> it looks like I gotta fly away with it. These look like giant um French fries. Just really making me hungry. Why do these games always gotta make me hungry? Oh, I ran into a giant 
French fry. That's bad news. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah, I might have to walk around him here. Yeah, okay. Got it. Whoa, there's one more killer french fry. Ah, phew! Jump down! Okay. Ah, ah! Where am I? Trampoline! Boing, 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 boing! Question mark. Go down. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of leaps of faith in the faith in this game. It's kind of crazy. Okay, how do I get over these? Okay, don't touch the pink. The pink looks like Pepto Bismol. Ew! Oh no! Oh, I still made it. <laughs> that was crazy. I touched it, but not enough. And then I died by that giant epic fan, and it's like made my head go flying. These windmills are crazy. Do not get hit by a windmill. Seriously, your head will go flying off. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, what's this, a phone booth? No, it's a skateboard! Oh yeah, baby, I got a skateboard! Click to drop board. Wait, I gotta get past the fart of doom. Then we can ride on this epic skateboard. It's gonna be so much fun! It's gonna be super cool. Gonna be so much fun! Gonna be super cool! Or maybe it's not gonna be so much fun and super cool. Because it won't work. What? I feel upset about this. I'm just gonna have to run to the end. Dead end. Okay, I better go this way then. Didn't even get to use my skateboard. Feels so sad right now. Oh my gosh, I'm catching up to everybody else, guys! They're at level 61 and 57, and I'm at level 50! I'm almost caught up to the other player. And that will put me at second place! Invisible bridge! Oh my gosh, we get to jump over the Roblox letters. That's cool! This is my first escape game where I've ever had to do that. Let's climb this tree to the top! Climbing the tree to the top! Ouch, I hit my head on one of the branches! Climbing the tree to the top! Don't mind me, sometimes I just sing weird songs. Like random songs you just make up in my head, like, all of a sudden. Guys, I just heard a squirrel outside. It was like, wee! <laughs> Not even kidding, it was like, wee! It made like a little squirrel noise. Oh my gosh, I have to have on my protection bubble! If you forget, you die. Going round in this tree, climbing to the top. Ah, I made it! Wee! There's a lot of jumping. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Oh no! I died like for the millionth time! Not even kidding, I've died like so many times in this game. I'm seriously ashamed of my Roblox playing right now. <laughs> Wah! Okay, I need to give myself a pep talk. Molly, you are a Roblox expert. You've been playing so many escape games, you even have a YouTube channel. Seriously, stop dying so much! Okay, the pep talk didn't work. I've got to try a different method. I know what it's going to be. Power of the unicorn! Okay, this part is really hard because you don't have anything to, like, step on. Oh my gosh, I just moved into second place, though, guys. That is awesome! Yes! When in doubt, use the power of the unicorn. And your fart protection bubble. Both very important. Boing. Oh my gosh, I'm almost to the end. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. I don't want this guy to swallow me. Ah! Oh, I guess that wasn't so bad. Boing. 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 Oh! 
I almost made it to the next checkpoint, but nope. Man, I'm definitely gonna need a cheeseburger after this. This is a lot of exercise I'm getting right here. Boing, 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 boing. Whee! Okay, do not touch the brown squares. That will kill you! See? Marshmallow head! Guys, if you've never seen a Toy Heroes games before, um, well, I say marshmallow head when you die because when you die, that's exactly what your Roblox character's head looks like. A marshmallow! All I need is some ground cracker crackers and some chocolate, and I can make s'mores. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, the stairs just disappeared! Did you guys see that? I was like, hey, just talking to you guys about s'mores and stuff. Not running really fast. All of a sudden, the stairs just disappeared. Oh my gosh, I have to run really fast. Look at, they're disappearing! Oh my gosh! Holy moly, that was hard! If you guys are super awesome in Roblox, you could try this game. But otherwise, you might want to practice some more because... Look at this, guys. Look at this! Oh my gosh! I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Uh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there! Ah! Ah. Okay, wait, I need to take a break. Ah. That was seriously stressful. Seriously stressful! <laughs> that was like a delayed reaction. I like stepped on the red brick and it was like, still alive, still alive, still alive. Just kidding, dead. Boing, boing, boing. Oh no! It's that one red brick, it keeps getting me. How many times can I call on the power of Unicorn in one game? Before she starts getting like mad at me for saying it's like, power of the Unicorn. Unicorn, can I use your powers again? I can? That's good, thanks. Do I have like an infinite number of times I can call on you? No? Oh, yeah, because sometimes you have to eat my homework. Whatever, Unicorn. Whatever! Oh! Dead. So dead right there. So dead. I feel like I should have a song for my unicorn. That'd be cool, wouldn't it, guys? Bo oh my gosh! I keep dying! I just want to say I am so sick of dying at this part. Seriously, do you ever have a Roblox game that you're just like, Really? I'm gonna die here again? No! Just no! I feel like I didn't even touch anything. What happened right there? Oh my gosh! I forgot about the fart of doom! I was so busy concentrating on these red bricks, the fart of doom, doom came and killed me. That guy remembered, see, he's wearing his fart protection bubble. Ha! <laughs> no! Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time and then I'm gonna go eat a cupcake. Cause seriously, sometimes in life you just need one. Here we go. Boing, boing! Yes, I finally made it! Ugh, now I have to do more jumping. Ah! <laughs> I made it for like one second and then I died again. I really need to think to take my time because sometimes I like rush and then I die a lot. So I'm going to try to go like really slow and see if that helps. Okay, so far so good. No! <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't matter if you go fast or slow. You're just going to die a lot. As long as the fart of doom doesn't get me, I'm okay. I do not want to die by the fart of doom. Holy moly! Almost died right there. Whoa, this is a super long escape game. Like, crazy long, guys. Boing. Boing. Whoa! Yes! Now I'm going through maze. I actually really like mazes. One of my favorite movies ever is called The Labyrinth. I love it. And, it, and at um, Halloween time, I always go through the um, 
the uh, corn maze too. I love it. My sister Daisy sometimes is like, I'm trapped forever! And I'm like, no, you're not, Daisy. It's just corn. You'll be fine. Ah! I am at stage 64! That guy is so good. He's always ahead of me. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. Ah! No! Oh my gosh! Where did I land? I'm gonna die because I definitely don't want to start way back over there. No way. No way. Oh my gosh, guys. Here comes the next fart of doom. What's this all about? Looks like spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. That didn't make much sense, but okay. That part was easy. And this looks like cheese pizza. Oh, can you guys tell I need a snack right now? <laughs> okay, now where am I climbing to? Somewhere scary? A slide! Ah, this is gonna be so much fun. Whoa! What? Why isn't the slide going? Oh, lame! Your slide doesn't work! I hate when the slides don't work. Oh no, I think this is gonna be... Oh no, it's... Oh, it's a race car! Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> this thing doesn't drive very good. I think I might have a flat tire. Whoa! Hey, thanks for the ride. <laughs> oh no, more disappearing stairs. Let's do this! Dun 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 Oh my gosh! I almost fell there. Ah! Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna die! Oh, I died! No! I just knew it. I knew I was gonna die. That was... Uh, my stomach was like totally butterflies. I was so worried. Alright guys, I gotta try this again. Let's see if I can do it this time. Here we go. Marshmallow head. Holy moly. This game is so hard. Out of like the hundreds of escape games I've played, this is one of the hardest ones I've played. It is so hard. And I'm a Roblox expert and this is hard. So if you guys are beginners, I don't know if this is the game for you. <laughs> uh, so many times I've died. I feel like we should go back and watch this video again, guys, and count how many times I've died. If you guys want to be the Toy Heroes number one awesome, amazing fan, you will go back through this video and count every time I've died and then put it in the comments below. Yeah, if you guys do that, I will give you uh, a gold emoji. How about that? The coolest emoji ever. How about that? Okay, guys, let's do these disappearing stairs. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I can do it. Okay, well, I, I didn't, but <laughs> I wished I could. Let me try again. Ah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Unicorn, help me. Power of the unicorn. Oh, I did it! Yes! Oh, I feel so proud of myself right now. You ever do something really hard in life and you're just like, you're not sure if you can do it. And then you have to say to yourself, I can do this. I will do this. And then you die. No, that doesn't make sense. And then you do a great job. And then you feel proud of yourself. But right there I died and I'm not really sure why. That was weird. I died right there for no reason. These are weird shapes. They look like storage boxes or something. Oh, this kind of looks like the end. Is this the end? I can't go down there. How do I get out of here? Huh, maybe like that. 
Oh, that guy is still ahead of me. Run, Thenden. Run, Thenden. 79. You're awesome at Roblox. Just gonna say it. What's this guy? He looks like a lizard. Oh, it's another maze. What? What? It's a slime maze. Guys, look, there's like tons of slime in here. Crazy! Guys, can I just tell you one of the reasons why I'm not out riding my bike today? Because it's a hundred degrees in Texas still. We're like already back to school and it's still hot. I can't wait to see some snow. Not that it ever snows here, but I wish it would because it's just too hot. Too hot! Turn down the heat, Texas. Turn it down. Turn it down! So, when it gets super hot out, sometimes I play Roblox. Do, 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 bop, bop, ba, do! This is the game that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. I started playing it not knowing what it was. And there is lots of farts in it forever just because. <laughs> Trixie Bridges. More Trixie Bridges. I think there must be a hundred Trixie Bridges in this game. Boing, 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 wee! Okay. I'm catching up to somebody. I see him here. Who are you? Are you this notorious Ron Thenden 79? Hi, I'm two years Molly. Boing, 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 woo! Made it! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Rathondian79. I've been looking for you this whole game. Oh my gosh, he died! I am about to take his position as the number one player in Roblox. Escape the giant fart, Abby. <laughs> That's quite the accomplishment, guys. Oh, he's right behind me. Oh, my gosh. It's a race to the death. My death, it looks like. No, I survived. Good news. That guy is fast. How is he so fast? He dies a lot, too, though. See you, Rathondian79. Oh, I died right at the end. Are you kidding me? No. Just no. Which way am I going? I'm confused. Am I going the right way? I feel like I might be going the wrong way. I just want to catch up to Rathandi in 79. Whoa, he just like jumped off the face of the earth. I think he might have actually won. No, I'm second. Okay, don't touch the giant um, dark green squares. They will kill you. Boing, boing, boing. Oh my gosh, this is a very, very narrow bridge. No! Oh man. Look, I'm up in the clouds and my arms fell off. Where's my hair? Huh. Here comes the next dun 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 fart of doom. Guys, I think I'm close to beating this game. I'm pretty excited. Oh man, there's someone named Yo Peeps. One two three zero nine zero zero. Yo Peeps one two three zero nine zero zero. You're only at stage twelve. I feel bad because you've got so many stages to go. Like seriously, so many stages. Boing, 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 boing. I died. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to stop and get a snack soon and I wanna win.
I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm calling this the hardest Roblox obby ever. That's what I'm saying, guys. That's what I'm saying. How much more do I have to go? A lot? I feel like a lot. I don't want to quit, but I might have to go get a cupcake. <laughs> Priorities. Boing. 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 Oh, yeah! All right, let's walk across this bridge. I'm I'm hoping there's like something really awesome at the end of this cuz it was really hard. Like seriously so hard. Oh my gosh, I need my fart protection bubble. I do not want to die. Uh, who created this this obstacle course? It's oh my gosh, did you guys see that giant fart? <laughs> It was crazy. Holy moly, I'm getting dizzy going around in circles. Do 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 do. Guys, my stomach is growling so bad. I seriously need to go have a cupcake. And then I'm going to ride my bike with my best friend, Brookie Cookie. I'm going to finish this game later, okay, guys? If you want to see how it ends, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the Toy Heroes Games, where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>
Ugh, you need to do your homework regardless, Molly, but the answer is still no. Maybe when you get a little older. Older? I practically have gray hair! Mom, I am so old. Ugh, so old. Look at these bones. They hardly walk anymore. The only thing that could help me be not so old is to get my hair dyed. Molly, quit being so ridiculous. You're not old at all. You're not even a grown-up yet. And the answer is no. Mom, it's not fair. Why? Molly, I just think you have beautiful hair the way it is. Let's just leave it that way. Fine. Ugh, worst day ever. Hi, Molly. Are you having a great day? I am. Don't even talk to me right now, Daisy. Whoa, she's in a bad mood. Molly, um, how did... Uh-oh, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. You can't get your hair dyed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get my hair dyed, all right. She said yes, that's amazing. Come on, let's go to the salon. I can't wait. Oh, I'll race you there, Brookie. Oh, yeah, right. My bike is so much faster than yours, Molly. I don't think so. Looks like I'm beating you. Oh, whoa, we almost ran into each other. Whoa! Molly, what are you doing? Be careful. Ah, I forgot which way the salon was because I never go there. Hey, you're cheating by doing a shortcut through the park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to win. Duh. Brookie! What? You said it was a race. Oh, man, Molly, I totally won. Ugh, I need a faster bike. Well, you can't afford a new bike and your hair getting dyed, so what's it going to be? New hair. Hi there, sweetie pie. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm going to have my hair dyed. Do you know what color, honey? Um, no, not really, but I'm going to think about it while you're washing my hair, okay? Sounds good, sweetie pie. Is this the lady who did your hair? Yep, it sure is. Liz is the best hairdresser in all of Brookhaven. She's so fabulous. Look at her makeup and her hair. She's so amazing. So grown up. Yeah, I'm so grown up too. I can't even believe that I get to have the hair done. Yeah, and then maybe we could do your makeup too if you want. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want my hair done though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this water too hot? Ow! Yeah, that was super hot. Holy guacamole. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. How's that? Too cold! Ah! Sorry. Okay, I think I have it just right this time. Okay, I hope so. Man. All right, you're all washed up. You can go get into the chair, and we'll talk about what color you want your hair to be. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking about doing pink, something totally different that I would never do. Pink? Really, Molly? That's so, like, different than what you'd normally do. I know, right? But I think it could be amazing. It'll look amazing on you, Molly. Go for it. Thanks, bestie. I just still can't believe your mom said yes. Um, yeah, well, uh, she did say yes, right, Molly? Um, there, I'm done. You look gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Molly, your mom did say yes, right? Well, not exactly, but once she sees how amazing my hair looks, she'll feel bad for not saying yes. Or she'll ground you for life. Let's make her hair blonde again. Oh, I'm sorry, but... I can't change her hair color twice in one day. It'll make her hair fall out. My hair fall out? Oh my gosh, no, I think that sounds like a bad idea. And besides, the pink looks amazing on me. Even Liz said I look gorgeous, darling. Well, I have to admit, Molly, it's very different. It's even more drastic than mine, I think. Come on, let's go back to my house and have a snack. Excuse me, are you going to pay for your pink hair? Oh yeah, sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> I gotta pay ya. How much was it? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Um, uh, I'm really sorry, but I only have two hundred and fifty. Ugh, okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to sweep the floors then, because, uh, basically, you have to pay for it. Oh, Molly, you didn't see how much it was before you came in? No, now I have to sweep the floors to pay for it. Don't forget to get all the hair! Ew, gross, I gotta vacuum up hair, that's disgusting. That's what it's like when you work in a salon. Do a really good job, please, you owe me $50. All right, fine. There, how's that? Well, it looks great, but next time try to come with all the money, okay? Sure, thanks Liz, my hair looks fabulous. I know, darling, you look gorgeous. 
Molly, I'm really worried about what your mom is gonna say. It's gonna be fine. Now, come on, let's get out our bikes and go back to my house and get a snack. I'm starving. I'll beat you there. Molly, you never beat me there. Oh my gosh, she always thinks she's gonna beat me there. She never does. I'm going to this time, if I can make it up that giant hill, because the hill is huge. I should ride my bike more and get in better shape. <laughs> OMG! Beat you, Molly. What? Oh, you always beat me. That's so annoying. Come on, let's go get a snack. Hey, Daisy. Holy guacamole! What happened to your hair? Um, what happened to it is I look amazing. Oh, my gosh. Mom is going to ground you for the rest of your life, Molly. I don't think so when she sees how amazing my hair looks. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say to you, Molly, right now, except for good luck. Mom, I need a snack. Oh, hey, Molly! What did you do to your hair? Please tell me that's a Halloween wig. Please. No, it's my actual hair. Liz at the salon said I look gorgeous, darling. Molly, I told you you weren't allowed to dye your hair. Yes, but Mom, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? That's besides the point. You are grounded. What? No, Mom, I know that you, would, you said no, but look at my hair. It looks amazing. No, Molly, you went against what I said, and there's consequences for that. Consequences? You mean like having awesome hair? Oh, boy, this is going to be good. I got my popcorn for the show. Daisy, get out of here! I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> no, Molly, you're grounded for two weeks. You have to do extra chores to earn money to get your hair back to blonde. Two weeks! Okay, but I can still play Roblox, right? No. And your friend, Brookie, has to go home. Can't see her for two weeks. What? But, Mom! Molly, when I say no, I mean it. Now go to your room. Oh, my gosh. This was a horrible idea. Uh, how'd it go, Molly? Daisy, leave me alone. Brookie, I'm sorry, but... I can't be your best friend for the next two weeks. What? Yeah, we can't see each other for two old weeks. I'm grounded and I have to go to my room. No, Molly. I'll write you letters. Yeah, I guess since I can't get on the computer, we could write snail, snail mail letters. Yeah, Molly. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, man, this day stinks. <laughs> Yes, baby Kira, what is it? I ever eat them chocolate. No, baby Kira, it's almost dinner time. You're not allowed to have chocolate before dinner. You could have some for dessert, though. I want chocolate now. I can eat it. I, I, I don't care what she say. I just did your bowl right now. I did your bowl. Mmm. We did cup. Mmm. And Hershey bars. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> la 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 la. I better get started on dinner. Who left the refrigerator open? Ugh, these girls. Wait a minute. Was there a bunch of chocolate missing in there? <gasps> Baby Kira, come here, please. Uh huh. One more, more. What is it? Did you eat chocolate when I told you not to? Who, me? Can you get your Oh, not me. Well, there's chocolate missing from the refrigerator, and you said you wanted some. Oh, but me, no, no, no. It was, it was Molly. Oh, it was, was it? Molly! Yeah, Mom? What's going on? Molly, you need to go sit in timeout. Mom, I'm way too grown up for timeout. Besides, what did I do? Molly, you ate chocolate before dinner. You know better. What? No, I didn't. I was up in my room. She knocked down a chocolate. I saw her. Baby Kira, you little stinking liar. Molly, that's enough. Go stand in the corner till dinner. But, but, but. Yeah, Ma, go stand in the corner. Baby Kira. Ugh, I've been framed. I can't believe this. Mama, mommy, mama, 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 mama. Ah, <sighs> yes, baby Kira, what? I just love you. Oh, I love you too. Mama, mama, mama. What is it now? I play on computer till dinner. 
No, baby Kira. Remember the last time you drooled on the keyboard and then we had to buy a new one? Nobody could use the computer? I pickle now. Baby Kira, that was three days ago. I want to play! No, not without supervision. You, you really, you can go watch TV or cartoons until dinner's done. Fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, I need a vacation. I play on the computer because I'm not going to drool or get the computer broken. I, 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 big girl. I play on computer. I can't believe I'm sitting here in timeout. Well, I'm actually standing in timeout, but you know what I mean. Molly, the more you complain, the worse it's going to get. Well, I, I have to go to the bathroom. Can I go? Do you really have to go? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs really quick and go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Make it quick, Molly. You're in a punishment for something I didn't even do. What's going on with the computer? Roblox? Molly, were you on this computer? What? Me? No, I, I was in the bathroom. Sure you were. You're the only one that's obsessed with Roblox. Well, Daisy likes Roblox and baby Kira likes Roblox. Not me. I'm just sitting here watching this chipmunk eat nuts. Oh my gosh. I didn't do it. Now you can stand there for an hour in timeout instead of a half an hour. But mom, I didn't do it. Molly, no excuses. Oh man, maybe I should have told the truth all those other times so she'd actually believe me. Now she thinks I'm guilty. Oh, la 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 la. Ooh, that smells, wait a minute. Why doesn't my dinner smell good? Ew, something smells horrible. Horrible! Yuck! What is that? It smells like a poo poo diaper. Baby Kira! Baby Kira! Hi, Mama! Hi! Hi, honey. Did you go poo poo in your diaper? Uh, no. I didn't go poo poo in my diaper. Well, it sure smells like a stinky diaper in here. Ella Molly! She poo pooed my diaper! Wait, what? I, I didn't poop in her diaper! Um, baby Kira, that's really not how it works. She did. She put in my diaper. I didn't do it. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I ever heard. <laughs> I pooped in your diaper. You're wearing it, baby Kira. <laughs> Babies say the weirdest things sometimes. <laughs> okay, Molly, that's enough laughing. <laughs> I told you she was lying about everything. And now she really got caught. <laughs> Baby Kira, have you been telling me naughty lies this entire time? Um, I, uh... Baby Kira, were you the one that ate chocolate? Uh, um, uh... Yes is the answer! Yeah, I ate the chocolate. Baby Kira, you blamed that on Molly? That is so mean. Oh, ah, uh, oopsie. Did you also play on the computer and blame it on your sister? Um, yeah. Baby Kira, and you tried to blame a poopy diaper on your sister too? Um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to have to say this, but welcome to your first time out. What? I'll show you exactly how to get there. I should know. I've gotten like a million timeouts over the years. All right, baby Kira, follow your sister to timeout. Hey, Molly, I'm really sorry that I didn't believe you. That's okay, Mom. I know I fibbed in the past before, so you didn't want to believe me this time. But I was telling the truth, and I'm not going to fib anymore. That's really good, Molly. That's really good. Now you can take your sister to timeout. Come on, baby Kira. You do the crime. You do the time. Ah! Don't worry, baby Kira. It goes by fast. Well, not really. It's more like prison. Mom, since you blame for me for something that wasn't my fault, can I have some chocolate? Oh, Molly. Come on, Mom. Come on. You owe me. You owe me. Fine, Molly. One piece, though. Sure, Mom. One piece. Mm. But who determines how big the piece is? Molly. Okay, fine. I'm just going to read this. Eat this Reese cup. Hey, baby Kira, are you okay? No, I got my first time. I'm real sad. 
Mom, can I give baby Kira some chocolate? She feels really sad. Molly, no, she's in timeout. That's a punishment. Sorry, you can smell the chocolate if you want. Go away! Baby Kira, come here, please. I'm blue. I got in trouble. Do you know why you got in trouble? Uh-huh. Why don't you tell me why? Because I died and played Molly and did stuff I wasn't supposed to and you said no. That's very right, baby Kira. Uh, I hate giving you girls timeouts or grounding you, but you have to learn that there are consequences when you do something naughty. Now I'd like you to say you're sorry to Molly. Oh man, why do you eat that bean burrito? Ah, baby Kira, privacy, privacy. Ew, think I do do in here, yuck. Baby Kira, oh my gosh, my sister does not know anything about privacy. Mom, baby Kira came into the bathroom. She needs a timeout. What the? Oh, Molly, she doesn't understand yet. Well, she needs to learn to. Okay, baby Kira, say what you were going to say. I shall we. Aw. Baby Kira, it's okay. I forgive you. Thank my. You still love me? Baby Kira, I love you always. <laughs>
even not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you, needs to, you need to be. I want to. This is total <laughs> All right. Everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh. I've never had a student say that word before. Um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool and... Oh no, what happened? Is baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said... What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this. Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want to go home. I want to go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child, well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh yeah, we're back here in the play center. Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama, mama, mama! I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-K? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well, baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a, that's, that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kira said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? I better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said. Baby Kira? I can't believe this. Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um, go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa. Your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. I want to. <laughs> you know the timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. <laughs> you spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. 
Can't believe my foot timeout! Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind, like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first time out. It was not fun. <laughs> Whoa, it's really um, raining outside. It's thundering and lightning. Molly, that's why it's the perfect day to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, Molly, what's what's wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong with me? You're, you're like so buff. <laughs> yeah, I've been working out at the gym. <laughs> yeah, right, Molly. It's just, it's just a game of Chuck E. Cheese that makes your arms look so buff. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just, like, working out at the gym every day. Pump it up! <laughs> yeah, right, Marley. Okay, girls, are you ready to go inside Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! Welcome to T Chuck E. Cheese. Dad? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I just thought that I'd work here today, make a little extra money. Dad, you are hilarious. Anytime we ever go anywhere, you just want to work there. Well, I like to get a lot of different experiences. It's pretty cool, actually. And you can eat all the free pizza that you want. What? I want to work here! Sorry, Molly. You're too young. Oh. Do-do-do. Woo! Whoa. I played... I've earned 936 tickets for playing. Awesome. Mom! 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 Yes, dear. What is it? Can we go play the games? Can we play the games? Can we play the games? No, girls. We're going to sit down and have some um, lunch first. Oh, but I want to go play a game first. No, dear. You have to have some lunch, and then you can play the game. Ooh, look at this pizza. Looks delicious. Who's sitting with me? You girls can sit together since there's only room for two. I'll sit back here. Okay. Ooh, this pizza looks delicious. Um, I would like to have that whole pizza, please. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Daisy, we didn't even finish the first pizza we ate. I don't care, Miley. I'm super hungry. Daisy! Oh my gosh. Mmm, delicious! Why, thank you. We make awesome pizza here. I'm not gonna have a drink. Girls, don't forget, you need to eat a salad too. Salad? Why, Mom? Because it's healthy. Fine. Daisy, do you want to eat my salad? Don't, Molly. I have to eat my own salad. Why would I want to eat your salad, too? Because I don't want to eat it. I don't care, Molly. You have to eat your salad, and I'll eat my salad. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to have one more pizza, and then I'm going to be stuffed. Do you guys want any more pizza? Uh, not after you stepped on it. No, thank you. <laughs> Molly, you're hilarious. Mom, we finished our pizza. Can we go play now? I'm not quite done yet, girls. Well, Mom, can you just come in and meet us after you're done? Okay, I guess so. Hey, do you mind if I eat with you? What? The chef is going to eat with Mom? Okay, fine. Dad, are you going to come play some games? Sorry, girls. I'm working right now. Oh, Dad, you have enough money. You don't have to work here. I know, but I just really like to. It's super fun. I get to say hi to everybody. And Okay, Dad, have fun with that. I'm going to go in the game section. It's going to be super fun. Going in the game section. It's going to be super fun. Oh, I'm going to ride in this car. Okay, that one's not very fun. Let's try something else. Ski ball! This is my absolute favorite of all time. It really is. Do, do, do. And. Okay, wait, I forget how to play. Okay, wait, I figured it out. Go! Win, go! Win, 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 win. Okay, let's try again. Oh, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh my 
goodness. I need to practice the ski ball more. Aww. Oh, that one didn't go very far. Okay, I was just trying to like make it go like Maybe if you don't go all the way up, and then it'll get in one of- Oh, that was so close! Okay, let's try that again. Come on! Man, I'm stinking at ski ball right now. Boo, 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 boo. How about all the way over here? Maybe I can make it go boom. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Wham! Oh! Should I play again, guys? Maybe I'll come back and play in a few minutes. Let me go see what else. Photo booth! I love the photo booth. Take my picture! I think that might be broken. I don't know where my sister Daisy is right now. Where is Daisy? Maybe she's up inside this um, jungle gym right here. Daisy! Daisy! But she's hiding on me and she's going to jump out and be like, Blah! If she's not, I could hide on her and do the same thing. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, look at me! I'm in the jungle gym. I'm in the jungle gym. Whoa, this is cool. Whoa! I don't know how to get out of here. I feel like a hamster right now. My hamster cupcake has the same thing. She, like, runs through these tubes and stuff. Except for she's too chubby and basically... <laughs> she <laughs> she gets stuck in there all the time. Okay, Daisy's not up there either. Where's my sister? I better go make sure she's okay because she would love to play the games and my mom always says stick together. So I'm not sure why she's not in here. Daisy! Dad, have you seen Daisy? You don't know where your sister is? I told you guys to stay stay together. Um, oh, look at that little baby. Marley, I'm right here. I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Probably all that pizza and drink that you had. Probably, Marley. Do, 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 pop, pop, ba, do, do. I love Roblox, yes, I do. I love Roblox, how about you? I love Roblox, yes, I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button! Come on, guys. Give this video a huge thumbs up! Daisy, I don't understand how to do this. You have to jump around. Jump around. And book it down. And book it down. <laughs> yeah, I did it! I earned a thousand tickets! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Molly, let's, let's go play a different game. Okay, Daisy, let's go play a different game. Should we try ski ball Marty, are you good at that game? Sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes not. Oh! Claw game! I love this. Let's see if I can win. Probably not, Molly. What? Yes, I can. Okay, slam a winner. How to play. Click to drop a ball. Win a prize when the ball lands into. Okay, yeah, that doesn't make so much sense, but I think I know what you mean. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, I I only get to go once. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Wow, I won that time. That was awesome. Okay, let's try again. Oh, I lost all my money. Daisy, did you go on this this guy right here, this carnival ride? Yeah, Molly, it's it's kind of cool when you're a little baby, but when you when you're all age, it's like, wee. <laughs> it's only sort of exciting, huh, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, only sort of exciting. Does the carousel work? Do 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 do. No, not really. It's just for looks, I guess. But my favorite game works, and that's ski ball. Yeah, Molly, I like playing ski ball too. Okay, well, I'm gonna play right now one more time before we have to go home. Come on, come on! Okay, now the ball won't shoot for some reason. Go! Go! Oh no, it's broken. It's definitely broken. Oh my gosh, I broke this one. Oh, look, 
okay. When it finally worked, look at where the ball went. It's like not even going up there. Oh my goodness. This one's broken! Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to get out of here now. I can hear it raining so hard right now outside Chuck E. Cheese. We might be stuck here all night. Oh, wow. This ski ball is really hard this time. I can't get... Oh, wait. I got 10 points. Go me. Oh, yeah! Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. No. Ah, I'm going to try to go, like... Make it go really far. Okay, no. Nothing on that one either. Oh, <laughs> that one was so lame. Lame. Okay, I did get two, on two of them. Molly, Molly, Molly! You did awesome. Hey, you're the reason why it wasn't working! What, Molly? What? You were jumping on it, and that's why it kept breaking. Oh, I'm telling Mom. Molly, don't tell. You'll be a tattletale. Well, I'm going to go find Mom anyway, because this storm outside is getting crazy. I heard all this thunder. Hey, girls! Mom, what are you doing? I decided to work here, too. It's super fun. Uh, Mom, the weather outside is getting pretty crazy. I see that, girls. We might be stuck here for 24 hours. Good things are lots of games. Pizza and soda! <laughs> hey, Toy Your fans. Thanks so much for watching today. I think my entire family is going to be stuck at Chuck E. Cheese because there's a really bad storm outside, and... We're just going to stay here, stay safe, play lots of games, and eat lots of pizza! <laughs> Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel, where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. We'll see you next time. Bye! Ugh, no! Not my alarm! Too early! Too early! Why hasn't somebody turned off that alarm yet? It's so annoying! Okay. Okay, I'm up. Oh, this whole school thing is getting really old. Why do I need to get ready this early? I mean, can't school just happen, like, never again? <laughs> that would be perfect. Uh, what should I wear today? No, 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 no. Also no, also no. Ooh, let's check in here. Um, ooh. Um, no, no. Also no. Ooh, this is cute. Could wear that and also uh, this. Mm, perfect. My eyes even aren't even awake yet. <laughs> like seriously, they're still closed because it's so early in the morning. Uh, Molly, why are you being so loud? Cheapers, I'm trying to sleep in. You sleep in on a school day? <laughs> Molly, it's not a school day, it's Sunday. Say what? It's, it's Sunday? It's not a school day? Are you pranking me right now? No, Molly. When would I ever prank you about it being school or not school? I would be awake by now if it's school. Now go back to sleep or get out of our room because I'm tired. Oh, yeah. I'm going back to sleep till at least 10 or 11 o'clock. Rise and shine. Mom, we don't have school today. We're sleeping in. Uh, Molly, it's noon. I think you've already slept in. Ah, I love Sundays. They're like the best. Me too. Ugh. Sleeping in is perfect. Uh, Molly, did you sleep in your clothes? What are you wearing? She thought it was a school day, so she got up at 6 a.m. Oh, Molly. Oh, poor kid. Yeah, but I got to go back to bed, so it was totally fine. Girls, I made your favorite breakfast pizza. Yes, breakfast pizza. Last one downstairs is a rotten egg, Daisy. Molly, don't jump over the railing. Hey, Dad, what's up? Hey, Molly. Um, I thought you were going to sleep in forever. <laughs> the whole day is wasting. Nah, I think just sleeping in is the best thing you could do with your day ever. Ah, I love being lazy. I know, Molly. I know. 
But maybe you could try to be a little less lazy about, you know, your schoolwork. Uh, yeah, sure, Dad, I'll try. Wow, Molly, this breakfast pizza is so good. Yeah. Mm. Mom always makes the best pizza in the world. And when she makes a breakfast pizza, it makes my heart and my tummy so happy. I'm glad you like it, girls. So don't tell me. We have to do laundry. We have to wash the floors. We have to dust. We have to do homework. What? No, it's Sunday. Today's my day off. I'm not doing anything. Except for spending some time with my family, of course. Aww. How about in a little while, we go down to the beach? The beach? That sounds great. But, Mom? Yes, Molly? Do you have any more of this breakfast pizza? I'm still hungry. Of course I do, Molly. I made two pizzas just for you. <laughs> Why can't every day be the weekend? Well, because then we'd miss school. Exactly. Okay, family, who's ready to have some fun? I am. I am too. I'm so ready to just like relax, maybe make some s'mores. Yeah, that sounds delicious. But for now, let's just listen to some great music. Oh, honey, do we have to stop for gas? I'm so excited to get to the beach. Well, if you actually want to get to the beach, yes, we're going to run out. Uh, okay, just seems like Sundays are just so short. Like, we barely have enough time to get there and relax. Don't worry, honey, we're going to have plenty of time. It's going to be a great day. Dad, are we there yet? No, Molly, not yet. Are we there yet now? No, Molly, we're still not there. How about now? How about now? How about now? Molly, you're super annoying. Stop it. Oh, uh, yeah, Molly, I agree with your sister. Please, stop it. But I want to know, are we there yet? Dad, are we there yet? Molly, we're not there yet. How about now? No, Molly. Okay, well, how about now? Yes, we're there. Woohoo! Now, this is a life just chilling at the beach. Yeah, I feel like I could write a song about this. Chilling at the beach, it's so much fun. Chilling at the beach, it's so much fun. Molly, no, just no. Yeah, you like my song. Say it. Say I like your song. No, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna keep singing it then. Chilling at the beach, it's so much fun. A chilling at the beach, beach, it's so much fun. Oh boy, I'm moving over there. Okay, so I have all the snacks, and who's ready for s'mores? Me! I'm ready! I'm ready! I'm ready! Dad, why are you wearing a lifeguard outfit? <laughs> I used to be a, a lifeguard when I was like 20, and I couldn't believe I still fit in this outfit. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Dad, but you know, you can get a new bathing suit. You don't have to wear the same one for like 60 years. 60 years? What do you think, I'm 80 years old? Well, Dad, you are pretty old. Oh, I'm not 80 though, Molly. Come on, give me a little credit. Where is the s'mores? Mom, why are you being so lazy? Come on, get the stuff out for the s'mores. Do the mom stuff. Molly, I am on vacation. No, you're not. We're not on vacation. It's just Sunday and we're like 30 minutes from our house. Okay, we're well, on taking a day vacation. All the stuff that you need is over there in the cooler. Okay, I'll do it myself. Can't believe my mom's went on vacation. I know. Oh, man, it's like I have to do stuff for myself. Oh, she packs sandwiches, though. And Cokes. They're delicious. Daisy, you're going to burn your marshmallow. Do I not, Molly? Yes, you are, Daisy. You're going to burn it, and then you won't want to eat it. Molly, I like mine kind of crispy. Yeah, well, you're going to burn it. You're going to burn it. You're going to burn it. Molly, you're driving me crazy. I can't really have a day off now, can I, if my annoying sister is well annoying? <laughs> ah, did you eat it, Daisy? Yeah, it's delicious, too. And I didn't even burn it, so not that much. Mmm. These s'mores are delicious. Mmm. So good. I guess it's okay that I had to make it for myself. Uh, Molly, you're totally capable of making your own s'mores. Ah, this is great, Dan. Maybe we should plan a real vacation. Yeah, except for I have to work overtime. I'm sorry, honey. Well, at least we have our Sundays. Yeah. And they're perfect. If you don't count having the annoying sister coming along. Daisy! Stop being so rude. You stop being so annoying. Both of you stop fighting, please. 
Well, with the price of gas, we can't really afford to go anywhere anyway. I mean, <laughs> it cost us a thousand dollars just to drive an hour from here. Dad, you're being totally dramatic. No, I'm not. They raised the gas prices to ten ninety nine a gallon. Oh, well, makes no difference to me. I don't buy gas. No, Molly, you just have gas. <laughs> <laughs> now that's very true. Ah, the water feels amazing. Ah, perfect day. Giovanni Daisy, where'd you get that donut? You're making me hungry. Molly, it's not a real donut. It's an inner tube for the water. Molly, don't you dare try to bite it. You'll put a hole in it. Come here, that, that looks delicious. Come here. Molly, stop it. Wasn't that the perfect day, girls? It really was. I agree. Now we can watch a family movie and it'll be just like the most perfect day. Yeah, let's watch Encanto. Oh, we have to watch that movie again? Just kidding. I love that movie. Me too, <laughs> especially the songs. Under pressure. Dad, that's not how the song goes at all. That was just weird. <laughs> Oopsie. Hmm, leftover pizza. Don't you want to eat some popcorn, Molly? No? Okay, well, more for me! Hooray! <laughs> Dad, you're so funny. Don't you think you should just like do some of your homework? No, it's Friday night. I still have like three days before I have to do homework. Um, two days because it's on Monday. Not if you count Monday. <laughs> I was thinking that I could do my homework in first period study hall. Oh yeah, yeah, Molly. What about studying too? That's what you're supposed to do in study hall. Girls, <laughs> I'll see you later. Grandma will be here any minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going, mom? And, and you got a suitcase? Are you leaving us? Mom, don't leave us! Molly, I already told you where I was going, remember? Yeah, Molly, she told us at the beginning of the week. Um, I don't remember you telling me. I do, Molly. Good morning, Molly. Uh-huh, good morning. Ooh, waffles, mm, so delicious. Ooh, we got ice cream, too. Molly, why are you eating that for breakfast? Oh, my gosh. Molly, I have to tell you something. Mm-hmm, I'm listening. Ooh, this waffle's delicious. <gasps> Pizza, too? I'm going to be going out of town for a work trip this weekend, so Grandma's going to be staying with you. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. Mm. Pizza, too? Oh, a greasy cup? <laughs> Molly, are you even listening to me? Oh, this girl, all she does is think about her stomach. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mom? I wouldn't be eating like that. Molly, you eat like that every day. Ah, uh, yeah, she has a point. Parisi cups! They're so delicious. Try eating a salad, Molly. She's like, she's like the angel on my shoulder that tells me the good things to do. And I'm the devil on the other side. And I'm like, no, eat everything delicious. <laughs> yeah, Molly, I am an angel. You could definitely say that again. Okay, girls, I love you. Now, Grandma said she's pulling in the driveway any second. So I'm just going to go put my luggage in the car. Will you watch baby Kira for me? Sure, Mom. She's just chilling here watching Brooke High. And I'm doing some studying. I love you, girls. Bye, Mom. A few hours later. Hello. Is anyone home? Of course we're home, Grandma. Where else would we be? We're babysitting. Be You're babysitting us. Whoa! Ah! Grandma, is that blood on your shirt? No, silly. Those are flowers. Oh, okay. Um, your choice of outfit, Grandma, is crazy. You have rollers in your hair and blood on your shirt. Molly, she said they're flowers. Hi, baby Kira. Uh, Grandma, I can tell you I love you so much. Oh, sweet little girl. Now, what are we doing? We're watching Brooke High, Grandma. Doesn't that sound amazing? Yes, but don't you have some chores? Grandma, it's Friday night. We have no chores. We should order a pizza, though. Stay up till 1 a.m. Play video games. Oh, dear. I don't think so. I run a very tight ship around here, and besides that, I need my beauty rest. And I'm telling you now. Don't get out of your bed after I put you in it. Who? Us? <laughs> yeah, right. We're the best kids in the world. You know that. Um, yeah, except for this one over here. D Daisy, are you trying to point at me behind your back? Who, me? No. Oh, I'm just saying. You girls need to behave yourselves or else. No, we will, Grandma. We promise. Now, can we order a pizza? Sure, we can. All right, I'll um, get them on the phone. Wait, do you want Tony's or do you want Angelo's? 
Angelo's for sure. Lo, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'd like to place an order for a pizza. You didn't pay me for your pizza last time. Um, that wasn't my fault, Angelo. I'm telling you, I washed the dishes. What more do you want from me? Oh, uh, Angelo, please. Can we have a pizza with pepperoni? Our grandma is here. She'll pay for it. Okay. I'll deliver it in about 20 minutes. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, they have the best pizza ever. I got my I got little monkey. He's so cute. I love him. Grandma, could we have some soda with our pizza? Sure, as long as you don't stay up past 10 p.m. Never, Grandma. We'd never do that. 20 minutes later. Holy guacamole. This is the best pizza ever. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to put on my fat pants. Uh, just to just lean back here. Maybe I can get more pizza in. <laughs> ay, 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 Molly. Why are you eating so much pizza? Because, mm, I don't know why I'm going to eat it again because mom's always like, pizza's not that great for you. Why are you eating so much of it? So when grandma's here, eat it all. I want to eat pizza too. Okay. Well, here's a slice of pizza for you, baby Kara. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> Still your piece of pizza. Mm, it's delicious. Molly food. Okay, well, I only wanted to take two bites of it. Here you go. You can have it back, baby Kara. Molly, behave yourself or you'll be going to bed extra early. Sorry. I just can't help myself when it comes to pizza. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. She's gone crazy. I'm going to go see if there's any soda in the fridge. Mom always keeps some in here for like a special occasion because we're not allowed to drink it otherwise. Glug, 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 glug. Oops, I forgot to close the refrigerator. Don't want to do that. All the food will go bad. Wouldn't that be sad? Ooh, grape soda. One of my favorites. I chose a classic Coca-Cola. All right, girls. It's time for night-night. Grandma, nobody calls it night-night anymore. We're all grown up. You're not all grown up yet, or you wouldn't need a babysitter. Now off to bed with you. Don't forget to brush your teeth after all that pepperoni and sugary soda. You got it, Granny. Hey, JC, let's stay up late and, um... You know, just like play games, play Roblox and stuff. But Grandma said we have to be in bed by 10 p.m. Ah, 10, shmam. I think we should stay up all night long. Molly, that's a horrible idea. Now put on your pajamas and go to bed. Oh, somehow you think that you're mom all of a sudden. Newsflash, I'm staying up and playing Roblox. Good luck when you get in trouble. You'll be up by yourself in detention. Daisy, ugh, it's not detention, we're at home. It's grandma detention, you wait and see. There's no such thing as granny detention. Right, guys? All right, first thing I need to do is pretend I'm sleeping because I don't want granny to actually think I'm awake. So when she comes in at 10 o'clock, I'm just gonna get under my covers and pretend. <laughs> I think Daisy's actually already sleeping. No, I'm not, Molly, because you're talking to the camera. Go to sleep. <laughs> she obviously doesn't understand that I'm a famous YouTuber. I talk to the fans. Yeah, and you should talk a little less at 10 o'clock at night. Ugh, sisters. So annoying. Is everyone in bed in here? It's 10 o'clock. Um, yes, Grandma. Are you going to pretend you were sleeping, Molly? Both of you get to sleep right away. Okay, Grandma, but we are actually in bed. We're just, you know, we can't decide when our bodies go to sleep. Good point, but go to bed. But, Grandma, I have to go potty. Molly, what are you, five? No, but I don't want to pee the bed, so, okay, is that all right? Yes, but then get right back into bed. Okay. I don't really have to go to the bathroom, but look at our view from our bathroom. Isn't it awesome? You can see the lake from up here. We don't own a lake house because we ain't that rich. <laughs> Come on now. Well, we can see the lake far over there in the distance. Whoa, actually, maybe I do have to go to the bathroom. Okay, done. <laughs> um, always wash your hands because if you don't, ew, that's gross. And um, now that Granny is going to be sleeping... I'm going to party! Party, party, party! Well, I better be quiet. I'm going to wake her up. <laughs> okay. Just have to very quietly sneak past our granny is sleeping in the guest room and not wake her up. Molly! What are you doing? Ah! Daisy! What, what are you doing scaring me half to
to death. What are you doing? You never came back after you went to the bathroom. Granny said, be in bed by 10 o'clock, and it's 10.49 p.m. Okay, but you're going to wake her up. She's sleeping right in there. She said, don't wake her up or else. Yep, a granny time out. Yeah, she said she needs her beauty rest. What do you think she means by that? I think she means as you get old, you need to sleep more. You get really ugly. Wow, that sounds awful. Yeah, it's reality, though. Now, come on. No way. Come on, let's go play Roblox. She's snoring in the other room. She'll never know. Oh, I can't believe you've talked me into this, but it does sound pretty fun. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I knew you'd see things my way. Daisy, did you just hear footsteps? No, Molly, you're just being paranoid. Grandma sleeps like the dead. She, she won't be waking up. We'll just be quiet down here. She's all the way upstairs. Yeah, probably just being paranoid right now. Let's log into Roblox and play. I don't know. You want to you play like Bloxburg and Avi? What? What is that I hear? Oh, no. Grandma's up. And she's at the top of the stairs. We have to hide. Okay. Um, I can find a good hiding spot. Where should I hide? Where should I hide? Maybe I could hide inside the washing machine. I don't know. No, that's a terrible idea. Uh, 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 uh. Molly, where are we going to hide? Our house is terrible for hiding spots. Okay. I've got a good spot. I'm behind the chair. She'll never see me back here. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was an intruder. What was that sound? Huh? 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 Choo! What? Is that you back there, Molly? Uh-oh. Busted! Um, I had to go to the bathroom and the upstairs was plugged and, um, well, basically, um, I lost my way on the way back because I was really tired. I told you to be in bed by 10 p.m. Is that a taser, Grandma? Are you okay? Is that really blood on your shirt? What? No, but uh-oh. I told you not to get me out of bed at 10 p.m. I need my beauty rest. But, but Daisy, she was right over. Wait a minute. Where's Daisy? She's in bed. Okay, Grandma, I I'll take my granny time out. This isn't gonna be good. Oh no. Granny, what's going on? The process is starting! Ah! Grandma! You ugly! What? No! I feel like a zombie, a crypt keeper! You did this to me! You. You awful child! I'm really sorry. I didn't know you would really get that ugly. Oh, my joints. I can feel them cracking and popping and... Um, you know what? I have a remedy for this. Be right back! So, we have these, um, gummy vitamins that we give baby Kira when she can't sleep. And they're just, like, all natural, but they're just, like, help her to feel really calm. It's got chamomile on it. And I'm just gonna get some of those right now for Granny. Um, because she obviously needs to go back to sleep right away. Here, this is chamomile, Grandma. It'll help you go back to sleep, I promise. Oh, my mother used to give me chamomile tea to help me sleep. Oh, when I was a child. Uh-huh. Just take one, Granny. Chamomile tea, um, gummies will definitely help you sleep. Oh, all right. But I don't think I like how I look. I look terrible. <laughs> Well, um, Grandma, you look kind of old even when you don't look like this. What? Oh, oh sorry. I'll have to give you an extra. Whoa, that knocked her out. She's sleeping. Okay, I'm going to have to try to pick her up and carry her back upstairs. Nah, she's too heavy. Um, I'll just, um, let her sleep here. Okay, okay. I'm going to go back to bed now because, um... Obviously, when Grandma said she needed to go to bed at 10 p.m., she meant it. Hey, Daisy, thanks for, um, being a traitor. Well, I wasn't gonna get caught. How'd it go? Did you get a granny time, na time out? No, Daisy. Grandma turned into the undead! What? Yeah, she just gets really ugly and, like, old and stuff. She doesn't get her sleep. She wasn't kidding about needing beauty rest. Ugh, it's going to haunt my nightmares forever. The next morning. So tired. So tired. Couldn't sleep. Good morning, sleepyhead. What were you doing last night? 
Did you have eh, bad dreams? Uh, bad dreams? No, Grandma, you were the bad dream. Me? I was in your bad dream? What happened? No, Grandma, you were a bad dream in real life. What? She's talking craziness again. You gave her a granny time out, and now she's just feeling very disgruntled. I wasn't out of bed at all last night. What? Y yes, you were. Turn into the Crypt Keeper! Oh, no, me? No, I didn't. I slept like a baby. Only thing was, is I woke up on the floor this morning. <laughs> I must have rolled out of the bed and rolled down the stairs, and oh boy, I'm glad I didn't get a goose egg on my head. Grandma! You don't remember anything that happened last night? Guacamole, my granny really does turn into a monster after 10 p.m. Oh, <laughs> oh, your mom should be home soon and she can deal with this craziness. In the meantime, I made you girls some waffles. Daisy, can I see you over here for a minute? What, Molly? I'm about to get delicious granny waffles. She turned into this zombie looking thing last night because I got out of her bed. And, and I gave her one of those chamomile shoes that we give to gummy things that we give to baby Kira when she can't sleep and she fell asleep on the floor. Molly, uh, your pranks are not going to work on me. I'm telling the truth! Huh. There's only one thing to do. Invite Grandma for a sleepover and film it. Then I can show everybody on YouTube. Hey Granny, um, you're amazing. Would you like to have a sleepover? Oh, I don't know. I already slept over once. Yeah, but tonight we can have a real sleepover. Popcorn and everything! Um, well, um, sure, why not? Good, Grandma. We'll all see you there. <laughs> oh, I hope you film it for the YouTube channels. <laughs> I want to be famous, too. Oh, Grandma, you will be. But maybe not for what you think. <laughs>
I don't want to eat a snack and I don't want to go for a walk. Sorry, but that's the rules at Brookie Cookie's Babysitting Club. How's the banana, Lucy? It's delicious, thanks. Um, wait, 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 wait. Lola, you're not supposed to be eating an ice cream cone for your snack. Too bad, you snooze, you lose, lady. And this is what I picked. Uh oh Whoa, she's gonna get a time out at the babysitters. That's like crazy. <gasps> Ooh, it's so nice outside, isn't it, Lola? Whatever. When can I watch Cookie Swirl sing? You can watch YouTube when we're done with our walk. Yay, let's go for a walk. Ooh, it's so nice outside. I love when it's sunny. Wait, um, do you have a bike I could ride? I know how to ride a two-wheeler, Brookie. Sure, of course you can ride a bike. Let me just go into my garage and get mine from when I was your age. Thanks, Brookie Cookie. Wow, this babysitter is so oh. nice. Whoa, your bike is pink? That's so cool. Okay, girls, um, wait for me. Okay, Brookie. I'm not waiting for her. She's taking forever. Hey! <laughs> Ugh, Lola, you almost ran into me. You're gonna knock me off my bike. She's so rude. All right, girls. Um, now that you've gotten some exercise, you can come in and watch a little bit of TV before your nap time. Woohoo! TV. I want to watch. Um, well, my sister always likes to watch Cookie Squirrel C. Well, is that what you like to watch, Lucy? Yeah, I like to watch it too. Too bad if you don't want to watch it. I'm watching that on TV. Okay, Lola, whatever. She's so rude. One minute, 37 seconds later. Aw, Lucy fell asleep on the couch. Okay, Lola, you look super exhausted too. It's time for a nap. I don't take naps. I'm way too old for that. Um, your mom said you take a nap every single day. Come on, I have bunk beds in the guest room. You guys can sleep in there. Looks like I'm gonna have to carry Lucy in there. She's sleeping so soundly. Wow, she's so tired from riding that bicycle. Uh, come on, Lola, it's time for night night. I don't wanna take a nap. A nap is for babies. La 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 la. Okay, little girl, why don't you go take a nap? Good job. Aw, she's so covered up in her blankets, you can't even see her. Okay, Lola, it's your turn. Come on, Lola, or I'll have to give you a timeout. And I don't want to have to give you a timeout. Fine, I'm coming. Ugh, watching twins is a lot more work than I thought it would be. Ugh, I just need to close my eyes for just a minute. My babysitter, well, she looks like she's from the Stone Age. I think I should give her a little bit of a makeover while she takes a snooze. <laughs> Uh-oh! Her hair looks so last season. I'm gonna give her a little bit of an update. Oh, that was a great nap. I'm um, Brookie. Cheesy macaroni! Oh my gosh! Brookie! You, 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 you look! What? what? Oh no, did I fall asleep on the job? Oh no! Yeah, sometimes I just get bad head. You know, it happens. No! Go look in the mirror! Someone definitely gave you a haircut when you were sleeping! What? What are you talking about, Lucy? Nobody gave me a haircut. Go in the bathroom and look! Um, okay, if you say so. Ha! Ah! What happened to my hair? I'll tell you what happened to your hair. It was Lola. I don't think our babysitter um actually was sick. I think she just quit. All of our babysitters have quit. Lola's so naughty. What? Ah, my hair is awful! That's it. Your sister is getting a timeout for life! Uh-oh. This sounds familiar. Lola is so naughty. Whoa, I like your new hair, <laughs> babysitter. Lola, I can't believe you cut my hair while I was sleeping. Well, maybe you shouldn't have fallen asleep on the job. <laughs> Pretty sure my mom doesn't pay you to take a nap on the couch. Oh my gosh, time out right now. I don't even know I got a time out for. It's not like I did anything wrong. Except for cutting my hair all off. Ugh. 
Sorry about that, Bricky Cookie. My sister can be really naughty sometimes. Don't worry about it, Lucy. It's not your fault. Would you like some lunch? <laughs> sure. Um, can I try something new? Yeah, if I have something, let me take a look. Well, um, have you ever had any hot dogs before? Hot dogs? No, I've never had that. Mom says that that's really unhealthy. But I'll eat it. I always wanted to try it. How about you, Lola? Are you hungry? Yeah, whatever. I'll eat a hot dog in time out. Being a babysitter isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. I'm thinking about this career choice and probably going to make a move. Ooh. Mm. Don't change at being a babysitter, Brookie. You're so good at it. Aww. Really? I don't think so. Well, that's because you're sitting in time out, Lola. But I think you're a great babysitter, Brookie. Really? You think so? <gasps> of course. Look, you had us try new food. You had us get fresh air. Well, you even know how to discipline when a kid needs it. And you didn't even yell at my sister, really, when she cut your hair off. You were pretty patient with her. That takes a lot of skill, because Lola is pretty bad. What? No, I'm not. Lola, yes, you are. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty bad. Sorry, I was just testing your boogie to see if you could be a good babysitter. Well, I hope I passed, girls. You did. You did. This hot dog's Awesome. Thanks, Brookie. Ah, just another crazy day at Brookie's Babysitting Club. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Mom, why? Just why? Because, Molly, I have a whole list of things here for you to do. What? It's Saturday. <sighs> Molly, if you don't get out of bed, I'm going to spray you with the fire extinguisher. Or just pour this watering can water on you because that's all I have. Ah! Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I was wondering when you were going to wake up. Why do you have a big long list of things I need to do on a Saturday? Wow, I should have made the list start last night. Starting with making sure your pajamas match. Who cares? They're pajamas. That's all that matters. So, Mom, are you going to tell me uh, why I have to do this long list on a Saturday? Or should I just crawl back into bed? Molly, did you just get back into bed? Get out of bed. <laughs> Molly, Molly, Molly. Ow, Mom! Because we're turning over a new leaf around here, Molly. Your laziness has got to go. First thing on the list, open your eyes. Nope, can't do it. Don't open my eyes on Saturday till noon. Molly, it's on the list. You don't want to get grounded, do you? Fine. My eyes are open. Can you open them a little wider? No! <laughs> okay, Molly. I checked off that one. Second is to, well, get dressed. Why can't Daisy do all these things? Actually, Daisy already did her list. Now I'm gonna hand this over to you. I've gotta go run some errands. I'll be back in a couple of hours, but I expect you to finish all of this checklist by the time I get back in two hours, Molly, or you're grounded for a month. Say what? This must be a nightmare. It's not, Molly. It's not. This doesn't even have my most important thing that I do in the morning. <laughs> I've got a little bit of pent-up stomach issues going on. Molly, I heard that close. <laughs> Let's see what else is on this list. Get dressed, vacuum, dust, do the dishes. What do I look like, Cinderella? Oh, I don't want to do any of this. Oh, but I just go watch some TV. Sounds good to me. Daisy, what are you doing? My exercises. My exercises. Of course she's doing exercises. She's so perfect all the time. Malia, are you going to sing this early in the morning? Why? Is it better in the afternoon? No, your singing's terrible, but always. Oh, she's kind of rude, don't you guys think? Ah, time to chill. If you don't get that list done by the time Mom gets home, you're grounded for a month, don't forget. Ah, why do you have to remind me of everything? This is terrible. When did our mom become a strict mom? Well, Molly, I think she just started to 
crack down on you is all. Ugh, look at all this stuff on this list. It's giving me a headache. Somebody, call the paramedics. I can't do this. It's so dramatic. Ah, oh, it's too much. Oh. Riley, you better do it or you're going to be out of here. That's it, Daisy. Out of here. I'm moving out. What? No more homework. No more lists. No more mom telling me what to do. <laughs> you wouldn't make it one day on your own. Who's going to make you cupcakes? I'll go to Starbucks and buy them. I have allowance saved up. I can do it. You know what I think of this list? <laughs> Goodbye. <gasps> you just threw the clipboard, Molly. Yep. Time to go pack my stuff. I'm moving out. I don't need this. I don't need someone bossing me around. Ha 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 ha. This is going to be the best life ever. Molly, think this through. I mean, honestly, you're not even wearing real clothes. Who needs real clothes? I see people at Walmart wearing their pajama bottoms all the time. They don't need real clothes. But, but, but. Okay, well, she has a bit of a point there. I'm never wearing real clothes again. I'm wearing my pajamas for life. <laughs> this is going to be the best life I've ever had. Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm going to live alone. What? I'll miss you, Molly. What are you doing outside? Getting some fresh air. I just did all of my chores. Chore s'mores! That's exactly what I'm talking about. Did you just say s'mores? Yeah, you know I love food. Had to just put a little bit of a food joke in there. <laughs> so, uh, you want to come visit me in my new apartment? You have an apartment? No, but I'm going to. I have $50 saved up in my allowance. Uh, Molly, apartments are like $1,000 a month. Jiminy Cricket! Well, I'll just find a cheap one. <laughs> I'm sure there's one in downtown. Oh, look, there's a realtor. She's going to give me an awesome penthouse apartment. Hi, I'm Molly. Oh, hi. You're much younger than I thought. Must be you're a famous YouTuber or something. No big deal. Um, but what's up with the pajamas? That's not how we are in the real estate world. Well, it's how we are in the YouTube world. I make YouTube videos in my pajamas all the time. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, let's go see the penthouse apartment. Now, you do have your deposit, correct? You know I do. Oh, is there an elevator? This is a lot of stairs. Um, well, yes, but it's not working right now. Um, well, then you should take some money off my rent. That's a lot of money. What do you mean it's a lot of money? I haven't even told you how much it is yet. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Come on, let's go in. Uh, let me just unlock it. So here it is, the penthouse apartment. Oh, wow, this place is amazing. Um, why are you carrying a suitcase everywhere with you? Is that where you keep your checks and money? Uh, because you're going to need it to be able to pay for this place. It's $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month? Lady, are you crazy? Um, no, that's what this place costs. Want to look around? Holy macaroni, this place is amazing. Where am I going to get $10,000 a month? Uh, you also need a deposit um, of $12,000 to move in. How about $50? I have $50. Will that be enough? Huh? What? No, of course not. This is the penthouse. Um, okay. Well, how about this? How about I give you a shout out on my YouTube channel? We have millions of subscribers. It would be so good for your real estate business. Okay, well, I guess we could do that for the down deposit. But, um, you still need to come up with $10,000 in rent. Okay, um, uh, uh, um, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I've got to use the bathroom. Uh, you're not supposed to use the bathroom at the rental until you rent it. Oh, oh, oh this is terrible. <laughs> totally ate a bean burrito today. Are you ever coming out? Whoa, it smells awful. What are you doing? Well, lady, <laughs> I guess you have to give me the apartment now. What? Why? Because everybody knows if you poop in the bathroom, it's yours. Oh, well, you do have a point there. It's yours. Congratulations. But only for a month. After the month, you have to pay $10,000. <laughs> there you go. You guys heard it. It's my apartment because I claimed it. <laughs> <sighs> now this is the life. Nobody with checklists. No one waking me up early on a Saturday. No one telling me I can't watch TV or eat whatever I want. I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Mom. What's for dinner? Mom? Mom, where are you? Oh, wait a minute. Mom doesn't live here. 
Oh my gosh. This means I have to make my own food? No! It's okay. It's okay. There's um, an apple here and a banana that the realtor left. That'll be tasty, right? No! Not tasty at all! Well, dinner was terrible. Ugh. Hey, Daisy! You want to play Roblox? Because dinner was really disappointing. Daisy! Daisy! Oh, wait a minute. I live alone. My annoying sister isn't here. You'd think that would make me happy, but she and I always play Roblox together. I kind of miss her. But don't tell her I said that! Ugh. Living alone is kind of, well, lonely. There's even bunk beds for more than one person to stay here, but... But wait, where does this go? This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be so cool. Wait a minute, what is up here? It's a pool? Are you serious? Okay, living alone's fine. Gonna go swimming. Gonna go swimming. Yeah, I'm swimming in my pajamas. What about it? Huh? 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 <laughs> I can do whatever I want in my mismatched pajamas. Ah! 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 I got a cramp! Ah! Somebody help! I got a cramp in my stomach! I knew eating that apple was a bad idea! Ah! I'm gonna drown! Help! Oh, Mom! Somebody! Ooh! Molly, could you stop daydreaming, please? There's this huge list you have to get done! Molly, are you even listening? Ah! Uh, uh, living alone is terrible! What? Uh, okay, yeah, I can be. Um, you'd probably miss us. You're right, I'd miss you so much, Mom. I love you. Thank you for this big, long list of stuff I don't want to do on my Saturday when I'd rather sleep in. Um, okay, Molly. Well, just make sure you have it all done before you get back. Yeah, I'll even do it twice. I love you, Mom! <laughs> Hush, hush now, little Ember. Shh, shh, shh. Everything's going to be fine. How is everything going to be fine? We're abandoning our baby! It's the right thing to do. Uh, they'll never understand. But, but she's our baby! <laughs> wee, wee. Shh, shh, shh. Ember, everything's going to be fine. You'll see. Your new family will love you so much. I get your word with your budget that's right, baby. You be a good girl now for your new mommy and daddy. And just know, your mother and I will never, ever forget you. Be ready to run, honey. I I'm about to ring the doorbell. I can't leave her. We have to. We have to. Okay, I rang the doorbell. Run! She'll have a better life, honey. I promise. I hope you're right. I miss my baby already. Oh my gosh, I'm actually on time today. Congratulations, this is the first time in history that you're not gonna get detention. <laughs> oh, very funny. You think that my achievements aren't amazing, but I think they're really amazing. Yay, Molly, you're not getting detention. You're doing what you're supposed to. Daisy, why are you so in my face right now? Oh, sorry, I was just a little too close, but I wanted you to hear me clapping and, and, and applauding for how amazing you are for just being a mediocre student. Hey, I think I'm a pretty good student. I mean, I showed up today, isn't that enough? Ay, 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 Molly. Good morning, class, good morning. Everybody, please take your seats. Whoa, Molly, you're on time. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, take your seats, everyone. I have an announcement. New student today. I want you to all be very kind when she comes in. And, you know, if you wanted to be her friend, ask her to sit with you at lunch. That would be so nice of you. I bet the new student is a total loser. Um, Sarah, that's not very nice. Everyone, say hello to Ember. Ember? What kind of weird name is that? Well, I think it's a very cool name, Sarah. Quit teasing her, Jeepers. She just got in the classroom. Hi, everyone. I'm Ember. Um, this is a new school for me, so I'm, like, a little nervous because I don't have any friends here or anything. But I hope that I can be friends with you guys, if that's cool. Yeah, we'll be friends with you. Her face and her makeup are like really weird. Uh, Sarah, I would like you to go see the principal now. What? What did I do? You're being very rude to the new student. Sorry about that, Ember. No, it's okay. I'm used to it. I've started over at like five new schools now. Five new schools? Wow, you move around a lot. Are your parents in the military or something? No, <laughs> it just never really works out for me at any of my schools. Oh, well, um, I'm Molly, by the way, and this is my annoying sister, Daisy. I'm not annoying. Don't listen to her. Well, hi, Molly and Daisy. 
Our best friend, um, Brookie Cookie's not here today because she has a stomach flu. And basically, she's sitting on the toilet all day. At least that's what she told me. Molly, are you sure that Brookie would want you to say that? Hey, it's the truth. <laughs> oh, sorry about your friend. Uh, would you like to sit with us at lunch, Ember? Sure, that would be great. Thanks so much. What can I get for you? Oh, hey, Large Marge. Um, let's see. Got any tater tots today? No, I'm about to cut this garlic bread. Oh, is that why you got a knife in your teeth? That's kind of creepy. How else do you think I'm going to cut the garlic bread? Um, I don't know, but I'll take a piece of the garlic bread. Great. Fine. Awesome. Ember, don't worry about it. Our lunch lady, Large Marge, is a little bit crazy, but she's a good cook. Except for when she makes sauerkraut sandwiches. Ew, why would she make sauerkraut sandwiches? I don't know, ask her. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> she might give me one and I don't want a sauerkraut sandwich. But I would like some Tabasco sauce. Do you have any ghost peppers and jalapenos? Holy guacamole, Ember. Now I know why you have your name, Ember. All that stuff sounds super spicy. I love fiery foods. It's my favorite. Daisy, aren't you going to eat school lunch? Absolutely not. That stuff will clog your arteries quick. Tato tots. Ay, ay, ay. I need to live forever so I can make the most amazing science discovery. Don't mind my sister. Like I said, annoying. Oh, very funny, Molly. So, Ember, what do your parents do for a living? Oh, um, well, first of all, I guess I should say I'm adopted. What? That's so cool. Yeah. I don't really know who my real parents are. I was left on the doorstep of a, as a baby at my adopted parents' house. Say what? Just just abandoned there as a sweet little baby? Are you serious right now? Yeah, but my adoptive parents are super cool. They're a little strict though, but you know, it's okay. Do you ever wonder why or how your parents just like uh, left you there? I wonder about it all the time. Did they leave a note? Yeah, they just said, this is our little girl, Ember. We can't keep her. Please take super good care of her. Wow. That is amazing. Oh boy, here comes Sarah. Ugh, look, it's the new loser student who's got a weird face and a weird name. and Everything's weird about her. Ugh, I'm gonna post about this right now. You better not, Sarah. Don't be rude. She's a new student and she's really nice. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm gonna take a selfie first because I look great today. Actually, I think she kind of looks a little grumpy, but you know, it's just me. Well, why don't we take a picture of Ember so I can show everybody how weird she is. That's not very nice. Take that back. Not a chance. Don't worry, she's just being a bully. It's what she does. I don't, I don't like being bullied. Take that back. Weirdo. I'm not taking it back. You're a weirdo. Take that back! Uh, Ember, are you okay? What? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just getting really angry. Um, I think you might want to just cool it down a little bit. What is going on with your eyes? They look like they're on fire. Oh, uh, this is weird. Yeah, take back what you said to me, bully. No, you're still a weirdo. And I think you're kind of ugly, too. Take it back. Ah! Oh my god! Ah, uh, somebody get some water! Ember's on fire! Okay, I just gotta look for that janitor bucket. It's around here somewhere. Got it! Just gotta fill it up some, with some water. Why won't the sink turn on? Okay, well, toilet water it is, you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, got it. Ember! Ember, I've got some water! Everything's gonna be okay! Molly, stand back! I've got the fire extinguisher! Okay, that's, that's probably better than the toilet water. Hold still, Ember! What are you guys talking about? I like being on fire. Now take back what you said to me, bully. You need to calm down, Ember. You're gonna burn the whole Brookhaven school down. Ah, don't spray me. I don't like water. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I think I let my anger get the best of me. Um, the Sarah, I think you should probably leave now. Whatever, weirdos. Ugh, I knew there was some reason for me to just like, not like you guys at all. Okay, that's fine. Just go. Ember, are you okay? What happened? Um, I'm not really sure. It just, it happens at my other schools too when I got a little mad. O-M-G. Is that why your parents keep moving you to new schools? Yeah, they don't know why I turned to fire. Wow, I think I might know. Really? Why? I'm taking notes for my science experiment when I come over to my laboratory after school. Dizzy, she's not your science experiment. Well, she could be. Daisy, get your head in the game here. 
Um, okay, so I, I'm just asking her. Is it okay if I just, like, poke you with some needles and... Daisy! Okay, fine. Molly, what's your answer as to what's going on here? I think her parents were elements. What? Yeah, don't worry. If we find your parents, we can get all of the answers. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're going to be really hard to find. We have no choice, Ember. We have to find them. And you have to try to control your anger. Especially when someone calls you weird. Well, I don't like being called weird. <laughs> Nobody calls me weird. Uh-oh, she's starting to smoke again. Let me get the fire extinguisher. Ember, try to control your anger. Can you do it? Think about happy things. Puppies, kittens, and, 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 um, pizza. Okay, I think I'm calming down now. Good, see? You can control it. This is good. Now, we just have to find out where your parents are so we can figure out what, what are you? Well, she's obviously the element of fire, duh. I could have told you that one. <laughs> No, Daisy, I get the pink unicorn. You can have the blue one. Molly, it's time to wake up. You slept right through your alarm. Oh, uh, no. No, I can't go to school today, Mom. I, I, uh, I've got bird flu. Molly, no, you don't. You don't look sick at all. I can't go because I've got chicken pox. Molly, you don't even have a single spot. Get out of bed and come downstairs for breakfast right away. Uh, okay. Uh, who would have thought that school would have been every single day, Monday through Friday, for so many months? <sighs> who came up with that idea anyway? <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Did you fall down the stairs or something? What's happening? Oh, ma, I'm so sad, but I just got a call from the school. School is canceled. What? I didn't get a text or a call from the school. That's because they only send one call out per family. Otherwise, it just takes forever to call every student. Marty, they would just text all the students in one mass text. They wouldn't call. Your lies are ridiculous. Molly, are you lying to me right now? No, I mean, I'm so sad school's canceled. She's lying. Molly, get your breakfast and get ready to get on the bus. Or else... Fine, cheapers. Mmm, breakfast pizza. Uh, Molly, I didn't make any breakfast pizza. Nah, this is just a leftover pizza from last week, but if you eat it for breakfast, then it becomes breakfast pizza. <laughs> oh, boy. I go good today with my Daisy. Uh, maybe, Carrie, you're too little. You can't go to school. What? I went go good. Oh boy, this again. Mm, this pizza's delicious. Mm, I gotta go get dressed though. Bye! I'm a cuckoo! I'm a cuckoo! I've got backpack. i got cuckoo! Um, baby Kara, you can't go to school yet. You're not old enough, honey. You're still just a little toddler. Yeah, baby Kara, besides, there's a lot of big kid stuff that happens like homework. Math and science, riding the school bus. I want cuckoo! Oh boy, it's gonna be a long day. Okay, baby Kara, come on, let's go change your diaper. Daisy, the bus is here! Molly, I'm standing right behind you. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even hear you, we're like a sneaky ninja. Yeah, that's definitely me, sneaky ninja. Um, well, you're more like a nerdy ninja, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Ugh, I can't even get on the bus. What's wrong with me right now? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Brookhaven bus, why are you so hard to get on to? Good morning, students. Now, remember, keep our hands to ourselves, all that stuff. I can go, I can go, I can go. Hey, what's a little kid doing on the bus? This isn't for babies. I'm not baby, I toddler, and I'm going good like a big girl. Well, I don't. I can't believe there are any babies on this bus. This is total. Whoa! You got bad wood. You said. 
Oh my gosh, a toddler just swore! <laughs> oh man, I think it might be a bad influence. Wait a minute, why, why is my baby sis still here? Good question. Why are you here? I don't go to school like my big sisters. Um, you can't go to school because you're not five yet. And then you start kindergarten. You're not in middle school. Well, this is total... B oh my gosh! Did you just say what I think you said? I think she did. Baby Kira, where'd you hear that word? I think it's a total... Oh my gosh, go to the principal's office right now! She'll call your mother and, and work this all out. Daisy, where's the rest of the class? They're still getting off the school bus. Oh my goodness, baby killer. You're gonna be grounded for life. Ah, oh, there's a student in my office already? School just started! Wait, I can't even see the student. Who is that? It's a baby! I got baby! I told you! Why haven't we called me a baby when I told you? This is Oh my gosh! Wait a minute, aren't you Laura Acker's daughter? I am not uh, Acker's daughter. Oh my gosh, I better call her on the phone right now. Mmm, this coffee's delicious. Finally, a moment of peace just to myself. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh no, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Miss Ackers, is this you? Yes, this is Mrs. Acker, how can I help you? Well, um, this is the school calling. Uh, this is the principal. Oh, great. What did Molly do now? No, no, Molly didn't do anything. Well, yeah, anyway, the day is young. Well, what are you calling me for, then? Did Daisy get another amazing grade in science class? No, it's about your other daughter. My other daughter? I don't have another daughter in school. You must be calling the wrong person. No, your littlest daughter, Kira... Oh, <laughs> what are you calling about her for? She's in my office. She's been saying... What? She didn't say that. She's right here. I, I just put her down for a nap. I'm just going to run into the room and look and make sure... Oh my gosh, she's not here. Oh, I am so sorry. She wanted to follow her big sisters to school today and apparently she succeeded. I feel like a terrible mom right now. Don't worry, Mrs. Acker. It happens more often you than you think. I'll keep her here in my office until you can come pick her up. And you might want to tell her that she can't say uh, in school. All right, I don't know where she learned that word. It was, certainly wasn't from me. Maybe her father. Baby Kira, you still have a few years left to go before you, um, you know, come to school. Baby Kira, there you are. Oh my goodness, you're in so much trouble. I am not want to go to school like a big girl like I go to school. Because, honey, you're not five years old yet. What well, this is... Oh, my gosh. You are not allowed to say that, baby Kira. Where did you hear that? I like to find this boy on your bus. He said a lot. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. My daughter was so naughty today. Oh, I was hoping you'd be more like Daisy instead of Molly. Well, I can see my work here is done, so, um, well, good luck. Thank you, Principal. Come on, baby Kira, it's time to go home. I'm not going, I stay here forever. Oh, I can tell that you're definitely going to be more like Molly. Oh. <laughs>
I'm sorry girls, but this is a trip for your dad and I, a couple's trip, for us to reconnect and spend a couple days together. You guys are staying with your grandma and going to school. So let me get this straight. You get to go on a vacation somewhere amazing and Daisy and I still have to go to school? How is that fair? Well, your father and I work very hard to pay the bills around here. Don't you think we need a break every now and again? She does, does have a point, Molly. But, but we work really hard too. Why can't we have a break? Molly, you're going to go to your grandma's. You're going to have so much fun. I get it, Molly. I love grandma. Mom, where are you going? Where are you going? We're going to go to the beach for a couple of days. The beach? Oh, I want to go to the beach. Girls, go pack your bags. I'll drop you off at grandma's before dad and I go to the airport. Mom, did you forget something? No, baby Kira just got in the car. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave one of my kids home alone. That would just be crazy. I know you grab my house. Wah, 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 wah. Grandma house, grandma house. Ma, you and Gwen go grandma house? No, I don't. I want to go to the beach. I don't want to go to school. Molly, it's not going to be that bad. Yes, it is, Daisy. Yes, it is. I ain't your boy, yeah, did your boy. I go and grab my house. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, Molly, listen to baby Kira. Your little sister's right. It is gonna be so fun. You love grandma. We're here. Ugh, grandma's house is so nice. Why are you saying it like that, Molly, if you think it's so nice? Because it's not as nice as the beach. We're not having to go to school. I did a cute place. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it too, baby Kira. Don't listen to Molly. She's just being a grump monster. Oh, girls, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Grandma. Hi, baby Kira. I did a baba to a full grandma. I love you too, dear. Oh my, who's this grumpy girl on my doorstep? Surely this cannot be my granddaughter, Molly. Don't worry, it's her. But she's so miserable because mom and dad are going to the beach and she can't. She has to stay here and go to school. But you get to spend the night with me, Molly, and I. So much fun. Now I'm going to cook some burgers in the backyard. Who wants to come with me? Molly, I made your favorite dessert. Molly, how can you be grumpy when Grandma made your favorite dessert? Well, yeah, you've kind of got a point. I'm not saying I'm happy about being home, left home without going on vacation, but Grandma, you are pretty awesome. Oh, thank you, dear. I love you all. And the apple pie is cooling in the kitchen window. We'll have it after we have some delicious cheeseburgers. Sounds good. I did your pie. Yeah, I did your papa. Whoa, your pie got huge. I'm jumping in it. Molly, it's too cold to swim. I'm still swimming in it. Whoa, this is so cool. Grandma, um, are you going to get some koi fish? I may eventually, dear. Or maybe some piranhas. Whoa, we couldn't swim in it then. Holy guacamole, they'd be chomp chomping us. <laughs> it would keep the burglars out, that's for sure. Yeah, it'd be like you lived in a castle. <laughs> you have like a moat around your house, Grandma. I'll be right back, Grandma. I want to see if there's any fun things on TV right now. Oh, dear. There's nothing on TV. The door's locked, Grandma. That's because you're not allowed to watch TV all day when you're... Oh, no! I'm burning the burgers! Oh, cheapers, she willikers. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll help you with that. Thank you, dear. What I was trying to say is you don't need to watch TV here. Tons of fun things to do. Now, come on. Let's eat. I need to watch it. I need to watch it. Bring a good cheeseburger, Grandma. I need to watch it. Oh, dear. You have ketchup all over your face. Yeah. She usually is like that when she's eating. She's kind of messy. So what? You, Molly, you have ketchup on your nose. What? I do? <laughs> yeah, you look ridiculous. Grandma, what are you doing? Oh, I just have to take my pills before I can eat. Pills for what? Oh, just about everything, Molly. Once you get old, well, your body just decides it's going to, I don't know, not work right, I guess. Whoa, I hope I never get old. Me too. Now, what time are your girls' bedtime? 
Uh, baby Kira's bedtime is at 8. Ours is at midnight. Marley, that's a lie. Wow, your mom lets you stay up really late these days. Yeah, it's because we got good grades at school, right, Daisy? Molly! Daisy doesn't want to stay up to midnight because she gets really grumpy in the morning, which is totally fine, but I'm gonna. I mean, since I have to go to school and I'm not on vacation. All right, well, whatever you say, dear. But you do have to get out of bed in the morning for school, so don't forget. I won't, Grandma. I won't. Wait, where's my pajamas? Oh, my God. I forgot to pack them. Grandma! Grandma! Okay, where is Grandma? Are they still outside? I thought we were coming in to brush our teeth. Baby Kara, what are you doing out here? I got a side brought my pajamas. Good night, night. Okay, where's Grandma? Because I have to tell her I forgot my pajamas. She out I think I'm cleaning up the mess from dinner. I your papa, dear. Oh, no, dear. I'm up here just setting up the beds for you guys. Grandma, I forgot my pajamas. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't worry, dear. I have a pair of pajamas you can borrow. Go ahead and get in the dresser and get a pair out. Okay. Grandma, these are old lady pajamas. Well, duh. I am an old lady. But look at that adorable cat. Grumpy cat. Oh, boy. I'm so embarrassed right now. Good thing no one else see you in your sleep. Now, off to bed. No, Grandma, I get to stay up to midnight, remember? Are you sure that's what your mother said? Yeah, absolutely. She also said that I can eat three pieces of apple pie. Three? Oh my, you'll get a stomach ache. Yeah, and then you'll be puking all night long, Molly. Nope, that's what she said. I'm totally fine with eating three pieces of pie. I'll be fine. Okay, dear, I just don't want you to get the diarrheas. <laughs> That's such a funny word. Well, I'm just saying that would be awful. Good night, dear. Now don't stay up too late. I won't, Grandma. Ugh, finally, everyone else is asleep. And I can go watch some TV and just chill. While eating apple pie and other desserts, by the way. <laughs> Look at that little chipmunk. That's just like me when I eat apple pie. Ugh, I've got to stuff it all in my mouth. Yes, yes I do. Well, I'm all full of apple pie, but I found this birthday cake in Grandma's refrigerator. I'm sure she won't mind if I eat it. Mm, 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 mm. That was good. Ugh, I don't feel so good. My stomach hurts it's so bad. Oh, my stomach is gonna explode. Gotta get to the bathroom. Gotta get to the bathroom. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So bad. Ugh. Ugh, I don't think I need to eat any more cake though. But I feel a lot better now. No! No, I don't! Oh my gosh, gotta get to the bathroom. The next the next morning. Oh, I had a lovely night's sleep. And now I think I'll make the girls waffles for breakfast. Mm -hmm, I sure will. Good morning, Grandma. Oh, my. You scared me. I'm not used to having company. <laughs> oh, sorry, Grandma. Hey, have you seen Molly? What? N no. Is she not up in bed? Uh, no. She never came to bed. And I thought maybe she fell asleep on the couch, but she's not there evil. Oh, dear. I wonder what could have happened to her. Let's look around the cottage and see if we can find her. <coughs> oh, my. Molly, why are you sleeping next to the toilet? Oh, poor thing. I was so... Sick last night. Oh dear, you should have woken me up. What happened? I ate all the apple pie and then some of that birthday cake. What? That was for my friend's hundredth birthday. I'll help you bake another one, Grandma. Uh, but uh, it made me go and also and a little bit of and a lot of and my stomach hurt really bad. Well, dear, serves you right. I hope you learned your lesson eating my friend's birthday cake. And you stayed up all night on the toilet, didn't you? Um, yeah. <sighs> well, let's get you cleaned up for school. I can't go to school. I hardly slept. Oh, dear. Well, here. You can take one of these Pepto-Bismols and you'll be right as rain. Oh, 
Those Pepto-Bismol's taste terrible. Well, dear, I think you should think about that before you eat so many treats and stay up so late. You know, Grandma, I used to think you're just old, but turns out you're pretty smart, too. It comes with being on this planet for so many years. You learn a lot. Like, don't eat too much pie and cake, or you'll poo-poo all night long. <laughs> yeah, Ugh, that was the worst. Grandma, I made some waffles. Hey, Molly, you want a waffle? Huh, waffle? Oh, that sounds gross. Ugh. Something tells me Molly's going to be skipping breakfast today. Yeah, <laughs> she probably is. <laughs> I don't know. I think a movie about raccoons is a little well made up. How can you say that, Brookie? Raccoons are people too! Uh, Molly, raccoons are people. They're animals, you know? Some people call them trash pandas. <laughs> That's funny. How can you guys laugh? Laugh at a time like this. It was the saddest movie ever. Did you guys hear that we're supposed to get a huge snowstorm today? Um, well, then you probably shouldn't be wearing shorts. <laughs> You're probably right. I guess summer's over. Summer's been over for like three months, Brookie. I know, but I'm always like running around and stuff, so I get really hot, so I just wear shorts until it snows. Then it's just a no-go. Um, Molly, you're wearing pajamas. Yeah, when I'm at home, I wear my pajamas all the time because it's like so comfy. And I'm cozy and warm and stuff. Yeah, um, my brothers, they keep stealing my pajama bottoms because we're like the same size. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, they never want to do their laundry, so they just steal my pajamas. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, having brothers is so annoying. Try having all sisters. It'll drive you crazy. Whatever, Molly, I'm the best sister ever. Crazy. Bonkers! Looney Tunes! Molly, knock it off, seriously. But for reals, I always thought it would be so cool to have a brother. Well, trust me, it's not as cool as you think. Whoa, it looks kind of stormy outside. I think it's going to start snowing any minute. Look, Brookie, you were right! It's a blizzard out here. Brr, it's freezing. Brookie, are you going to spend the night? Actually, I probably should get home. I mean... If, if it's that bad out... No, it's... it's uh You can't go home. You're stuck here. Seriously, it's a blizzard. Well, I guess I'm spending the night. Do you have any pajamas I could borrow? Sure, no problem. You should call your mom, though, and tell her you're staying here. Good idea, Molly. Mom? Yes, Brookie, where are you? There's a huge snowstorm going on. Um, I came, for, came over to Molly and Daisy's house, and I'm kind of stuck here. Is that okay? Yes, honey, just stay there so you're safe. Okay, Mom, well, um, can you come pick me up in the morning? As soon as the plows come through, sweetie, I'll come get you. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Is she okay with you spending the night? Um, yeah, she totally is. I better ask my mom. Mom? What's up? Oh, my. It's so snowing out right now. Yeah, it's like a blizzard out there. Brookie, you definitely have to spend the night. Good thing she already called her mom and said she was. <laughs> okay, well... Let's get you some warm pajama bottoms. Those shorts just aren't what you do in this weather. Yeah, exactly. Can we go outside and play? Um, Molly, it looks like a blizzard out there. I think you should stay inside. Okay, fine. I just want to go out here for one minute, Mom. Holy guacamole. Look at all the snow. All of Brookhaven is covered. We must have a foot of snow already in like 10 minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like no school. For at least a week. Hooray! There's no homework and I get to hang out with my friend. I love when it snows. <laughs> Molly, you're so silly. I am loving no school. I'm going to cry because I'm going to miss school so much. Oh, seriously, Daisy, take a break. Take a chill pill from school. All right, girls.
as well who wants popcorn. We could watch a movie. I do, I do. Okay, well, I've got some work to do, but I'll make you some popcorn. You guys pick the movie. Well, we already watched the one about the raccoon. Um, uh, no, no, no. Ooh, Cops is on. Ooh, I love Cops. Cops and popcorn sounds like a great blizzard activity. You don't hog all the popcorn. Don't worry, Molly. I'm making enough for everyone. How come Brookie got hers first? Because, Molly, she's our guest. Mmm, this popcorn's delicious. Yeah, you could say that again. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Daisy, don't sing. You're making my ears hurt. Molly, try to be nice to your sister. I am, Brookie, I am! Girls, I'll be upstairs working in my office. Okay, we'll be down here scarfing down a bunch of popcorn. <laughs> was that your stomach growling, Brookie? No, was it yours? No. It's probably Daisy's brain making noise about science. Molly, you can't heal someone's brain. Actually, your mouth is talking right now, and that was used that used your brain. What? What are you even talking about? Help me. There's that sound again. What could that be? Please help. Ah! There's a guy outside, and he looks like he's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. I know. There's a lot of snow. It's coming down. It's a blizzard. Come inside our house. Molly, he might be a murderer. You don't just invite anybody in. I'm not a m m m m m m m m murderer. Yeah, he's just a frozen dude at our door. Wait, why are you a frozen dude at our door? I walked so many m m m m m m m m m miles. Um, okay, so it's okay, you can say it. Molly, he's trying. Yo, I better go start a file. That that might warm him up some. G good idea. Okay, so why are you at our door? I... I am you 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 What? Your blah 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 blah. What's a blah 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 blah? Um, Molly, I think he said your brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. What are you talking about? I, I'm your brother. He's not saying brother. Okay, Daisy, uh, what are you doing? I can't get it to stop, cheapos. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Hey, frozen dude, come over here. I've got a nice warm fire for you. Come on. Okay, I can't move. My knees are frozen. Oh, oh, that's much better. Oh, oh, look. He's not quite as blue anymore, is he? No, Molly, he still looks pretty blue. It's going to take a few minutes for him to heat up. But I'm serious, Molly. I think he did say he was your brother. Well, he's sadly mistaken. His brain must have gotten frozen then. Because, um, I don't have a brother. Oh, look, he's not blue anymore. He's kind of changing all sorts of colors. Are you okay? Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, there. You okay? Gosh, I probably almost killed you from frostbite. Yeah, thanks for that. I, I, I found out just, well, this morning... I've been looking for a really long time for you and Daisy. You have? Why? Did I fail my math test? Are you the math police? You don't smell like you've taken a bath in a week. That's because I've been doing a lot of research. And I've been staying up a lot of late nights. Well, if you need a bath, there's one upstairs. Daisy, you might want to back up if he smells bad. Hey. Oh, it's okay. I wouldn't expect anything less from my sisters. Did you just say sisters? He did, Molly. That's right. I just I just got the records this morning. And I walked here because the blizzard, you know, and, and my car wouldn't go in the snow. But I found out I'm your long-lost brother. Dun, dun, dun! Is this dramatic or what? If you think so, hit that like button. Seriously, Molly? You're using this as some way for someone to hit the like button on, on YouTube? Of course I am. Our fans know everything about our lives. And, 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 and it's shocking to think I have a long lost brother. How do you know this? I know that I was born with two sisters who got adopted and I wasn't. And and I remember my little sisters. And, and one had red hair and, and one had blonde hair. And I just know you and Daisy are my sisters. 
What? I have an older brother. I always wanted one of those. Remember what I said, Molly. Be careful what you wish for. Older brothers are the pits. Oh, I'm a good older brother. Well, I mean, I think I am. am. I, I, I never was around you guys, but, but I think I will be. I, I make a really good grilled cheese. Really? Because I'm starving. You can come into the kitchen with me right now and prove how good of a brother you are. Molly! What? He offered and I'm hungry. It's okay, Molly. I'll make you a toasted cheese. Toasted cheese? Did you just call it a toasted cheese? Oh my gosh! It's a grilled cheese! Who are you even? This guy says he's our brother. I'm not sure that I could actually believe that. Possible fire detected at your house. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm proving that he is not our brother. But, um, I think we have bigger problems! There's a fire in our house! Ah! Call the fire department! Help! Help! Nobody panic! I'm a trained firefighter! And also, here's your toasted cheese. Oh my gosh, my entire house is on fire! Ah! Okay, nobody panic! I'm gonna put this out right now! Alright, um, you guys should go outside, though. Out into the blizzard? Yes, and it's safer out there, at least. Brookie, are you coming? No, he's got the fire out. I'm, I think everybody's okay. I'm not leaving my science research. It's on this computer. Are you sure everything's okay, Brookie? I don't know. I, I think so. I'm going back in to make sure. Is everything okay? Wait, did you even tell us your name? It's Levi. Oh, thanks, Levi. You're a really good older brother. Aha! You're not a brother, Levi. Wait, what? But I, I did all the research. You are my sisters and I'm your brother yeah what are you talking about Daisy don't be rude to Levi he just she just saved our house um well uh Daisy I just want to tell you that your booty is hanging out what yeah why don't you um become my plumber or something Molly that's not very nice well I'm just telling you your booty is hanging out oh whoops <laughs> I guess this um his pants are a little too small yeah you think so Daisy's got a big booty. Molly, be quiet. Okay, fine. Everybody's always telling me to be quiet. So why isn't Levi our brother? Well, it says Levi was adopted from Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were never at the Blacksburg Adoption Center. We were at Brookhaven Adoption Center. But, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, yes. Because we were a sibling's pair, and we were adopted at the same time as all of our siblings. Well, except for baby Kira. My parents had her later. Oh, so you guys aren't my long-lost sisters? No. Sorry, Levi. Oh, no. I thought I had finally found some family. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad for Levi. I'm going to go see him. Levi, are you pooping? No, I'm just crying. Okay, well then I can come in. Um, oh man, you look so sad. I just really thought you guys were my family. You know what, Levi? If you don't find your family, or even if you do, you can still come hang out with us. You're a nice guy. Really? I don't have anywhere to go on Thanksgiving. Really? Nowhere? No, I don't have a family. Well... I'm sure you can have Thanksgiving with us. Seriously? Yeah. Besides, if my dad cooks the turkey, we're going to need you here because he'll definitely try burning our house down. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Yeah, but can we get out of the bathroom and talk about this out there? Because it smells like a little bit of a stinky doo-doo in here. Oh, sorry. I kind of farted. Hey, maybe you are my long-lost brother. I fart all the time. <laughs> See? Just like that. <laughs> I fart too. <laughs> we have a lot in common. Totally. Well, I'm playing Roblox and Bookie's playing Roblox too. So, uh, you guys want to play some Roblox? Yeah. How about you, Levi? I love Roblox. Are you guys noobs though? No, we're not noobs. Okay, DZ. Um, maybe we should play that Doors game. That looked really creepy. I don't know. A creepy game? Are you guys old enough? Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. You want to see it? I totally do. You guys are kind of like my adopted sisters. Daisy, are you ever going to, like, go put on different pants? Seriously. I will in a minute. I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> Daisy, 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 Daisy. 
What? Oh my gosh, you're so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> Um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Marty, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail. About puppies and kittens? Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, suit yourself. I'm going to Brookie's and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework, it's research. Okay, whatever, it all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring. I can't wait to go to Brookie's house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but whatever. Her mom just like loves plants, so <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly. No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm going to have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're going to be eating a lot of squash. Yeah, you do live in a crazy house, though, and I think it's really cool. Thanks. Hey, you want to come to my room? Yeah, totally. Let's go. So, Brookie, tell me the truth. Come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. Well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Huh, huh, huh? No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why, anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Aw, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys gonna, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you gonna be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. She seems nice enough today, anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are like you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, uh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why? What were they saying? They were saying that like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back. Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but, like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. Well, okay, but I mean, maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, you guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? 
Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> well, that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying, perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. Not gonna let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm gonna write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of, like, sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'll just chill over here then and, like, play on my phone or something. Ooh, a new obby! <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? Gosh, I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me, and then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear! You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything! This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here! Well, fine, you don't get to be my best friend anymore! Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either as soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home! Oh, hey, Molly! I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that to that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Molly, you have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd you think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies! She's not my friend. Ever. Again! Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, uh, studying. Yeah, that's it. Are you really studying? Uh, well, uh, not really. I'm just watching Brooke High pretending I'm studying. Molly, you're gonna fail that test tomorrow. Well, what's new? <laughs> Molly, do you want to repeat the grade you win? Holy guacamole, not really. Well, you're gonna if you don't stop actually studying. Now turn off the TV. Okay, Miss Bossy. Ugh, my sister thinks she's perfect at everything. No, not perfect at everything. Just most things. <laughs> Who wants to read Shakespeare anyway? Boring! Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Who is that? Ah! It's, it's, it's... Yeah, I already saw you, so don't try running away. Oh, man, it's Sarah. Well, I guess you have to let her win. Come on in, Sarah. What are you doing here? It's not like we're friends or something. Oh, well, I'm doing some studying. <laughs> you don't want to come here to study. I'm terrible at studying. Yeah, she really is, Silva. No one asked you. Okay, rude. Uh, just so you know, you're in my house right now, so your rudeness level should be at zero. Yeah, your rudeness level should be at zero. Well, I came here to study, uh, you know, a loser. Wait, what? Yeah, and you're the loser, Molly, so I'm here to study you. 
Can you believe her right now? She just came into my house, Daisy. And she's being super rude. Actually, I wouldn't put this past Sarah at all. It's sort of a personality. So, uh, why are you studying a loser? Not that I am one. Well, it just seems like you losers actually have friends. And, um, well, uh... And you don't have any real friends at all? Oh, you noticed. Yeah, of course we did, Sarah. It's not hard to see that you eat your lunch by yourself. Except for those cronies that you make eat lunch with you. Yeah, are they even your real friends? Uh, well, uh, not really. Look, I need a genuine real friend in my life. I'm kind of lonely. Really? You're admitting this to us? Yeah, but I'll bully you if you tell anyone. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I can't figure out why I don't have any friends, so I'm here to, like, study someone who has real friends. Wow, I guess it's sort of a compliment. Don't take it that way. Hmm, how can I help Sarah figure out why she doesn't have a genuine friend? Hmm, hmm. Don't mind my sister. She always paces back and forth when she's trying to figure something out. I've got it! Okay, what is it, loser? I have a magic potion that'll shrink Daisy and I down, and we can climb inside your ear and go into your brain and see why you don't have any real friends. Say what? Malia, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, Sarah's kind of negative. We might never find our way back out of her brain. Are you for real right now? Yeah, my sister is a scientist. She figured out how to make the potion. Uh, I don't know about this. It seems like a bad idea. It's a great idea! Now sit down and don't worry. I feel like I'm like a science experiment. That's because you are. Daisy, go get the potion. I mixed it with a shamrock shake from McDonald's because St. Patty's Day is coming up. Plus, those are delicious. Ooh, I can't wait to drink that. Is this a potion or like a treat? A little bit of both, Sarah. A little bit of both. Okay, here goes nothing. Glug, 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 glug. Okay, Marley, you have some. I don't feel anything yet. Give it a minute, Molly. Give it a minute. Whoa, I'm getting smaller. Holy guacamole, I feel so small. All right, let's get this over with. Oh, look, Daisy. I think we're at Sarah's house. Whoa, her mom drives a Ferrari? That's amazing. Right, Molly? What's this all about? I mean, I didn't think Sarah was so rich. Well, she does wear designer clothes. Look, my mommy's home. Oh, I haven't seen her in a whole week. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, honey. Just got back from Hawaii. What an amazing girl's trip it was. Mommy, mommy, mommy. It's so good to see you. Whoa, Sarah's totally different, Molly. Yeah, she really is. When she was a kid, she wasn't grumpy at all or mean, it seems. Uh, I guess it's good to see you too, Sarah. Thanks, Mommy. Um, guess what? Today on my spelling test, I got a 99. And I didn't even have a grown-up to help me study. Isn't that amazing, Mommy? No, it's horrible. Why didn't you get a 100 on your test? Ugh, you're such a disappointment. Go to your room and study harder. Oh, okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll try harder. Wow. Sarah's mom is, well, mean. I know. That kind of broke my heart, Molly. Sarah was nice. Some other things must have happened to her to make her the way she is. Look, Molly, it's the first day of school. Oh, I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, you slept in till noon. <laughs> Oopsie! Mom, Mom, it's my first day of school. I'm wearing my new outfit, and doesn't my hair look cute? Ugh, look at your hair. I know, right? I spent a whole hour on it. It looks terrible. It looks ugly. Go brush it. and Don't do it in pigtails again. Who she being mean to about pigtails? Pigtails are totally fashionable and adorable if I say so myself. Okay, Mommy. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you think that they would look ugly. I'll go brush my hair and do something different with them. <laughs> Ugh, kids are so annoying. You're the meanest mom ever! You're so mean! Molly, she can't hear you. 
This is one of Sarah's memories. It's not real. Well, I'm just telling you. You're rotten and you made Sarah into a bully. Whoa, Molly. I think we're going somewhere else. Whoa! What are we doing at the school at 6 o'clock at night? I don't know. Everybody else has gone home. But Sarah's still here practicing? Be aggressive. Ugh. Why can I not remember this cheer? I'm never going to be a cheerleading captain. My mom will think I'm a total loser. All right, I have to be perfect. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. Okay, I'm going to try it now. Be aggressive. B-E aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -E. Oh, I've got to try again. Whoa, Sarah practiced this much after school in order to be the cheerleading captain? Yeah, I had no idea. Seems like she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be, well, perfect. Whoa! Daisy, I think we're going someplace new! Whoa! These memories are making me dizzy! Hello, I have a appointment to get my hair and nails done, and they need to look perfect. Oh, yes, Sarah, I remember you. Remember me? I did your hair for the first time last time. Yeah, I remember. And one of my hairs was out of place, and I did not tip you for that. I noticed. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to let it happen again. Having perfection is pretty much impossible, though. Well, you better figure it out. Oh, look who it is, Sarah. Um, you feeling a little bit uh, ugly and need to look pretty again? No, that's not why someone comes to the salon. I mean, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just here because, well, I need to have my nail fillers done again. So you're not perfect either. Oh, no, I'm totally perfect. I was just saying that you have some hair out of place there and you look, well, a little under the weather because you have a pimple on your face. Wait, what? A pimple? No, I don't. Actually, dear, yes, you do. But don't worry, I can give you a nice exfoliation so you look better afterwards. Ah, a pimple? No, I have to be perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like maybe I'll have to take over as cheerleading captain since you have that hideous thing on your face. What? Just a pimple? I mean, I don't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, no, I was actually talking about your nose. Ugh, it's way too big. No cheerleading captain can have a nose like that. What's wrong with my nose? My nose is fine! I, I, I am perfect! I'm totally perfect! Holy guacamole! That was a crazy trip through your brain, Sarah. Yeah, no kidding. No wonder you're grumpy and a bully. Whatever. Can you tell me how to have a friend? Like a real one? Um, yeah, we can think about that. Uh, I'm really sorry about your home life. Seems like your mom is really judgmental. Yeah, she expects me to be perfect, so that's exactly what I am. Perfect. Your mom seems really self-centered. And, like, she doesn't really care about anybody but herself. Rude! Yeah, tell me about it. My mom at least makes me pancakes and stuff. My mom's never made me a pancake in her entire life. She is pretty, well, selfish. Yeah, Sarah. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. Whoa, I think I'm growing again. Whoa, that was weird. Tell me about it, Molly. When the potion wears off, it feels strange. Hey, Sarah, I have a, I have a solution to why you don't have any friends. Oh, good. Tell me how losers have friends. Well, that's just the thing, Sarah. We're not perfect. Sometimes we are losers. Sometimes we have pimples or a hair out of place. Sometimes we don't make cheerleading captain. Sometimes we get detention. But we're real. We don't act like robots. We don't act perfect all the time. We are genuine human beings. Wait, what? People actually like you because, like, you're losers? Yeah, pretty much. Because we're human. So basically I just have to try to, like, be a mess in my life and people will like me? Yeah, exactly. Just like Molly. Everyone's a mess. Everyone loves her because she's a mess. Daisy! <laughs> I just tell it like it is. Sarah, we could be your friends if you want. That is, if you stop bullying us and, you know, be a decent human being. I'll have to think on this, losers. But, um, this was weird. And don't tell anybody at school you got inside my brain. Uh, no, trust me. No one wants to know anything about your brain. And Sarah, you don't have to be perfect. You could be just yourself. 
I'll think about it. Bye, losers. Okay, that was the weirdest Wednesday night, Evel. <laughs> You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Look, Brookie, this is where we go to gymnastics class. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, we've been learning so many things. Leaps and turns, tumbling. Yeah, it's been so much fun. But the first thing we have to do is get ready for class. What do you do to get ready for class? The first thing you have to do is put on your gymnastics outfit. And there's a lot to choose from, so you can decide which one you like best. Oh, whoa, look at this one with the flames on it. Holy guacamole, that is so cool. That's definitely the one that I want. Let me have it! Okay, maybe this one's broken, I'm not sure. No, 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 it wasn't broken, it worked. <laughs> I figured it out. And now I look adorable for my gymnastics class. Um, Molly, I think that I'm gonna be really awesome at gymnastics. You totally are. Whoa, Pookie, your hair looks beautiful. And I love your gymnastics outfit. Thanks, Molly. You're my best friend. You always say nice things about me. Hey, guys. What's up? Good morning. It's time for the best gymnastics class ever. Come on, Molly. Let's go in and get started. Whoa, Daisy, your outfit's, um, too much like mine. Change it. Molly, it's nothing like yours. It's got, like, a flower on it, and it's pink. Yours has flames. Okay, it sort of looks like flames. It's a daisy. Ah, where are your clothes? You definitely need to wear clothes to gymnastics class. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, Brookie, is warm up because... If you don't warm up, you could get injured, and even worse. What's worse than getting injured, Molly? Your brain might melt. Molly, that's not even true. <laughs> uh, I like to stretch before I have an amazing gymnastics workout. Then I do some handstands, you know, stuff like that. Okay, well, I think we're pretty warmed up. I feel warmed up. I feel like I could do anything. All right, well, let's see what you can do. Uh, let's go over here and see if you can walk on this. Because if you can, if you don't lose your balance and fall, you're already, like, doing pretty good at gymnastics. Just like that, Brookie. Okay, you try. Okay, Molly. Um, how'd I do? Awesome! Now you can try to do something on it. Like, um, maybe you do want to do a handspring? It's kind of like a, a somersault in the air. See? Like that. Okay, uh, let me try now. Um, well, that was a good try. How about a cartwheel? Molly, gymnastics is harder than I thought it would be. Aww. Don't worry, Brookie. You're going to get this. I know you will. Whoa, good job! Brookie, you're doing so awesome. It makes me want to spin around. Oh, Molly, are you going to sing this entire gymnastics class? Probably. I love to sing. <laughs> well, well, well. Who do we have here? Um, Molly and Brookie, we go to school with you, so I'm pretty sure you know who we are. Yeah, but I was talking more about these losers in my gymnastics class. Hey, we're not losers, are we, Brookie? Um, actually, on the contrary, I've been doing amazing. I'm a beginner, but I'm doing awesome. I don't think so. You probably look like a total noob. No, she doesn't. She's doing great, so don't talk to her that way, okay? If you're going to be a bully, just, you know, go over there, okay? I don't think so. I work out here. Um, well, we're on this bar right now. I don't care. This is where I work out. Oh, we can just go somewhere else. No, we can't go somewhere else. We have to we have to go here because this is where we decided to work out. She probably can't even do gymnastics anyway. So why is she taking up all this space in the gymnastics practice room? I can do gymnastics. I, I totally can. You don't have anything to prove to Sarah. She's just being a bully. Don't listen to her. No, I'm, I'm good at gymnastics. I mean, at least I'm sort of getting good at it. You probably can't even do a middle split leap. Um, Ricky, don't try a middle split leap. That's, that's, that's not for a beginner. I can do it, Molly. I can do it. Um, okay. 
But be careful. No pressure, Brookie. Um, but everyone from class is kind of watching you right now. Oh, um, all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be great at this, right? You don't have to do this, Brookie. You don't have to prove anything to Sarah. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm going to be great at gymnastics. You just wait and see. Wow, Brookie, you're doing awesome. She's all right, I guess. What are you talking about? Look at her. She just started gymnastics today, and she's doing amazing. You don't have to do any of the harder moves, though, Brookie. I want to, Molly. I'm doing amazing, and this will show Sarah. Okay, honey, everything's gonna be okay. I promise, they're going to fix your leg perfectly here. Um, my friend is in so much pain. We need to get her on the stretcher and get her into the hospital right away. Don't worry, I'm on it. Crookie, Crookie, are you okay? Do I look okay? Oh, my leg. Brookie, you shouldn't have listened to Sarah. She's just a troublemaker and you were doing so good. But you can't do gymnastics moves before you're ready. I just thought I could do that because I'm so athletic and oh, my leg. Well, even the most, the most athletic person still has to learn what they're doing before they do it. Um, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Smith. I'll be taking care of Brookie Cookie this morning. Oh my gosh, doctor, help her, help her! Oh, the pain, it hurts so much. Okay, Brookie, everything's going to be fine. I need to get you in for an x-ray. So tell me what happened. Um, we were in gymnastics class. It was Brookie's first day. This bully tried to pressure her into doing moves she wasn't ready to do. And, well, she gave in to the pressure because she didn't want to look like a total noob. And then she fell off the bar and, I guess, hurt her leg or whatever. Oh my, that sounds serious. Okay, well let's get her into x-ray. Okay dear, I need you to lay down please and this won't hurt a bit. Are you sure? I've never had an x-ray before. Everything's going to be just fine. Now let's see what's going on with that leg. Is it broken, doctor? Is it broken? Oh, I'm, I'm afraid it is. You're going to need surgery. What? Surgery? No! You don't understand. I don't want surgery. I can't go back to gymnastics then for months and months. Well, I'm very sorry, but it's what's needed for fixing your leg. You should be able to go back to gymnastics about two or three months. Two or three months? Are you kidding me? I don't want surgery. <laughs> Brookie, I know you don't, but this is what you need to do to fix your leg. And Daisy and I will be here as soon as you wake up. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Why are you telling us good luck? Don't you need the good luck? You're the one doing the surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little nervous. Wait, what? Why are you nervous? Oh, this is the first leg surgery I've done. Say what? <laughs> don't worry. I went to medical school. Uh, that sounds a little crazy. Okay, Brookie, I'm going to give you a shot, and it's going to make you very sleepy. Then you're going to take a night-night, and we're going to fix that leg. Ready? I uh, guess. <coughs> now I need you to count down from 100. Do you have an axe? Oh, no, no, no. That's not an axe. You're just dreaming that. Am I asleep already? I wonder when Brookie's going to get back. I'm so worried about her. I'm sure Dr. Smith knows what she's doing, Molly. Brookie! You're back! Are you okay? Ugh, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I think that's just the anesthesia. Once it wears off, you should feel a lot better. Do you want some ice cream? Not yet, Molly, but maybe later. I think I just want to go back to sleep. Okay, well, me and Daisy will come back and check on you soon, okay? Okay. How about like in an hour or two? All right, Brookie, I'm glad you're okay. Me too, Molly, me too. <laughs>
What are you doing here? I just came over to see if you want to hang out or something. It's really nice outside. It's like the first day of spring and oh, my sister had to come along. Well, Daisy can come along too. She's my friend. Yeah, Molly, we're both her friend. Jeepers. Guys, you don't have to fight over my friendship. I can be friends with both of you. Yes, but you can only have one BFF, and that's me. No, it's me. Me, Daisy. I'm her BFF. Guys, you're both my BFF. Really? I thought I was your BFF. Molly, you guys are both my friends. I Please, stop fighting over whose friendship is more important to me. It's making me really stressed out. Oh, sorry, Brookie. Well, anyway, we didn't want to start off on on having like a bad day like this. We actually just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out with us. I'd love to hang out with you guys, if you can behave. Well, <laughs> no promises there. You want to ride bikes? Uh, yeah, I could bring my skateboard or something. All right, well, we'll meet you outside. I already have my bike out. What's taking Brookie so long? Maybe she had to go potty or something. Brookie, what, what happened? Sorry, <laughs> I had a bean burrito and I'm, uh -huh. excuse me, a little bit gassy. Ew! Well, sorry, I had to go potty, but I'm ready now. All right, how about we race? From here all the way down to the end of the street. Ooh, sounds fun. Let's do this. All right, everybody come to the fire hydrant because that's where we're going to start. And Brookie, are you ready? Uh-huh, ready. On your mark. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I'm totally winning. Yeah! <laughs> what happened? Daisy, is that you crying? No, Molly. It's, it's Brookie. Brookie! Oh my god, Brookie! Are, are you okay? Brookie, say something! Oh! Oh, I didn't want you to say that, but if that's really how you feel, I guess say it. Molly, quit telling her what to do! She's hood! Are you guys really gonna argue right now? Because obviously my leg is like broken or something. Oh my god, Brookie! What happened? She fell off a skateboard! Oh no! What are those losers doing? What? What's wrong with you? She fell off her skateboard. What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at her right now, Sarah? <laughs> I bet that looked hilarious. Quit laughing at her. You need to go to the hospital, Brookie. No, I don't. Everyone will laugh at me because I'm bad at my skateboarding. No, no, they won't. You got hurt. It, you have to go to the hospital. I think your leg might be broken. <laughs> yeah, you can go to the hospital because you're terrible with skateboarding. All right, Sarah, go away. You are not helpful at all. Brookie, I'm calling 911. I, no, I can get up. No, you can't. I can tell already. Look at the way your leg is curved. It's broken. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, my friend on Parkland Drive, that's that's where we live, she fell off her skateboard and 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 she, she can't move her leg. She can't stand up at all. She's crying a lot. Okay, we'll send an ambulance right away. Just stay on the line with us. Well, at least Sarah left. Yeah, what a bully. Oh, my leg. Oh, what if everyone thinks that, that I'm a loser? No one's going to think that, Brookie. Oh, I've got a bad signal right now. Can you hear me? What's your address? I'm sorry, I have a bad signal. Just come to Parkland Drive. Number 11. Brookie, the ambulance is on their way. Just hold on, okay? Me and Daisy are here. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being my best friends. No problem, Brookie. Just hang on. Try to take deep breaths. Here comes the ambulance. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. She's over here. She's over here. Hi there. Oh, my goodness. What's your friend's name? Brookie. Hi, Brookie. I'm a paramedic, and I'm here to help you um, get to the hospital, okay? Oh, yeah. It does look like your leg might be broken. All right. I'm going to get you onto the stretcher, sweetie, and then we're going to take you to the hospital so they can get you all fixed up. Just hang tight. Oh, my leg, it hurts so bad. I'm gonna ride along with her, is that okay? Well, you're not her parent. Well, their parents aren't home right now, it's just me. Well, what relation are you to her? Her best friend. Well, one of them. Okay, that's fine. I don't want her to be alone back there anyway. All right, everybody hold tight. We're on our way to the um hospital. I'll follow you guys on my hoverboard. Okay, Daisy, we'll see you there. Brookie, are you okay? No, I'm scared. I don't want to go to the hospital. They know how to help you there, Brookie. It's going to be okay. I don't want to have an IV. I've never had an IV before. I know, but trust me. The doctors are your friends, okay? Not your enemies. They're there to help you. What's this lady doing? I'm sorry, but um, I really need a coffee. What? Get us to the 
hospital, you crazy lunatic! What can I get for you today? Yes, I'd like one coffee, please, and make it fast. I have someone in the back. Oh, this ambulance driver's terrible! Okay, you can pull around. Oh my gosh. I'm never getting to the hospital. Oh, my leg's gonna be broken forever! No, that's not true, Brookie. Look, we're moving again. She got her stinky old coffee. Oh, this lady is something else. Okay, Brookie, we're just gonna take an x-ray of your leg. Everything will be fine. Is this gonna hurt? No, x-rays don't hurt, honey. But that leg does, so let's get it feeling better, okay? Okay, doctor. Oh, I don't know about this. Oh, it looks like you got a bonk on your head, a bonk on your arm, and a small fracture in your, um, your left leg. No, does this mean I need surgery? No, honey, no, 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 no. It doesn't look like anything's out of place. We'll just put a cast on it and you can spend the night in the hospital for observation and go home tomorrow. Oh, thank goodness, do I have to have an IV? No, you don't have to have an IV. Oh my gosh, I hope my friend doesn't have to have surgery on her leg. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Poor Brookie, poor Brookie. Okay, I need to sit down. I'm just like freaking out right now and I need to stay calm for my friend. But what's taking so long in the x-ray room? Brookie! Brookie, are you okay? Well, I'm I'm gonna be okay. Do you need surgery? An IV? Do you have to stay here? Um, well, yes, I have to stay here. No, I don't need surgery. And no, I don't have to not have an IV. Hooray! That's great news! So, so, are you okay? Well, I have a bonk on my head, I have a bonk on my arm, and I have a fracture in my leg. But you don't have to have surgery? No, I just have to have a cast, which is gonna stink. That means I can't even go out for soccer tryouts. It's gonna be okay, Brookie. I'm just glad you didn't get more hurt. And I'm sorry you did get hurt the way you did. What's going on, Brookie? Are you gonna die? Um, Daisy, no, she's not gonna die. You gonna need surgery? No, I just am gonna have to have a cast. Oh no, what about soccer tryouts? Yeah, you might not wanna bring that up because she's feeling kinda sad about it. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm glad everything is gonna be okay for you, Brookie. Yeah, me too. It was really scary, and I can't believe that Sarah laughed at me. That makes me angry. She should have detention for the rest of her life for that. She should get a lump of coal for Christmas. She, she should have to clean up dog doo-doo in the backyard for the next seven years. Oh, Molly, you are angry. Maybe you need to go um, run around the block. Let out some of that angry energy. Yeah, Molly, she's not worth your time. Don't even get angry. Well, I can't help it. She's rude. She's a bully. She's annoying. Yeah, she's definitely all those things. But I'm okay. Well, I'm glad about that, Brookie. Me too, Molly. Well, you guys want to hang out with me and play some Roblox? I'm going to be stuck here for the night. Sounds good to me. Me too. But first, let's go get some snacks from the hospital. Um, cafeteria. Mmm, snacks. Well, that's one good thing about being in the hospital. Oh, Molly, you always think about your stomach. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm starving. What's that smell? Oh, Molly, Granny made some cookies. What? Granny made some cookies? I'm going to eat all of them. Molly, you can't eat all of the cookies. I might. <laughs> I just might. You better save me one or two, Molly. I'll think about it, Daisy, but... Um, nah, I thought about it. You can't have any. Molly! All right, fine. I might save you one bite. One crumb. <laughs> Whoa, Granny's house looks kind of different. Oh, uh, yeah, she's probably just having some remodeling done or something. Yeah, let's check and see if the kitchen is in the same spot. Ooh, it is. Mmm, Granny's cookies are the absolute best. Yeah, I have to agree. Just don't eat them all. It might make Granny kind of annoyed, Molly. Oh, I don't know about that, ah, Granny! Give me those cookies! You don't get to eat the cookies! Stop crying! <laughs> Molly, Daisy, help me! Uh, Daisy, how did we end up in daycare? I thought we were at that crazy granny's house. We were, but 
but somehow we'll heal and we'll smile. And also, these girls are too small for me. Yeah, your gut's hanging out. <laughs> Looks like you've been eating one too many donuts. Molly, woo! We have to try to figure out why all of a sudden we're toddlers again and how we got to this daycare. Oh, it's got to be some sort of grumpy granny trap. Wow, I see you found my daycare. <laughs> this is for the naughty kids who steal the cookies. Wait, what? You're sending us to this daycare? Yes, it's for naughty children who steal my special chocolate chip cookies. Whoa, Molly, look, she's captured a lot of kids. Don't even try to have fun. You never will. <laughs> what? But there's toys here. Something must be fun to do. They're loaded with germs like chicken pox, the stomach flu, and, well, snow vid. What? You, you put germs on all the toys so we're going to play with them? Oh, no. You can play with them if you want the stomach bug and have to go poo-poo every five seconds. Ah! This is terrible. I'm running away. Oh, you're too little to run away. <laughs> There's no transportation home. I have to go to the bathroom, Molly. Maybe I got that stomach bug. No, 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 Daisy. You just probably have to go potty. You're a toddler, so you're still working on, on your potty training. Molly, I mastered potty training like five years ago. I know, but Daisy, here you're a toddler, so... <laughs> Hi, I watch your videos on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Um... Wait, what's your name? Shout out to Jan Jan. Um, Jan Jan, do you know how to get out of here? No, I've been stuck here for a year. A year? Are, are you serious right now? I'm a fan, and this is the most exciting, happy thing that's happened to me in over a year. What, she's been stuck here with you? Oh my gosh, we're done for. I want my mommy. Marty, don't crack this soon. We, we have to hold it together. I don't want to hold it together. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are never going to last here. I don't I help take care of the little babies, you know. They have a really rough time with this. Yeah, I'm having a rough time with it, and I'm a toddler. <laughs> Molly, I have to go potty. Me too. Let's go find the potties. Oh, I see you're having the best day ever in Granny's daycare. Be quiet, Granny. If you say that to me again, I'll put you in jail. Baby jail. Daisy, the potties are in here. Oh, man, I gotta go poo-poo so bad. Oh, my gosh, I have to go poo-poo so bad. Uh, excuse me. Can someone close the door? Jeepers, no privacy here at this Granny daycare. Okay, kid, stop moving around so much. Oh, my gosh. How did you get the job here? Um, Granny pays very well, and she doesn't pay me to talk to you. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. Rude! Well, 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 it's time for your sulfur bath. Sulfur? What sulfur? Molly, did you pay attention in science class? Sulfur makes you stink like rotten eggs. What? Ew, gross! Get me out of here! Not a chance. <laughs> I bet you'll never steal my cookies again. Ooh, you smell horrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your turn, little one. No, please, anything but the anything but the rotten eggs. No, I don't want a sulfur bath. Ew, gross! Ew, you smell horrible, Daisy. Thanks, I hadn't noticed. Okay, you little brats, it's time for a nap. I don't want a nap. I don't want a nap! Which is exactly why you need one. Take a nap! Oh, okay, fine. At least we'll get rid of her, Daisy. Now do not get out of these beds! Okay, we won't. Daisy, Molly, we're not supposed to get out of our beds. I have a plan. It's gonna work. I don't know, Molly. This seems like a bad idea. Okay, listen. If I use some prank slime... Where are you gonna get that from? I saw some, okay? If I get some prank slime... 
I dump it on Granny's head. Then we might have enough time to run out of this crazy daycare. You think so, Molly? You think this could really work? Yeah, and I'm going to steal those cookies from the kitchen. Ooh, that's brave, Molly. Real brave. Okay, so I'm going to get the I'm going to get the slime. You distract Granny. How, Molly? Tell her you have a stomach ache or something. Come on. I got to go home. I don't like this. <laughs> Whoa, she's totally having a meltdown. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. Slime Grandma. 50 Robux. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be worth it. Watch this. What's happening? Woo! Daisy, run for it. Okay, Molly, what about you? I'm getting those cookies. I'm going to get the cookies from the cookie jar. I'm running with the cookies in the cookie jar. Molly, this way. Come on. See you later, grumpy granny. We've escaped you after all. I have another idea, Molly. Run! I'm running as fast as I can. I have short legs. I'm a toddler. We could take one of these horses. Um, you could take the unicorn or something. Oh, good idea. All right, um, come here. <laughs> nice horse, nice horse. Ah, don't step on me. I have a cookie. Want a cookie? Horse, 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 horse. Okay, this one, like, poops rainbows. I think he could be my friend. Come on, seriously, I need a ride out of here. All right, little Pegasus. Let's get out of here. Where are you going? Stop walking in a circle. Molly, I think they only know to go inside the barnyard. Well, this little Pegasus has got to learn its lesson. Oh, you kids slimed me, you little brats. All right, let's fly. Mm, this is delicious. Mm. I mean, I kind of wish I had some dessert, but you know, as far as sandwiches go, this one's pretty good. Molly, Molly, what you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Hey, why are you sitting in baby Kira's high chair? I accidentally tripped. You tripped and fell into the high chair. Well, I'm a little clumsy. I just got new contacts. Ooh, don't you want to wear glasses? You'd be so cool. No, I want to wear contacts. I don't want to wear glasses. Molly, do you want to come outside and play with me? Uh, no, not right now, TZ. I just want to, like, hang out. But we could play soccer. It would be so much fun. No, I want to eat my sandwich, chill, and watch some TV, okay? But you have fun playing soccer. I can't play soccer by myself. Uh, I guess I'll just swing on the swings then. Uh-huh, okay, well, have fun. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, boy. I could take a nap like this. No! Oh, 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 oh! TZ, what, what is it? Why are you crying? I, 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 <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? What happened? Was there a bully at the park? No, Molly, I, I, I got poked in the eye. Hey, guys, you guys want to hang out? Uh, no, sorry. Oh, my sister got poked in the eye. Oh, my gosh, Daisy, can you see out of it? It's, 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 well, it's bluey. Daisy, just blink your eyes and, and, and maybe it'll get better. No, Molly. Everything is still really bluey. Something is not right with my eye. I need to go to the hospital. Well, Daisy, uh, Mom has the car. I can't drive you there. Call 911 then. Okay, I'll call 911. Um, uh, call emergency services. Here we go. Why is my phone broken? Are you serious right now? Well, why aren't they coming? I don't know. They're not answering. Ugh, this phone is broken. Maybe it's not your phone, Molly. Maybe it's the hospital. I don't know, but the ambulance is not responding. I don't know what's wrong with the ambulance, but but we did a paramedic. Don't be scared. <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, sorry, but we can't hang out right now because my sister got poked in the eye and she might be going blind. Okay, Daisy, come on. I'm gonna lead you to the hospital. We'll have to walk. It's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a walk, but you can do it, okay? Uh, you didn't break your leg, did you? No, I just I couldn't see where I was going because these new contacts and 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 and, and, and I got. Well, poked in the eye with a stick. Oh, Daisy. Oh, no. Come on. Well, follow me. Come on. You can hold my hand and, and we'll walk to the hospital together. No. Wrong door, Daisy. That goes into the bathroom. Well, I can't see anything, Molly. Well, I don't think the toilet's going to help you. Unless you know you have the poo-poos. Then you should probably go there. Molly, this is not the time to joke. I can't see. Okay, Daisy. Don't panic. Come on. Let's go. 
Okay, Daisy, we're at Maple Hospital. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, look at those little babies! Wait, are they're supposed to be at the vet, not here. Molly, stay focused. Hi, what can I do for you today? Are you sick? Uh, no, but my sister got poked in the eye with a stick and she can't see really good out of it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we'll get her admitted into the ER and have a doctor in right away. And also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Are you a subscriber? Molly, not the time to talk about this. Look at my eye. It's swelling shut. Oh no. Okay, well, can you get us in right now? Of course, anything for Molly and Daisy. Oh, thank you so much. Come on, I'm bleeding over here. Oh, whoa, oh, you got a lot of patients today. We sure do. Okay, head on over to the ER room, please. I'm about to have my baby and it's making me very grumpy because I was on my way to get an Italian sub and now I don't even get my sandwich. Whoa, somebody get her a sub. Scat, watch where you're going with that stretcher. You almost ran me over. Okay, um, here, I'll grab the wheelchair. You sit in it, okay, Daisy? Um, I don't want to disturb you because I know your sister is sick, so I just made this sign. And could you read it, please? Are you recording? Oh, my goodness. Daisy, we're famous even when we come to the hospital. Well, our fans do love us, but I'm so weak. I, I can't, I can't look at that way now. I can't look at anything. All right, Daisy, we're going into the emergency room. Everything's going to be fine now, okay? I hope so, Molly. I want to be able to see again. I know you do. Okay, here. Um, Just get up onto this bed. Ugh. When will the doctor be here? Any minute, I'm sure of it. Excuse me, I need this room. I, I'm going to have a baby. Hello, I'm the doctor. What seems to be the problem today? Um, here, I'm going to talk to the doctor. She got poked in the eye. Okay, why don't you move on out of here? You are okay. No, I'm not! Oh my gosh! Just because that lady's not gonna have, uh, she's gonna have a baby doesn't, doesn't mean that, um, she gets the bed. You're fine. You're not even sick. Scram! Ah, this doctor's crazy! Holy guacamole! Okay, Daisy, let's go into this other room. Obviously. What? I don't think he's a real doctor. I think he might be an imposter right now. Okay, apparently this doctor is not crazy anymore, and he's going to help my sister. I, I'm having trouble breathing. I'm so nervous. Okay, well, we're going to put this oxygen mask on you, and tell me, can you see this? Uh, no, I can't see anything. Okay, you're probably going to need a shot. What? A shot? Oh, boy, Daisy hates shots. Oh, my gosh. I don't want a shot. It'll help. Don't you worry. Uh, let's get an IV started here. An IV for her eyeball? Ah, uh, guys, could you stop stepping on my sister? Seriously, you're going to give her a concussion. Oh, my gosh. I got here as quickly as I could. I got your papa. Yeah, I got your papa. Oh, my gosh. What happened, Molly? Um, well, Daisy went over to the park, and her new contacts made her eyeballs not work quite right. They were a little blurry, and, well... She ran into a stick on a tree and poked herself in the eye. Oh my gosh, my sweet girl. <sighs> um, I think this girl needs to have a doctor because she's laying on the ground and... Okay, are you okay? Yeah, <sighs> sometimes I just have my back seize up on me. Ugh, it's the worst. I can tell, oh my gosh. Maybe they have a shot for that or something. Oh, poor little girl. Hey, why don't you go over to the gift shop and get something for Daisy to make her feel a little better? Here's some money and, um, you know, get her anything that she loves, okay? Okay, Mom, no problem. Wait, where's the gift shop? Oh, boy, the last time I was here was when I had baby Kira. The gift shop was in the basement at that time, but that was over a year ago. No problem, to the basement. Well, I found the elevator. That seemed to take me forever. La, 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 la. Whoa, well, this doesn't quite look like the, the gift shop, but maybe it's closed? I don't know, I better look around and see. Holy guacamole, it's kind of creepy in here. What's that, a science lab or something? La 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 la, brr, it's freezing in here. Wait a minute, where am I? Use the hospital bed to place a body into the freezer? Oh, I didn't find the gift shop. Okay, it's okay. I can just get out of here, right? Yeah, the door opens. Wait a minute. 
Why is it opening and closing? Is it, is it gonna lock behind me? Ah! Am I locked in here? Oh my gosh! <sighs> what was that? His stomach must be growling. I haven't eaten food in, I don't know, 30 minutes. Brains! Ah! Oh my god! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie! Ah, I hope the door opens. Ah, it looks locked! Okay, I know what to do. I just gotta put him back in the freezer, right? Get on this bed, zombie! Get on it! Uh, okay, this freezer looks empty, right? Okay, in you go! Give me your brains! O-M-G, guys! I put that zombie in the freezer, and now I need to get this door open, um, and get out of here! Okay, the gift shop is no longer down in the basement, and it seems like they're testing on zombies down here, so, um, yeah, let's try a different floor. Um, well, um... Uh, the, the second floor? Maybe? Oh, the gift shop should be there, right? Can't be any worse than what I just witnessed. I can't believe there's zombies in the hospital. Oh my gosh. I think I found it. Wait, this is the gift shop, right? I mean, there's toys in there and... Oh yeah, Maple Gift Shop. Okay. I have to pick out something that I think Daisy would actually like. Oh, look at that teddy bear. I bet she would really like that. She'd be able to snuggle it and... Yeah, she'll love this. Slow down, Speedy Gonzalez. Sorry. I've got to go see my sister. She's got a, 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 her eye. Oh, wait, there she is. Okay, why is there somebody with a dumbbell on top of my sister? You should be in daycare. <laughs> I'm so naughty. Molly, is that you? I can barely see you. Oh, sorry. Here, I, I brought you something that you're really going to love. Is that a teddy bear? Yeah. Are you frowning, Molly? I can sort of see you a little now. The doctor's been giving me some some medicine for my eye. Yeah, it's a teddy bear, and yeah, I'm frowning, and yeah, it's because I saw something crazy, and 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 and, and it scarred me for life. Oh boy, Molly, I think you're gonna be okay. I don't know, Daisy. I'm, I'm really not sure. It was crazy. Where's Mom? Oh, she went to get some coffee. Okay, baby Kira, uh, Mom will be back with a bottle in a minute. I'm sure of it. Here, you can have this teddy bear. What? That's supposed to be my teddy bear. I'm sorry, but I think baby Kira might need it. She feels really sad. I'm back. Mom, baby Kira needs a bottle. Oh, man. Did you, wait, did you find the gift shop? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy, it was quite the adventure. Could you please go up to the maternity ward and get your sister a bottle? Okay. Hopefully I don't get lost this time. And make it quick, Molly. Well, I know that the basement isn't the, where the maternity ward is. I guess I'll go up to the third floor. Oh, it says ultrasound. I always wanted to go in one of these rooms. Oh my gosh, that's where they see the babies. That's so cute. Okay, let's go over to this section and see if we can find a bottle around here. Ooh, this is like, this is pediatric care. I bet there's one in here. Is there any nurse here? Because that baby is crying. Okay, well, I guess I'll pick this baby up because I don't want it to cry. And the nurses seem really busy. rock a baby in the treetops. Gosh, is that a second baby crying? rock a babies in the treetops. Okay, well, I've got to go down and give my sister that bottle. Um, I guess you guys can come with me, because, um, yeah, uh, baby Kara gets very grumpy if she doesn't have her baby bottle. Hey, Molly, what are you doing with those babies? Well, they kept crying, and I was going to bring baby Kara her baby bottle, and, well, I didn't want to leave them there, and a nurse wasn't there. Molly, you can't just walk out of the maternity ward with babies, but they needed someone to love them. <coughs> see? See what I mean? Oh my gosh, Molly. Take those babies right back right now before we get arrested. Well, it's not like I stole them or something. I just, well, I, I, oh boy. I can see this is going to be a very bad day. You're having a bad day. Try being me. Oh boy. Okay, well, here's the baby bottle. I get that one, I get that one, I get that one. I know, you love baby bottles. Mm, it's pretty good. Molly, don't drink baby Kira's baby bottle. Has anyone seen the missing babies? Uh-oh. That doctor's looking for these babies. I didn't mean to take them. I just tried to soothe them. I was going to bring them back. All right, we need to um sound the alarm. There's children missing.
missing. There's children missing from the maternity ward. Whoa, let's try to get these guys back here before anybody notices, well, that um they're gone. Too late. Everybody notices they're already gone. Maybe they just crawled away on their own. Yeah, just stick you guys down here, right here, like this. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, the nurse is going to find you in about two minutes. And I'm just going to sneak out of here so I don't get in trouble for... Um, trying to soothe the babies, and, um, oh, it's just a disaster! My gosh, I gotta run! I don't want them to see it was me. Truly, I don't steal babies! All right, I go back down and see my sister now. Oh, wait, I didn't take this elevator before. Okay, there's the emergency room. This hospital's so huge, I can't even find where I am sometimes. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Did you take those babies back? Of course I did, Mom. Of course I did. Okay, what's going on here? Someone's doing, like, gymnastics and dancing on Daisy. And they're also doing CPR. Um, you guys are not real doctors. She has an eye infection. Oh, my goodness. I feel better. Can we go home? Oh, man. Someone has diarrhea. We need to get out of here before we all catch the stomach bug. Daisy, are you seeing any better? Yep, I'm completely cured. Let's go home. Well, here's all the ambulances. They could have been more helpful earlier today. Would you please watch out? You've run into me about five times. Oh my gosh, that old lady is like so mad. Oh no, there's somebody else having a baby. Whoa, I wonder if that's the ambulance that I tried calling. Now I know what happened. Daisy, you're wearing glasses? Yep, after that crazy time I had at the hospital, the contacts aren't worth it. Yeah, <laughs> you think you had a crazy time. Wait till I tell you what I saw in the basement. What? Was it haunted? No. Worse! <laughs>
Are you sure everything's okay? No, Dad, it's not! Molly keeps bugging me! Molly, is that true? Are you bothering your sister? No, do I look like I'm bothering her? She's just trying to be a tattletale. Okay, girls. Well, I better not hear any more arguing in here, okay? Daisy, you go back to doing your summer reading if that's what you want to do, and Molly, you leave your sister alone. Okay, Dad, I'm just going to play with Oscar the Octopus. I I'll be good. Molly, now you should get out of my room. Not a chance, Daisy. Not a chance. Molly, give me my toy and get out. Dad said no yelling, Daisy, or we're both going to get grounded. That's not fair, though. You've been the annoying one. Daisy, you didn't even make your bed today. You're lazy. Molly! I was too busy doing my summer reading program. Daisy, Daisy, bo Daisy, free fry, fo fazy, me, my, mo Daisy. Girls, you having fun? Yeah, Mom, we're having so much fun. Ooh, chocolate chip cookies. I'll have one, I think. Molly, don't take the one I was taking. Molly! Ah, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, tacos are delicious. Mom, Molly ate the last taco even though I was going to eat it. And now she's eating all the cookies. Molly, let your sister have some cookies, okay? And why did you eat the last taco without asking if your sister wanted half? I don't know, I just figured it was for me because, you know, had my name on it. Pretty sure that that taco did not say Molly. No, it totally did. <laughs> Daisy, stop eating all the cookies! Ah! Girls, stop fighting, please. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. Molly, I have to do my summer reading program. Please leave me alone, okay? Okay, Daisy, no, no, no promises, but okay. Molly, why don't you find something else to do? Like eat more cookies? Sounds like a great idea to me, Mom. I mean, like, stay out of trouble. Trouble. Trouble's my middle name, Mom. Well, it's going to be grounded. What do you mean, Molly grounded? That's going to be your middle name, yes, because you're going to be grounded if you can't behave. Yeah, Molly, I think you're really bothering your sister. That's not very nice. Okay, okay, I'll be nice. Hey, guys, um, do you want to play? Um, I don't, I don't know if we can right now, Brianna. Um, my sister's busy reading her book. You could go play, Molly, and leave me alone. No, that wouldn't be very nice, Daisy. I want to keep you company. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fa, Fo, Fazy. Molly, you are too close right now. Go away. Daisy, Daisy, Bo, Daisy, Fee, Fa, Fo, Fazy, Me, Ma, Mo, Maisy. Daisy. Hey, I'll play chase with you guys too. Okay, Brianna, that sounds cool. Molly, I'm not playing chase. I'm trying to read my book. Get out! Ugh, I think I got locked out of the house. Bang, 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 bang. Um, can I come in, please? Fine, Molly, but stop being annoying. Okay, okay. Oh, where, oh, where is my sister? She's not in the hot tub. That's where I'd be if I was reading a book. She's hiding on me! Can you believe this right now? Oh, hide and seek! She's tricksy like that! Oh, she's in the closet. I just know it. Daisy! Nope, she's not in here. Where's she hiding at? Molly, are you still bugging your sister? No, we're playing hide and seek! Are you sure your sister knows you're playing hide and seek? Yeah? Molly, could you go out and put the, um... Would you go out and put the bills in the, uh, in the, in the... Mom, quit watching TV and tell me what you want to say. Oh, um, put the, the bills that I put on the counter in the mailbox. Yeah. Maybe it'll keep you busy and you'll stop annoying your sister. Nah, probably not, Mom. Daisy, Daisy, bo, Daisy, V, five, bo, Daisy, me, Mom, amazing. Da, 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 Daisy. Okay, I paid, I paid the bills. Now I have to go find my sister. I don't know where she went. Maybe she's hiding around back. Oh, Daisy, where are you? Well, I'm up in a tree. Okay, I've got to find my sister because I can't keep annoying her if basically I can't find her. Wait a minute, there she is! 
She's eating cookies and reading her book. Oh, Daisy! That's it, Molly. You're really getting on my nerves. I'm telling on you again. Oh, Daisy, don't tell me, Daisy. Mom, Molly keeps bugging me and I, I really want to read my book so I can win first place. I'm trying to do my summer reading program and Molly just keeps bugging me. Molly, is this true? I told you to stop bugging your sister and your dad told you too. Me bugging her? No, I was just singing songs and loudly and then you were jumping on my desk and chasing me. Molly, I asked you to leave me alone and you didn't. Well, Molly, I have no choice but to ground you for an hour. What? No, this is horrible. I don't want to be grounded. <laughs> oh, Molly, I feel kind of bad now. I didn't mean to tell on you. I was just trying to play, Daisy, and you didn't want to. Well, Molly, I think you should go to your room for an hour. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Go away, Daisy! <laughs> Molly, can I come in? No! Okay, Molly, I'm coming in anyway. Molly? What do you want? You got me in trouble! I'm sorry, Molly. You were really annoying me. Yeah, well, now I'm grounded thanks to you. I was just trying to be goofy and silly. But well, sometimes it's just annoying when someone asks you to stop bugging them and you keep doing it. But I don't want you to get grounded, so I'm going to ask Mom if you can get out of jail. Jail? What do you mean, jail? I mean, you'll, you'll win grounded jail. <laughs> I'll ask her and tell her that I forgive you. Could you please get out of jail now? Fine, but it's not going to work. She'll probably say no. She'll say yes, Molly. She'll say yes. I'm going to be grounded forever. <laughs> Molly, oh, are you crying because you got grounded? Well, I'm not crying because I get an ice cream. Okay. That's enough with that attitude, Missy. Well, Mom, I'm just feeling sad because I don't want to be grounded right now. <sighs> Molly, I think you should just be nicer to your sister. Can you promise to be nicer to your sister? Yeah, I promise. And you won't annoy her when she says stop? No, I won't. Okay, then you can be done with grounding. However, if I catch you doing it again after you promise me, you'll be grounded for two hours. Whoa, serious business, Mom! Daisy, Daisy, Bull, Daisy! Molly! I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding! Daisy, do you want to go swimming in the pool? So, sure, Molly, let's go. Yay! Finally, my sister wants to play. But now it's like getting dark out already. Ay, ay, ay. Whee! Ah, oh, we're going for a midnight swim. Ah, oh, that feels good. Molly, it's not midnight. It's only 8.45. 8.46, Daisy. Whoa, someone just sent me $100. Thank you so much. That was nice of you. You guys don't have to send me money in Blacksburg, but I'm glad when you do, because it's super cool. Thank you. Whee! Ugh. Sitting at the bottom of the pool. Hey, Tyro fans. Um, so I kind of got grounded today for annoying my sister, but then I got ungrounded because she felt bad for me. <laughs> hey, Tyro fans. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel. We put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. I'm going to pretend I'm a ghost. My mom would be so freaked out. Boo. Boo. Uh, Molly, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Brianna. I'm just pretending I'm a ghost to scare my mom. Whoa! What is that? Oh, it sounds like a ghost! It's a ghost! <laughs>
And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment sections below this video. Guys, we read all of your comments. Ugh, this crib is so, it's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now. But, I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry. We're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right, <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Oh, uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to- Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But, Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I have pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly. What are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? 
Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm, this mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mmm, mm, delicious. That, Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye. <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream. So I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, wh where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry, I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. Oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, Why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Well, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh-huh, yep. I'm going to adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute. Your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm, this is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me, can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm, I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Hmm, maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow, you sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Hmm. kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh, here comes something special for you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, did you just stand on the table and fart? 
Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, um, sorry. I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to adopt me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and... I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family! You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. O when do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh! I, I, I never got adopted, and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news! How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but... I don't even have a penny to my name. I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Hmm. An old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that good eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not going to eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent. Where I live, and this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And they put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I... I never got adopted, and then I turned 18 and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! 
Wow. She said she was just going to give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy like a house. Holy guacamole. I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow, a house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we. It even has a TV. That Daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing them. Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that 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 gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the stairs anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's, it's, it's very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who, who um, came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die, Cappy? No. Bad hip gave out on me. G Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Oh, I can't believe that Mitch didn't make it on Survivor. Oh, that's the saddest ending I've ever seen. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? Oh, you smell terrible. When was the last time you changed your pajamas? And by the way, it's noon. Why are you still in your pajamas? Daisy, can't you see I'm busy? Mitch just died on Survivor. Molly, that show isn't even real. It's so real. In my heart, it's real. Ugh. I gotta eat some more Doritos. It'll make me feel better. Molly, you're getting crumbs all over the couch. Ugh, you're the laziest sister on the planet. What are you talking about? I, I'm not lazy. I, I'm just choosing this life. What is that you have? Some college applications. Dizzy, you're not going to college next year. 
I like to be overly prepared, and I'm thinking either Harvard or Yale. Yale or Harvard. I'm just thinking, I'm not going to make it through the rest of my life now that Mitch is dead. Molly, you really start, you need to stop thinking about your future. Um, I am. I'm sitting on the couch watching Survivor eating Doritos. Sounds like an amazing future. Molly, I'm telling you, if you don't get it together, you're going to be homeless, living in a box behind Brookhaven Dino. Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. I speak the truth, Molly. Well, how about this? I use that fancy smancy time machine that you created in your secret lab, and I go to the future and see what it's like. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. But first, I need to have enough energy to get to the future. Which means I gotta eat this entire bag of Doritos. Mm, that's delicious. Oh, brother. I can't even begin to imagine what your future's gonna look like. Molly, are you sure this is a good idea? Sure, I'm sure it is. Sure, 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 sure. And also sure. Wow, you're annoying. Hopefully you're less annoying in the future. I hope I'm more annoying. Annoying, 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 annoying. You couldn't even bother to change out of your pajamas. Why? I want to be comfy in the future. <sniffs> Ew, Molly. I got a little too comfortable. <laughs> Molly, step into the time machine, please. Okay, well... See you in the future! Molly? Oh my gosh! It worked! She vanished! What's this place? And why is it in my future? Oh my gosh, I have no food to feed any of my children! I hope Luke stopped at the grocery store like I asked him to. Honey, sweetie, I'm home! And I got a new little baby for you! Another little baby? Holy guacamole, that's a lot of babies. I named this one Jerry. Oh, hi, Jerry. Honey, we don't really have any more money for kids. Well, I couldn't just leave him there at the adoption center by himself, could I? I guess not. Did you stop at the grocery store like I asked? We're out of milk and eggs and bread. How will I make French toast for dinner? It's your favorite. Oh, honey, I... I had to get some new wheels for my race car. I, I, I couldn't get any of that stuff. But I have to feed the children. Oh, yeah. Well, um, yeah. We could, we could go foraging in the forest for some stuff. And wild berries and crab apples and... Ew, you know what crab apples does to me. <clears throat> oh, honey, that was a good one. <laughs> wow, it stinks terrible, though. Did you pick up the toothpaste like I asked? Um, no, I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't afford it. The wheels were so expensive. But, honey, I only have... Um, wait, let me count my teeth again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... I only have seven teeth left, okay? And one of them's giving me a toothache. Like, I need to start brushing my teeth. I need toothpaste before I lose all of them. Mommy, I'm hungry. Oh, Susie, I'm sorry, but your daddy didn't pick up any food. Maybe we could chew on his race car wheels. Well, I'm sorry, honey, but when I win that big race, you know what's going to happen. We're going to have all the money in the world. We don't even have a couch to sit on. Luke, why did I marry you? That was the worst day of my life. I made a horrible decision. Well, I've been working down in the Quickie Mart. I don't see you having a job. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, Mandy. Oh, wait, what was your name again? You never gave me a name. You said you'll get around to it, but you had too many other kids. Oh, well, um, well, you look like this girl I went to school with. Your name is Sarah. Yeah, that's it. Well, honey, why can't you get a job? Well, look at all these kids. Who's going to watch all of them? Oh, yeah, and there's also 10 more at school right now. They'll be getting home soon want something to eat. We better go look for those crab apples. Maybe you could make a pie. I told you, I don't know how to make a pie. I didn't pay attention at home ec class. Maybe you should have. Maybe you should have gone to college. There's a lot of these kids we need to feed. Ah! This life's terrible! I'm running away! Oh, I'm sorry, but the kids are going to follow you. Mommy, where are you going? We need to have a mommy. Ah! My future is so terrifying! <laughs> it's time to bring Molly back to the present time. If she's in the future too long, she might have what's happening now and we can't have that happen it would tear apart time and space 
Mommy, get back! Whoa, uh, that was weird. Time travel kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna throw up or fart. Ew, Molly! Daisy, my future was as dismal as you thought. Really? Tell me all about it. I would like to take some notes on this. No time, Daisy. I have to change what my future is gonna be, or or I'm gonna be doomed. Molly, are you vacuuming the floor? Where's my daughter? What have you done with her? You must be an alien that's taken over her body. No, Mom, it's really me. I I, I just I made a mess with all the Doritos I ate earlier, and I I wanted to clean them all up. Molly, are you feeling okay, sweetie? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Next, I'm gonna do my homework. What? Molly, turn off that vacuum right now and talk to me. Mom, I don't want my future to be as dismal as I thought. I, I saw it. Wait, you saw your future? What are you talking about? Never mind, Mom, but but I, I gotta study because I gotta go to college. I, I, I don't want to have 7,000 kids in the future and not know how I'm going to make them French toast. Molly, I'm worried about you. Maybe you should go lay down. Do you have a fever? No, I'm serious. I, I, I want to be successful in life and be a good mom and and not marry a race car driver who only cares about buying new tires for his race car, who talks a lot like he's um from Texas. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Texas. We're from Texas. I love Texas. Ah, uh, yeah, you do have a point there. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm glad you're turning over this new leaf, Molly, and um, keep up the good work. But are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, Mom. I just, I just, whoa, is Survivor on? Mitch, is that you? Mitch, you survived! Okay, um, yeah, I don't, I don't care about any of that stuff. Definitely have to watch this. Bring it on, Mitch! Bring it on! But Molly, I thought you were turning over a new leaf. If it means that I miss out on watching Mitch survive this terrible fate, then I guess I'll just have to be a loser in the future. <laughs>but it's raining outside so we decided what better time than to play a roblox ivy that's right guys so let's see if we can escape mr bob's museum i think it's gonna be pretty easy uh -oh. hey welcome to the museum wow. it looks like we need to find a key to unlock this door um okay this is kind of like a treasure hunt this is fun Yahoo! um it's not much of a treasure hunt if you put the key right in front of me right now, okay. <laughs> you found the key! Uh, duh! Looks like we need to find a vent to get past this wall. Is he gonna talk to us every single stage? I don't know, but if he does, I say we go out and stand in the rain instead. <laughs> oh, Molly, that would be ridiculous. No, um, I... I uh, saw a video of Drew Barrymore and she was running around in the rain and she said, take time to just experience the happy things in life and um, like run in the rain and stuff. Did she really, Molly? Are you just making that up and breaking me? No, for real. I saw it. I totally saw it. Oh my God. This guy's going to talk again. Hey, I've been stuck in here for a while now. It looks like we need to find a, a button to disable these lasers. Um, okay, these lasers are going to be so easy. Can I buy, like to buy fling gloves? Uh, no, I would not. I'm just going to disable these lasers. And then, da -da -da, I'm going to get past this part. Uh, okay, what's over here? Okay, I think that was it. Molly, the lasers are gone. What are you doing? I'm going to try to avoid this guy so he doesn't talk to me. Are you ready? Ah! He still talked to me! <laughs> Thanks for helping me pass that laser stage. Now we have to jump over these air conditionals to jump on each ground. Air conditionals. Um, uh, what's an air conditioner? Uh, I have no idea, but I think he means air conditioner. Mmm. Boing. Whoa. Every single stage asks me if I want to buy something. The answer is still no. The guy that you have at every stage is driving me crazy. Nope, I'm not listening. Molly, let's just skip through this part. Agreed. Whoa! 
there's Mr. Bob. He is the museum guy who like takes care of all boy. He looks angry. Ah! He's like, really? Eyes? Ah, is he following me in there? Whoa! Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Mr. Bob, why are you chasing me? Marley in here! And where? Um, okay. Where'd he go? Is he still behind me? Um, guys, I don't. Uh oh. Look at him. Ah, there's a pop up! No fair! Ah! <laughs> in here, is this where I'm supposed to go? Ah, oh, is he still following me? What? He can follow us into the next stage? Okay, I'll take the annoying guy back that talks too much. What's up with this muscular guy? That's what Mr. Bob is mad about. He's like, why can't I look like that? Why? Wait a minute. I went the wrong way. What? Mr. Bob's still chasing me. <laughs> I am so lost right now. I don't even know where I should go. Keep running. Okay, thanks, uh, Captain Obvious. I wasn't quite sure if that was going to be the case. Oh, well, here he is. Whoa, you made it past him. Thanks for getting me here. Now it looks like... Beep, 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 beep. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Many, many minutes later. You're really super annoying. Rolling stones. Okay, I haven't even died once, which means this obby is way too simple. You've never played an obby before in your entire life. This is a good one. Molly, watch out for these axes. They're tricksy. Um, yeah, I just ran through that one and it didn't even kill me. That was crazy. Watch this, guys. I don't. Oh, maybe the golden axe will kill me. I don't know. Where are you, Daisy? I'm right here, Molly. Ooh, is this a speed run? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Here, Molly, one last jump. Come on. I don't think we're ever going to get out of Mr. Bob's museum. Uh, no, Molly, we need to find a ladder somewhere. Uh, I found the ladder right here. That was so easy. Oh, what happened? I fell below the game. Um, that was not a fair, uh, death right there. I'm just saying. Uh, that one doesn't count because, like, I died in the weirdest way ever. But you still died, Molly. Um, yeah, but, okay, now there's no ladder. What? What am I gonna do now? Oh, uh, 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 I can't get past it. Oh, wait, the ladder disappeared. <laughs> weird glitch in the game. <laughs> so weird. So crazy weird. Ooh, an air vent. Wait, it says we're supposed to go up. Do we need to turn it on? Wait, okay, I think that's what this button does. Start elevator, press E. Whee! Okay, this game is getting a little bit more fun now. <laughs> uh, Daisy, which way are we supposed to go? Duh, Molly, the giant red arrows. Oh, is there somebody chasing me? No one's chasing me. Would I like to buy a freeze ray? <laughs> um, I could have used that when Mr. Bob was chasing me, but I'm pretty cool right now. Except for I'm running so slow. Why is this going? Wait a minute, is this going in circles? What? Oh, wait, no. Okay, it's like a maze, but it's the easiest maze ever. You still died in this obby, Molly. <laughs> you died in the easiest obby ever. Um, yeah, but it wasn't my fault. I grabbed the ladder and it threw me out of the game. Oh, but you still died. That's the point, Molly. Okay, but, but it wasn't my fault. No fair. Boing, boing, boing. Is this a conveyor belt? No. It might be Molly when you push that button. Um, okay, let's try it. Activate button. No, it's still broken. I don't know then. Maybe you have to turn on all the buttons. I don't really know. Oh my god, that time I died for real. I feel like such a noob. Zane, do you want to skip the stage? No, I don't need to skip the stage. And I don't need a hoverboard! Why are you asking me so many questions? <laughs> Alright, at least that one's saved. Molly, you might want to try this thing called a Double jump. Yeah, you might want to take your own advice. <laughs> ah! Uh, it's definitely saying now I should skip the stage. <laughs> you stink at this game. Do you want to skip the stage? No. No, I don't. All right, let's see if Daisy get, is going to make it this time. Oh, she did. Okay, now I feel like totally ignoramus. Ah! Yes! All right, that time I made it too. Was that like a trick or something? You have to die three times and then you can make it over it? 
could be, Miley. I feel like that's happened before. You and me both. Ah! One minute, 37 seconds later. Whoa, big jump. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. Just kidding. Um, Miley, now we have to go push more buttons. What? How many buttons does this game developer want us to push? don't know what to even do right now. What to say? Except for Daisy, that's rude! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Molly, I can't help it. You act again like when Gracie goes totally insane. Cheesy macaroni. There's a lot of buttons to push here. Boing. 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 Hooray! We made it through it! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Molly. Alright, we gotta, we gotta build some stages here. Except for Daisy already is building not missing that's a good thing it means we can just get on out of here daisy i think this is one of those games that just never ends molly <gasps> holy moly i hope not someone's a, a, above us though in the game and they're at stage 18 and we're at stage 15 so we know we have at least three more stages to go whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that made me dizzy <laughs> dizzy did you really have a cupcake or were you just like full of it um, I did have a cupcake, but I just ate the last bite. What? You, 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 you didn't share it with me? Uh -oh. Okay. This is not cool, Daisy. Well, Molly, you snooze, you lose. Boing, boing. I wasn't snoozing. I was playing this crazy Roblox obby. Uh, now I'm going to have to go to the store, buy some Duncan Hines, and make myself some cupcakes. I feel like... I talk about food, cupcakes, pizza, whatever, in every single video I do for Roblox. <laughs> you do, Molly, because you obsess with your stomach. <laughs> well, I have to say, she's probably right about that. All right, guys, I just died again. It was so lame. It's because my brain was focusing on the cupcakes. I can't help it. They're just so delicious. Um, uh-oh. A laser wall! Oh, we ever get past this? I don't know, Molly, but I think we need to go down there and click that level. Uh, yeah, that's pretty obvious that we need to do that. Either that or it's gonna unleash a giant boss. Um, uh, okay, well, I'm gonna take my chances. Well, what other choice do we have, Molly? We definitely need to get through that wall if we want to escape. Trust me, I don't want to come back to this museum ever again. I kind of just, wait, where am I going? Um, okay, I do not want to step on that because he's going to talk to me, isn't he? He's going to talk, Molly. Ooh. Nice work! Now we need to jump down on that dropper! Um, okay, 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 fine. We'll jump down on the dropper, fine. But are we actually going to get out of here now? I think we are, Molly. I think we are. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, look at this laser maze they got going on down here. Holy macaroni! Wait, no, 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 I did really good, actually. Okay, this game is kind of easy. I only died a few times, so I'm pretty happy about that. Wait, is there no one to talk to me here? But where's my little friend? I miss him! <laughs> Molly, you've been complaining about him the entire time. Yeah, I have. Wait, are we angels or something? Like, we're glowing. What's going on here? I don't know, Molly. We might be. Um, I want to be a unicorn if I get my choice, so I'm just saying right now. 
Hello, I don't want a gravity coil. You should only have to click on that one time in the entirety of the game, seriously. You don't need to ask me a thousand times if I want a gravity coil, the answer is still the same. They think that maybe after you stink at the game for so long, you'll pick yes. <laughs> well, they do have a point there. All right, is there gonna be something up here that kills me? All right, no. Sometimes you climb a ladder and there's something at the top that's like, boing, totally kills you. Oh no, not this guy again. Molly, did you hear that? A mad duck. Hear what? I totally just like zoned out for a minute. You didn't even listen to what he said, did you? Uh, no, was I supposed to? Yes, he said there's like a duck or something. A duck? What? No, this is a museum. Why is there a duck in here? I don't know. Maybe he misspoke or something. Oh my goodness. Where's this duck? I don't see a duck. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Molly. Oh, uh, hopefully he's not down here because if he is, uh, I'm going to get eaten by him. All right, now I'm going to go over here, I guess, and turn on this one. Boing, boing, boing. Guys, I don't know if you like this obby or not, but like I said, they can't all be winners. You know what I'm saying, people? Sometimes, um, yeah, uh, the game is silly. I don't know what to say. Uh, Daisy, it looks like the boss is about to happen. Do you think this is where the giant duck is going to be? Um, I, uh, yes. Rubber ducky, why you psycho? <laughs> um, the duck is not even moving right now. Molly, what is this all about? I don't know. The duck's not moving for me. How about you? Oh, my God. I think he shoots, like, concrete at you. Ah! Oh, my God. This duck is evil. Go away, Mr. Ducky. We've got to push all these buttons before he kills us. Go, Molly, go. I'm trying, but... Ah! He killed me! Oh, that sort of delayed your action, too. Do I have to start over from the beginning? Like, I don't even need the gun, seriously. Oh, no, I don't have to start over from the beginning. That's good news. Whoa, the game just got, like, super glitchy. Apparently, the duck is, um, in control of my internet connection as well. What? That's one crazy duck. <laughs> now he's about to become Duck Duck Goose. What do you mean by that, Molly? Um, I, I don't know. Oh, I've got a gravity coil. I didn't even buy it. Boing, boing. <laughs> Wait, did I explode the duck? Oh boy, he came up here. Crazy little duck. Crazy little duck. All right, guys, I'm trying to gravity coil my way over there because this duck just got crazy town. <laughs> boing. All right, did the duck go away? Where's the duck? Oh my God, I don't know where the duck is, but I just made it to the end of the game and I got two gravity coils. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Put one on each foot, I guess. Yes! Okay, let's just be honest. This is your very first obby that you ever made, right? Because, um, uh, well, uh... Molly! I'm just saying, I was a little bit noob, you know? Just just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, it was still fun. Yeah, and now it stopped raining, so we can actually go outside. Or we could play Bloxburg. Yeah, I think we should do both. We should go outside and play Bloxburg. All right, where is my award that said I made uh -oh. it through this game? That's what I want to know. Ooh, paint yourself. Paint yourself. Blue. Blue's my favorite color. Oh, I look like I'm frozen. Look at me. All right, Daisy. This game was, um, well, something. Look at me, Molly. I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> right. I am, Molly. Totally. And you're a demon. What? No, I'm not. If I was a demon, I would probably be this color. <laughs> Oh, brother. You mean, oh, sister. Demon <laughs> sister. <laughs>
I'm um uh looking for a prom dress. Duh. Oh, we are too. Um, hopefully we don't buy the same one or anything. Yeah, no. My taste in clothes is so amazing. You guys would never pick the same thing as me. Okay, if you say so. All right, let's try some stuff on. I know I'm gonna look so cool in this. Uh, Molly, that's a tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Um, um, how about this? Uh, Molly, those are sweatpants. Can you try a little harder here? Ooh, I love this one over here. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> are you being assisted or helped by anyone? Uh, no. What, were you going to the bathroom or taking a lunch break or something? Like, no one's even welcomed us into the store. Wait, what? Sarah, you're supposed to welcome the customers. Why should she welcome the customers? She's a customer too! No, she's not. She works here. Uh, yeah, uh, uh... Wait a minute, you have a job? Aren't you rich? Uh, well, uh, like... Fine, whatever, but don't tell anybody at school. My dad lost his job, and I'm trying to afford my prom dress. I'm never gonna be able to afford it now. I, I'm only gonna be able to work one week. That's not gonna be enough. What? What did she say? Oh, Sarah, we know how much the prom means to you. Molly, can I see you over here for a minute? Whatever. I, I, I'll be there, and I'll have a new dress somehow. Molly, we should, we should like pool our money together, whatever's left over from buying our prom dresses, and we could buy Sarah a prom dress. <laughs> buy Sarah a prom dress? Why would I do something like that? She's nothing but a rude bully to me 90% of the time. But Molly, she wants to go to the prom so bad. Why, so she can bully me the whole time she's there? Molly, what happened to your heart? It used to be so kind and caring. Yeah, but not towards bullies. Molly, that doesn't sound like you. I wish I could go inside your heart and see, see what's wrong in there. Wait a minute. Maybe my new potion at the science lab could let me go into your heart. What? What are you talking about? No way! Molly, we have to know why your heart is so closed off. Fine. I guess we could find out. But I'm not buying her that prom dress. I'm not doing it. Okay, according to my calculations, this is going to work perfectly. Now, I'm going to need you to hold completely still. I think this is a terrible idea. Ay, of course you would. You've hardened your heart to the whole world. No, just to bullies and people who annoy me. And, well, um, anybody who gives me detention. Exactly my point, Molly. Now, I have to take the potion and shrink down. Ooh, delicious. Is that the potion? No, it's a shamrock shake from McDonald's. But boy, is it delicious. Daisy, quit monkeying around. If you're going to do this, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Gluck, gluck, gluck. Ugh, I should have made this taste more like the shamrock shake. Is it working? You still look like you're the same size. It'll work any minute now. I think this is experimental. It didn't work, Daisy. Hold on, be patient for a change. Oh, wow, I'm getting smaller. Whoa, this feels weird. Tell me about it! <whistles> Hi, little ducky. Oh, do you not have anyone to love you? <whistles> You're homeless? Oh my gosh, well, here's a delicious cheeseburger I just got from Starbucks. Maybe you'd like to have some. <whistles> oh, don't worry. I'll help you find the perfect home. Oh, look at Molly. She's helping that poor homeless dog to find a new family. And she's sharing her Starbucks cheeseburger with it. She must really feel like she's in a giving spirit today. I think I should name you, um, Chocolate Milk. <laughs> You're so adorable. Come on, Chocolate Milk. Let's go. Well, here's one time that Molly was definitely kind and her heart was wide open. Now I've just got to find others and to prove that she actually is kind-hearted. Hopefully I don't find anything evil in her heart. Huh, <sighs> that was the longest attention I've ever had. Oh man, 
Oh, it's like 10 miles to my house. I don't want to walk that far. Oh, hey, Luke. What are you doing here so late at the school? Oh, I had basketball practice. And now I was going to ride my bike home. But I have a flat tire. And it's a 10-mile walk to my house. Oh, don't worry. I've got my little car here. I could totally give you a ride. Aww. You would? Seriously? Yeah, why not? Come on. Hop in. Oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver, Molly. Do you need money for gas? Nah, I've got enough gas for the both of us. Oh, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> I had a bean burrito for lunch today. Now, your house is this way, right? It sure is, Molly. You're a great person. Here's another time that Molly's heart was full of kindness when she gave Luke a ride home from school. Ah, oh, Molly, where did you lose your beautiful heart at? I better start taking some notes on this. Well, Ethel, if you can't pay for your bill, then you're going to have to come in the back and wash dishes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Chef. I, I didn't realize that I, I didn't quite have enough, and I was so hungry. You know I am on a fixed income. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the restaurant rule. You have to do dishes if you can't pay the bill. But my arthritis is so bad. I don't know how I'll pay. What? He's going to make this old lady do the dishes? Nonsense! Hi, Ethel. Uh, my name is Molly, and you remind me so much of my grandmother. I was wondering if it would be all right if I just paid for your bill entirely, because you just seem like such a nice lady. <laughs> like I said, you remind me of my grandma, and I love my grandma. Oh, dear. You would do that for me? Absolutely! Um, here, Chef. Here you go. Um, here's all the money for her bill and mine, too. Well, that's very nice of you, dear. Thank you so much. And um, make sure she gets some pie to take home, too. Any kind she wants. Oh, dear. You are the nicest girl in all of Brookhaven. Wow. Molly actually gave away some of her money to pay for Ethel's um, food? Holy guacamole. I've seen all that I need to see. Molly's heart is actually good. Whoa! Exiting! Daisy, whoa, that feels so strange. Ugh, get out of my heart. So, what'd you find? That I'm rude and cruel and mean, right? Um, on the contrary, Molly. I found out you're the most kind-hearted person in Brookhaven. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> No, seriously, Molly. All you have to do is remember that you're so nice. First, I watched you rescue a homeless dog. Then I watched you give Luke a ride home so we didn't have to walk ten miles. And then I watched you pay for an old lady's lunch at Brookhaven. Dino, you're definitely not a bad person. You just have to remember that you're very giving. But, but Sarah, she, she's a bully. Yes, she's sometimes a bully. But just because she's mean sometimes doesn't mean you have to be. You can be whoever you want to be. You need to like yourself when you look in the mirror every day. Hey, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, your actions are totally separate than Sarah's actions. Sarah can do whatever she wants, but at the end of the day, you have a clear conscience because you did what was right. Wow, I guess you're right. Besides, I like being nice. It makes me feel good. I guess we can pool our money together and buy Sarah that prom dress. Very good decision, Molly. I'm actually really proud to say that you're my sister. Really? That's a first. Yeah, you're really nice, actually. Except for that time that you decided to put slime in my pillowcase. <laughs> that was the best prank ever. <laughs> should have won the best prank award. <laughs> How much longer is this wait going to be? Excuse me, my wife, she's she's in a lot of pain and 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 I need to know how much longer the wait's going to be. Oh, sorry, sir. We have a lot of people ahead of you. Someone came in and had a heart attack and I know, but my wife, she's she's pregnant and uh, how far along is she? Um, she's seven months. Oh, wow. She still has two months to go, though. Please! She's in pain. She needs help. Okay, let me see what I can do, sir. Hi, miss. I'm Nurse Judy. 
Can you please help me? My stomach hurts so bad. Okay, well, let's get you into exam room one. It just opened up and uh, we'll take a look. Now your husband says you're about seven months pregnant, is that correct? Yeah, seven months. My sweet little baby, we've already picked out her name. Yeah, but I'm a little worried. I mean, my wife shouldn't be in this much pain, should she? We've had two other children and, and she didn't have this much pain with the other two. Well, it could indicate something wrong. Are you a doctor or a nurse? I'm just a nurse, but we're short staffed today, so I'll be the one examining your wife. Okay, I, I hope everything's gonna be okay. Let me just get some gloves. All right, I'm going to fill your stomach. This shouldn't hurt. Okay, let's see, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's wrong, is there something wrong? Well, it seems that you're in labor. Say what? She's got two months to go with her pregnancy though. I know, but this is just something that happens sometimes. We need to move her into the um, regular hospital and out of the emergency room immediately. Okay, well, thanks for getting her seen. I mean, she might have had her baby right on the floor if you hadn't got her in this room. Oh, somebody get me a puke bucket. Oh my gosh, are you gonna throw up? Here you go, here's a puke bag in case you need it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long night, I can tell already. Okay, Miss Laura, just jump right into this bed over here. Well, not jump, because then your baby definitely would come out on the floor, probably. <laughs> um, go ahead and just get into this bed right here, and I will take you up into the maternity ward. I'm right behind you, honey. I'm right behind you. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. I hope my baby's okay. Laura, we're going to take the best care of you ever. Everything's going to be A-OK, -okay, I promise. You can't make that promise, though. You don't really know. Well, I've seen a lot of babies born two months early, and usually they're just fine. Okay, Laura, we're just gonna take a little bit of an x-ray here and make sure that your baby is doing okay. You mean besides the fact, Nurse Judy, that the baby's coming two months early? Well, babies just decide to come when they want to come. All right, I'm gonna need you to step out of the room while I do this ultrasound, please. Really, why? Because you're super nervous and you're making me nervous, and I don't want you to make the patient nervous. I'm just so sad, like, I thought I had two more months and, and the nursery isn't done yet, and Laura, everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Oh, it looks like your baby hasn't turned yet. Well, it looks like you're gonna be in labor a little bit longer. Let's take you to the labor room. Okay, Laura, I'll be back to check on you soon. Um, Dan, I don't think you're allowed to play video games on the computers at the hospital. They use those to, like, check up on patients and stuff. Um, Laura, I think it's fine because you've been in labor already for like 12 hours and I need something to keep me awake. I've already drank like 40 cups of coffee. How do you think I feel? I'm the one having the baby. Oh. Everything's gonna be okay, honey. Everything's gonna be okay. Dan? Dan, where'd you go? Dan? Is he seriously sleeping in the baby crib? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my stomach. Oh, Dan, go get the nurse, quick. Oh, what? Oh, is the baby coming? Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it, honey. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh, I was so crammed in there. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Oh. Okay, the patient in room two is doing well. The patient in room four needs her meds. Hurry, my wife, she's having her baby. Nurse Judy, get the doctor. Oh, unfortunately, there's no doctor on duty right now. We're really short-handed. Wait, what? But my wife, she's having her baby. Don't worry, I'm assisting the doctor every single day, so I'll be able to help you. Help me what? Deliver this baby? Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. Nurse Judy, where's, where's my doctor? Um, well, your doctor's on vacation in Tahiti, and we're a little short-handed. Wait, what? Dr. Smith isn't here? Um, honey, try not to panic. All right, let's just check you. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm a nurse that works with this doctor all the time, and um, basically I've helped deliver just thousands of babies, so it's gonna be fine. Oh my, your baby still hasn't turned. Okay, I hate to tell you this, Laura, but you're gonna need to go to the OR. Wait, what? Why? Because you're going to have to have a C-section to have your baby. Oh, 
M G. Today just keeps getting worse and worse. Dr. Brittany, I'm so glad you could make it here. Our our patient, she needs a C-section. Oh, I'd be happy to help. Um, she's really a doctor? Yes, it's Dr. Jansen. She's very, very good at delivering babies. Okay, I'm just glad a doctor was able to be here. I mean, I know you're shorthanded. Yeah, but Dr. Jansen was able to come in on her day off so we can get this baby delivered. All right, Laura should already be asleep, so I'm just gonna give her a shot to make her extra comfortable. Oh, honey, don't worry. Everything's gonna be okay. All right, now we're just making sure that she's nice and comfortable, and then we're gonna deliver your daughter. Who's ready to be a parent? <laughs> well, Laura's asleep, so she won't hear anything, but Dan, are you ready? Um, I'm a little nervous about this. I'll be careful. She's a doctor. Of course she's going to be careful. Okay, Nurse Judy, but she's the love of my life right there, and, and she has my baby, and, and, and I want them to be okay. Okay, Dad, try not to freak out. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything's going as expected. All is well. Is there anything I can assist you with, Dr. Jansen? Um, no, I think I've got everything under control. I see the baby, and here she comes. Okay, Nurse Judy, get ready to catch that baby. She looks extra slippery this time. <laughs> Is that my daughter? Well, do you see anyone else delivering a baby in this room? Of course it's your daughter. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I just delivered a baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm super, super amazing. If I wasn't a doctor, I would totally be a famous dancer. Uh, Dr. Jansen, don't you think we should weigh the baby? Oh yeah, we should totally do that. Come on, let's weigh her. Whoa, she's barely four pounds. And she's breathing a little funny, Dr. Jansen. Oh, let me take a look. Oh uh, yeah, she definitely is gonna need a NICU stay. What? A NICU stay? But, but... Yeah, let's take her to NICU right now. I should get something for Laura for when she wakes up and baby Kira and NICU. I just can't believe my baby is only four pounds. I hope she's gonna be okay. I just, I want my baby to be okay. Where, where's my baby? Where's baby Kira? Baby Kira? Where, why did she, why did she, where is she? Honey, honey, calm down. I got you some beautiful flowers and... Where is my baby? She's, she's in the NICU. In the NICU? Why? Well, she was having a little trouble breathing and she was barely four pounds. Oh my gosh, because she was two months early. Oh, poor baby Kira. I want to go see her. Well, honey, you just did a C-section. That's an operation. I think you should rest. Take me to my baby right now! Okay, honey, okay. I'm so excited to meet our baby sister. I know. She's going to be so adorable. I know it. Hey, wait, there's Mom. Mom? Are you okay, Mom? Uh, girls, try to talk quietly. Your mom's a little upset right now. Wait, where, where's the baby? Why is she in this room and not a regular room? Yeah, what's going on, Mom? Are you okay? Girls, I had to have an operation. An operation? Mom, why? Um, well, you know, your sister came early, and that meant she was only four pounds, and she was having some trouble breathing. Oh, M.G. Mom, are you all right? Is, is baby Kira all right? Um, we're both okay, honey. I'm just gathering up my strength now to go see her in the NICU. Can we go too, Mom? Yes, you girls can go, but you have to make sure you keep wearing your gloves. And wash your hands a lot. We will! We will, Dad! We will! I just want to meet my baby sister. O-M-G! Look at her! She's so adorable! Oh, great Molly, you already made her cry. It's probably because she knows you're going to be your sister. Oh, I can't believe my baby is a NICU. Don't worry, Mom. She looks like she's doing amazing. I want to hold her. We should probably let Mom hold her first. Mom, do you want to hold her first? Yeah, of course I do. My sweet little baby. Hi, sweet little baby. I'm your mommy. And I'm your big sister. Oh, look at she's sucking on her pacifier. 
Molly, I think you're going to be a great big sister. And I think baby Kira is going to be just fine. Hi, baby. Welcome to the family. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm watching this YouTube video about how this one sister pranked her other sister and she didn't talk to her for 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. I totally want to do that to my sister Daisy. She'd be like, why aren't you talking to me right now? I'd be like, sorry, Daisy, can't talk. Um, Just seriously, I can't talk to you right now. She would not know why. <laughs> it would be super awesome. Ugh, super smelly. Got to take a bath. Ah, so relaxing. Do, 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 do. Now I want to go see what's in the refrigerator. Hi, Bali. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to start my prank now. Molly, did you heal me? I said good morning. Sheesh, what's wrong with Molly right now? She doesn't even want to talk to me. Molly, good morning. Maybe she listened to her music too loud last night and now she can't heal anything. Huh? Did someone say something? Huh? Thought I heard someone talking. Molly, that was me! I got back into my room then, Molly. Bye, if you're gonna be rude. <laughs> my plan is working already. 24 hours of ignoring my sister. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to share my pancakes with her. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at these delicious pancakes. Mmm. <gasps> I'm super good at making pancakes. I love making them so much because they taste delicious and I just love them. Ha! Look what the milk says! Mad cow! <laughs> I love when my mom gets this kind. It's hilarious. Oh yeah! Time for some pancakes! Ooh! Pancakes! Molly, could I have some? Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Molly, could I seriously have some? Molly, where are you going with the pancakes? Molly, come back here. I want some pancakes. Molly! Molly, why are you being so weird right now? Oh my gosh, I think my sister, I think my sister must be not able to hear me. Molly! Molly, can you heal me? Hello? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's wrong with my sister. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. My sister doesn't even know what's going on right now. Is she going to follow me? I hope not. I want to go eat these pancakes without her. Burr, it's freezing out here. <gasps> Look at all the snow outside. That must be um, time time for Santa to come, seriously. Oh, man, it says I have to place them on a the counter. I can't eat them outside. Molly, what are you doing? Ooh, snow, snow. <gasps> it's snow week, it's snow week. Do, 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 do. Jingle bells, jingle bells. It's snow week outside. Daisy, that's not how it goes. Molly, you're talking to me. Oh, man. I didn't want to talk to you. What are you talking about, Molly? Why don't you want to talk to me? Molly, come back here right this instant. Ah, uh, sorry, Daisy. I can't talk to you. What? Why not? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, too busy eating my food. Yum, 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 yum. Molly, could I have a pancake? Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Oh man, I don't want to fail this prank. I'm I'm trying to take this challenge of not talking to my sister for 24 hours, but she tricked me. Ugh, maybe if I just hang out in my room, she won't even know I'm in here, and then I can just ignore her for 24 hours. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do 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 The brightly colored unicorn. Ha ha ha! I love this show, and I'm successfully ignoring my sister. <gasps> Except for she's in my room. Why is she in my room? Molly, what are you doing? Ooh, the brightly colored unicorn. Can I watch? 
Molly, seriously, are you still trying to ignore me? That doesn't work, Molly. I'm watching it, Molly. I'm watching it. <laughs> Molly, I know you want to say something to me. I'm standing at your desk. I'm standing at your desk. Daisy, get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, I made you talk. Daisy, I'm gonna get you. You made me, you made me mess up the challenge. I'm so mad at you right now. Molly, seriously, that was a silly challenge to not talk to me. Yeah, right. Get out of my room and don't come back. Ay, 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 sisters. Why am I dirty again? I'm always so dirty in this in this Bloxburg game. It's so weird. I just took a bath. Jeepers creepers. Ah, at least my sister's not here. Now I can start the 24 hours of not talking to my sister again. Ah. Peace and quiet. Molly, I see you. What? Oh my gosh, my sister's outside my bedroom window. You're crazy. Molly, stop ignoring me. I've got something amazing to tell you. Come outside. Oh, no way, Daisy. Yes, D you have to come out. I have to tell you something right now, Molly. Look out your window. I don't want to talk to my sister because then it's going to ruin the, the prank. I'll, 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 totally, I'll totally lose the challenge. Molly, it's snowing. Come outside. It's snowing. What? It's snowing? It never snows in Texas! Oh my gosh, she must be lying. She's totally lying. She's pranking me right now. Oh my gosh, it's snowing! This means Santa's gonna come soon. This means Santa's gonna come! Daisy, where are you? Daisy! Molly, I'm right here. Daisy, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing! Daisy, don't you have anything to say? Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh, are you ignoring me now? What? You're playing the you're playing the 24 hours without talking to your sister challenge? You're ignoring me, aren't you? Why are you ignoring me? Daisy! Daisy! Ugh, you're so much better at this game than me! Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna take the polar bear challenge. That's where you go swimming in the pool when it's snowing out. Guys, dare me? Guys, double dog dare me? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cold. Ah! <laughs> It's freezing! Uh, 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 Burr, get me out of here! I have to go inside where it's warm. Uh, okay, Daisy, well, ignore me if you want, but I'm closing the door. Oh, man, she came inside. Come on, Daisy, don't ignore me! Daisy! Daisy! Molly, get out in front of the TV! <laughs> I got you to talk. Molly, that challenge is much harder than I thought. Pranking your sister to not talk to her and ignore her for 24 hours is really hard. Yeah, even when you're an annoying sister like you are. Molly, I'm not ign I'm annoying. Yeah, you kind of are, Daisy. You kind of are. Take it back, Molly. No way. I can't take it back. It's true. <gasps> Molly. Anyway, Daisy, I'm going out and playing in the snow. It's going to be super awesome. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Daisy, I dare you to jump in the pool. Are you crazy, Molly? It's, it's like 20 degrees out here. It's freezing. I don't think so. Come on, Daisy. I did it. Don't be a chicken. Block, 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 block. Okay, Molly, fine. I think this is crazy, though. Ah, how's that, Molly? Daisy, that's cheating. That's cheating. But I'm in the pool, Molly. Yeah, but you're not touching the water. Actually, Molly, boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. Boo! My bum bum's in the cold water. <laughs> Didn't you realize, Daisy, that a raft has a hole in it? <laughs> Ooh, Molly, I never thought of that. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, Daisy, I love when it snows out. It means Santa Claus is coming soon. I know, Molly. I love it, too. It's amazing. Well, do you think we should take the challenge of ignoring each other for 24 hours? No, Molly. Even though you're a naughty big sister, I still want to talk to you. Oh, that's the nicest thing anybody said to me, Daisy. Come here and give me a big sister hug. 
Daisy, are you a ghost? I just walked right through you. Oh my gosh, Daisy's a ghost! Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Tornado fans, thanks so much for watching. We kind of failed this 24-hour no talking to each other challenge, didn't we, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, we totally did because we were trying to annoy each other. I, I made a snowball, Molly! I made a snowball, and now guess what? I want to throw it at you. You better not, Daisy! You better not! Okay, Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. <laughs> Molly, you wake up! And don't forget to hit the notification bell where you can be the one to see when we put out a new video. Daisy, don't you dare throw that snowball at me. <laughs> Molly, I totally am going to throw it at you. No way! Ah! Brrr, freezing! Oh my gosh, I'm totally going to be late for school now. Ugh, this is so bad. Ugh, I'm really hungry. I think the first thing I should do is go into the kitchen and make breakfast. Because I am starving. Then I'll take a bath afterwards. Because seriously, I am too hungry to wait. Okay, no, I don't want hot dogs for breakfast. Ew. Bacon and eggs, that sounds pretty good to me. Alright, let's go over and start making them. Turn on the stove, put in the bacon and eggs. Ooh, they smell delicious. I really am like super hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. I knew I should have had a snack before I went to bed last night. Because I haven't eaten since like dinner and I'm yesterday and I'm just so hungry. Oh, hurry up and cook. You smell so delicious. I, I want to eat you, seriously. A little salt and pepper. Ah, perfect. Time to go eat. Hi, gingerbread man. Good morning. Okay, apparently I have to be standing up in order to place something on the table. Kind of silly if you ask me. Ah, time to eat. Oh my gosh. Ah. I just want to eat my breakfast, and, like, Bloxburg is being ridiculous right now. Okay. Finally. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, so delicious. I'm still hungry. I need another portion. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm. Bacon! Eggs! Delicious! Okay, I'm seriously full now. Ugh, I can barely walk. Ha, ha, ha. All right, now I'm gonna go in and take a bath and brush my teeth and stuff. Cause, you know, you can't have funky teeth when you're going to school. Brush a brush a brush a brush a brush a brush. Brush a brush a brush a brush a brush a brush. Ah, clean minty teeth. Now I'm gonna go take a bath. Cause you don't want to be stinky for school. I want to turn on. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's better. Whoa, look at what time it is! I better go see if I got my homework done. Uh-oh. I'm not quite sure that I actually did my homework. Uh, I better work on that right now. Let's see. Spelling. Oh, that's easy. C-A-T. How do you spell unicorn? U-N-I-C-O-R-N. Unicorn! Okay, how do you spell... Hey, did I just hear somebody knocking at the door? Ugh. I wonder who that could be. I have to go to school soon. I hope it's not like Bookie Cookie because, like, we can't play right now. We have to go to school. Ugh, it's Sarah! What is she doing here? Um, sorry, nobody's home. Whatever, Molly. I saw you in there. That is so rude. Open the door. Ah, no, you didn't see anybody. It was just a ghost. Just a ghost, Sarah. Nobody's there. <laughs> Molly, seriously, I know you're in there. Open the door right now. I'm not going to stop knocking. Ah, oh, fine. 
What do you want, Sarah? I want to come into your house. Duh. Um, no, you can't come into my house. Goodbye. Molly, I'm going to tell your mom. Seriously? You're going to be a tattletale? Fine. Come on. What do you want? Well, I wanted to tell you that today we're having a party at school. A party? What? No one told me about a party. Well, I'm telling you about it because I'm the head of the party. You and head of a party? I don't think you'd ever be in charge of a party. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm nothing. It's just that you're not very fun. Molly, rude. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a little rude. Sorry. Anyway, do you want to know what you have to do for the party so that you can come? Uh, yeah, okay. What is it? It's an ugly sweater um, Christmas party. What? That sounds like so much fun. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm totally serious. Make sure you show up today at school with your ugly Christmas sweater or you won't be able to come into the party. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Sarah. Okay, well, you have to get out now because I have to change into my sweater. Okay, Molly. Well, I'll see you at school. Don't be late and wear the ugliest sweater that you can. Okay, well, thanks, Sarah. Wow, Sarah actually wasn't mean for a change. That's strange. Okay, I better go into my closet and find an ugly Christmas sweater. Wait a minute. I don't think I have one. I think I'll have to borrow Daisy's. She won't mind. She's in a dance um, competition right now. Okay, let's see. I know exactly what I want to wear. It's going to be perfect. Oh, hey, man. Um, hi, Molly. Um, what are you wearing? <laughs> Uh, an ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party today. Um, Molly, I hate to tell you this, but, um, yeah, you look ridiculous. But Maya, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I did what everyone said to do. Um, okay, Molly, whatever. Uh, I have to get to class. Okay, well, see you later, Maya. Oh, hey there, B. Um, Molly, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> you look so funny. Uh, I'm wearing my ugly Christmas sweater for the ugly Christmas sweater party. Um, Molly, I don't think there's an ugly Christmas sweater party today. What? No, no, that's not true. Sarah told me there was. Um, no, Molly. Um, and I have to go because I have fishing class now. Uh, okay, but I think you're going to be sad that you didn't wear an ugly Christmas sweater. No, definitely not, Molly. Definitely not. Hey, Nicole, where's your ugly Christmas sweater? Um, who are you? Oh, it's you, Molly. <laughs> you look so funny today. Why are you wearing that? Um, because I thought there was an ugly Christmas sweater party. <laughs> who told you that, Molly? Oh, no. Oh, oh man. Oh, I can't believe she tricked me again. I'm gonna go hide in the bathroom. At least nobody will find me in here in my silly sweater. Ugh, I feel so ridiculous. Now I'm wearing this silly looking Rudolph sweater with with buck teeth and and it I just the sweater's itchy and it's just a horrible day. Ugh, maybe no one will find me in here. Hello? Is anybody out there? No? Okay, good. That means I can just keep hiding in the bathroom. Oh, I don't know why Sarah is so mean to me. Why does she always be mean to me? Oh, it's so ho horrible. I mean, now I'm going to be embarrassed because I'm wearing this ugly Christmas sweater all day. Molly, is that you that I hear in there? Oh, no. She's here. She found me. Molly, is that you? Uh, no. It's, it's not me. Um, Molly, I can totally tell that's you. No, no, it's not Molly. It's, um, it's not Molly. Molly, I'm coming in there. No, you're not. Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> Your sweater is so ugly. You look ugly. Hey, that's not nice, Sarah. Well, I'm just telling you that you totally look ugly in that sweater. <laughs> this was the best prank that I ever pulled. Seriously? 
You told me that there was a Christmas sweater party today for ugly Christmas sweaters, and I wore one, and there's no party, is there? Um, no, that was part of the prank. <laughs> and you totally fell for it. Yeah, because I'm actually a nice person, and you are not. What are you talking about? I'm totally nice. I just said that your sweater was ugly. That's not mean. Uh, yeah, it is, Sarah. Now go away. Are you really going to go out of here wearing that silly sweater in front of everybody at the school? Well, you know what, Sarah? I'd rather be in a silly sweater than, than to have that, that grumpy, mean, mean personality that you have. Because you know what? I can change my sweater, but you can't change how mean you are. Well, you kind of can, but you don't want to, so that just makes you totally horrible. What? Are you seriously talking to me, the popular girl like that? Yeah, I am. Now go away, Sarah. I'm just going to go to class wearing my ugly Christmas sweater. If somebody laughs, it's okay because it's like, you know, I'll just, I'll just own it. I'll be like, yeah, I wore an ugly Christmas sweater. Why didn't you wear one? What's wrong with you? You didn't want to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Where is everybody? I don't even know what class I'm supposed to be in right now. Okay, no. Is everybody in our class? I don't even know. Uh -huh, there's a student, but she's sleeping. Hey, can I sit next to you? Oh, this is perfect. They won't even know that I'm, I'm like, wearing this ugly Christmas sweater because... Look. Oh, there you are, Molly. I'm going to paint your ugly Christmas sweater for everybody in the class to see. I'm writing your name first. Molly looks ugly. Sarah, I'm going to tell the teacher, go away. Ugh. Can you believe this girl? Uh, Sarah, I don't think you should be sleeping in our class. That's totally naughty. Uh, Sarah, wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh, okay. Gonna sleep through our class, I guess. Look at your ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> whatever, Sarah, whatever. I didn't want to go to art class today anyway. I'll just hang out in the library and read a book. What? All the books are gone. Holy moly. Can't believe everybody checked out all of the books. That's crazy. I have to escape. Whoa, why is the glass broken in here? Oh my gosh, you can't go in that room. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I'm like literally trying to find a class that Sarah doesn't know I'm in. Okay, shh, she's coming. She's coming, shh, don't tell her I'm in here. Molly, where are you? Oh my gosh, run! Okay, maybe I'll go into history class. Nobody will be in there. I can just hide in my ugly sweater all by myself. Molly, where are you? Oh no! Maybe she'll just walk by. Molly? Come on, I want to see your ugly Christmas sweater some more. Molly! Oh my gosh, run! Where is everybody? They must be at recess. <gasps> can I go in here? Maybe I can hide in here. She won't see me back here. Molly, where are you? Molly! Uh, where did she go? I want to tease her some more. I can't even find her. <gasps> there you are! Ah! Oh my gosh, why do you keep by? me go away is it not enough that i wore this silly sweater and now you have to just make fun of me all day get out of here okay somebody else help me who is that another student hi hi um can you help me she's totally bullying me right now oh my gosh really molly i'm so sorry to hear that sarah stop being mean whatever i mean look at her sweater it looks ridiculous here let's paint it a different color get out of here Oh my gosh, I have to call my mom and go home. She's going to come pick me up. I just know it when I tell her what happened. Oh my gosh. Hope I can run faster than Sarah. Ah, ah, ah. She's super fast. I know, I saw her at gym class last week. Excuse me, um, Principal Keys, I need to talk to you for a minute. Sure, Molly, what is it? What can I help you with? Um, help, something's wrong. What's going on? Um, okay, never mind. 
You don't want to tell me? No, not really. I just, I don't, I don't know. It's okay, Molly. You could totally tell me what's going on. Okay. Um. Well, Sarah's bullying me about this Christmas sweater I wore. Oh, I see. Were you trying to wear an ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, she told me that basically um, there was a party today, even though there wasn't. Oh, well, I think your sweater's pretty cute. I do, too. I mean, it's supposed to be ugly, but I think it's adorable. But she keeps saying it's uh, uh, totally ugly. No, Molly, that's not true. Don't let haters get to you. Okay, I'll try not to. And in the meantime, I'll have a talk with Sarah and tell her not to bully other students. Speaking of Sarah... Oh, there you are, Molly. Sarah, I think we need to talk. Uh, Principal Keys, I'm kind of busy right now. Sarah, have you been picking on Molly's uh Christmas sweater? Me? No, never. Liar! Sarah, I would like you to stop doing that, please. Um, okay, whatever. Ah, finally! Principal Keys took care of this problem, and now I can wear my reindeer sweater all I want! <laughs> hey, Toyo fans, thanks so much for watching our role play today in Bloxburg and in Roblox High. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel for awesome videos like this one every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Uh, I hope there's a huge pot of coffee this morning. Good morning, Molly! Daisy, you are too happy in the morning. Take down your happiness level until I've had my coffee. Wow, grumpy much? Daisy! Don't talk to me until I've had my uh, coffee. So tired still. Mmm, that's delicious. I need another cup. Still asleep. And bing! I'm awake for the day! <laughs> Just like that. Coffee has magical powers, you know. Magical powers! Daisy, what on earth are you doing? Why are you standing in all the corners? I'm making a checklist, Molly, of all the different outlets, light switches, and things like that. Okay, my sister has lost her mind. What, did they put crazy in your coffee today? No, Molly, I have to do these repairs and things. I have to make everything baby-proof. Baby-proof? Wait a minute, why? Are you adopting a baby? <laughs> At my age? Absolutely not. I have a lot of goals, you know, and being a famous scientist is one of them before I have kids. Uh, so why are you doing this? Because, Molly, I've started a babysitting service. I'm like, guacamole, are you serious? That sounds like tons of work. Yeah, but you get $100 for watching a kid for a few hours while its parents have date night. A hundred bucks? Are you serious right now? That's tons of money. Yeah, Molly, and if you're willing to help me split the, the load of all the work of taking care of a kid... I'll give you 50 bucks. What? You'll give me half? Yeah, if you do half the work. Half the diapers. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't do diapers. Then you don't make 50 bucks. All right, fine. I'll do diapers. Then it's agreed upon. Oh, look. It looks like somebody's already calling me to babysit. Hello, Daisy's babysitting service. Hello, my name is Morticia Adams, and I'm looking for a babysitter. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is Daisy. How can I help you? My husband Gomez and I would like to have a date night through the cemetery. A date night through the cemetery? Um, okay. Uh, will I charge $100 per date night? Uh, I guess whatever floats your boat as far as the cemetery goes. Great. I'll bring my sweet little Wednesday by at 6 p.m. sharp. But don't feed her scorpion soup. She'll be having that for lunch. Goodbye. Scorpion soup? <laughs> she must be pranking me. Well, our first babysitting job, Molly. This is going to be amazing. Oh, Wednesday, you're only a year old, and you're already learning how to drive the family hearse. I'm so proud of you. Now remember, be on your worst behavior. <laughs> um, okay, Mom, I'll try my best. Look, it's my first babysitting job. Hi, come on in. Hi, I'm Morticia. 
Hi, I'm Daisy. I'm so sorry, darling, but you're going to have to stay with her. What? No way, Mom. I'm not staying here. Wednesday, just remember who you are and don't let this cheery babysitter bring you down. What would you say? I said, if you have any problems, make sure you don't call me. Gomez, I'm coming, honey. I can't wait for our walk in the cemetery. Hi, Wednesday. I'm Daisy. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want to be here, but I have to be because I still need a babysitter. Oh, well, I have lots of games we can play. Everything has been safety proofed. What? That sounds so boring. Oh, my gosh. Do you still um, poop your pants? Do you need like a diaper change? No, I've been potty trained since six months old. Whoa, that's amazing. You must be super smart, Wednesday. Hey, the cool babysitter is here. What do you mean the cool babysitter? The one that gives you Doritos and stuff. Whatever, I'd rather eat scorpions. Huh? What? Did she just say scorpions? Yeah, but it's some sort of prank. Her mom and her think it's hilarious. No, seriously. Scorpions are my favorite thing to eat. Well, try these Doritos instead. You're going to love them. Mm, these are pretty good. You are the cooler babysitter. Hey, this is Daisy's babysitting service. Molly's just naughtier than me, that's all. Yeah, exactly. And we Adams, we'd like to be naughty. <laughs> Well, then you'll love this activity. Boing, 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 boing. Molly was supposed to be the mature one. Stop that. Oh, my gosh. Hanging out at your house is fun. What did you say your name was? Molly. And you can basically call me the coolest babysitter ever. Let's ditch that Daisy babysitter and get out of here. My mom will give you the hundred bucks all by yourself. Uh, sorry, Daisy, but I'm stealing your client. Molly, you better not. Molly. Let's go down to town. I'm sure there's something fun to do down there. Don't you want to drive? Drive? You're one years old. How are you going to drive? My mom lets me drive her hers. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I know, right? How come you talk so sweet sometimes and other times you talk like a demon? Well, <laughs> I am part demon. Whoa, Wednesday. Um, Can I have the angel part of you back? Oh, no. There's no angel part of me. There's only demon. And then there's this part of me that I use just to trick people to think that I'm a sweet little human child. Whoa. <laughs> Wednesday, um, you're kind of weird, but I like you. Let's go eat ice cream. Ooh, ice cream sounds delicious. This is the sweetest ice cream in Brookhaven. Whoa, delicious. Oh, man, she's got the angel voice on again. Wait a minute. Is she trying to trick me? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Where is everybody? They're supposed to be working and there's nobody back there. Okay, fine. I'll just scoop my own ice cream then. I want a scoop of mint chocolate chip. I want a scoop of bubble gum. Pretty much I want a scoop of everything. Mm. Okay, Wednesday, where are... Wednesday, where are you? Is she in the bathroom? Wednesday? Wednesday? Oh my gosh. Uh, I lost my, my kid that I'm babysitting. I should have known when she was talking like that angel that she was up to no good. That's how she was talking to Daisy. Oh, no. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, wh where's Wednesday? Um, so, um, I went and got some ice cream and... Molly, stop eating the ice cream and tell me where Wednesday is. Stop sticking the ice cream in my face, Molly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I lost Wednesday. What? Why are you still eating ice cream then? Um, I eat when I get nervous. Molly, where is she? She's my responsibility. I don't know, but let's finish this ice cream and then we can go find her. Molly, put down the ice cream. Fine, okay. I thought you'd understand I eat when I'm nervous. Not a chance, Molly. Come on, let's go find her. Well, be careful when she talks like a sweet little angel and not a demon because it means she's trying to trick you. What? She can talk in two different voices? Yeah, one sounds like this. Hi, I'm Wednesday. That one is her, like, depressed demon voice. And then when she talks like, hi, I'm Wednesday. That's the one where she's trying to convince you she's all good and, and happy and stuff. And then she does something crazy. Don't worry, Molly. We'll find Wednesday Adams. If it's the last thing we do. Wednesday, where are you? Something tells me she doesn't actually want to be found. She's kind of naughty. 
Something tells me that she already got arrested. Arrested? Wait, no, no, wait. There she is! Come back here! What do you want? We're your babysitters! What are you doing? Hey, don't climb that ladder! You naughty little kid! Oh my gosh, I don't know if this was worth the $100. Is she getting in the helicopter? Aw, uh, Daisy, we might have a problem. Uh, I've never flown a helicopter before. You're one years old. You don't know how to fly a helicopter. Come on out of there. I'll give you some ice cream. Please, please. Uh-oh. Um, She fell down through and crashed it already. Uh, That's probably not good, Wednesday. It's okay. I'll just spawn another helicopter, and then I'll fly it around. You will not. You're going to have a timeout. Get back here, you little brat. Molly, we don't use those words with our clients. Hey, you're a brat. And I think that you need a timeout. Mega bad. Mega bad, baby. You scared Daisy and I half to death. I thought you were going to be good. Good? You were encouraging her to jump on the couch. Okay, maybe I'm not the best influence. But Wednesday, timeout chair. Now. What? I don't need the timeout chair. Don't use your angel voice with me, Wednesday. Time out chair. Now. Fine. This is the lamest babysitting ever. Well, I guess you have to learn your lesson. No more running away from your babysitters. The well, parents are going to be here any minute, Molly. I don't know if they'll like that we gave her a time out. She deserved it. Naughty, naughty baby. Hello, I'm back. What are you doing? Where's my daughter? I'm exhausted. Your daughter is exhausting. She's very naughty. She tried to run away, so my sister Molly gave her a timeout. What? She got a timeout? Yeah, Mom. I'm so sorry. I won't ever let this happen again. I cannot believe you got caught. If you're going to be naughty, then you should see it all the way through and not get caught and put in timeout. Wait, what? You actually wanted her to run away and do crazy stuff? Yeah. It's how we Adams do things. You all are bonkers! Don't call me again to babysit. Some people just aren't your customers. Really? Because I was going to give you a thousand dollars. What? Okay, well, you're kind of my customer, I guess. So, will you watch my daughter every Saturday? I can make it rain. Whoa, the Adams are rich! Yeah, Wednesday can come stay anytime. But my rules are my rules. Fine. It'll be good practice for her to try to be a criminal, won't it, Wednesday? Do I have to come back here, Mom? Oh, don't try the angel voice with Morticia. She knows better. <laughs> Where do you think she learned it from? <laughs> Molly, let's watch Rags to Witches. Ooh, this show is awesome. Can't wait. Hello? Oh, hi, dear. It's your mother. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, what's going on? Well, dear, tomorrow's Christmas, and I was really hoping I didn't have to be alone. I could cook a big Christmas dinner if you want. Christmas? Um, Mom, it's not even Thanksgiving tomorrow. <laughs> You're a little head on your timeline there. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Oh, dear me. I have my dates mixed up again. Oh, I really do hope you could come for dinner anyway, even if it's not Christmas. I'm lonely and I miss my family. Oh, geez, Mom. Of course we'll come. Uh, we could leave tonight, spend the night, and then we could spend the day tomorrow playing board games and going for walks and, and, and talking. Does that sound fun? Your granddaughters would love to see you. Oh, yes, dear. That'd be fabulous. Okay, well, we'll leave in about 15 minutes as soon as we can pack our bags. Bye, Mom. Bye, dear. But, Dad, it's a new episode of Rags to Riches. We're going to miss it. Molly, Grandma's more important. Oh, Dad. Well, your grandma's kind of senile. I mean, she thought tomorrow was Christmas, and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Don't you think we should go check in on her? Well, I guess you're right. And I haven't seen Grandma in a while. I do kind of miss her. Exactly. Now, go get your coats and your bags. Pack them up. We're going to see Grandma. Okay. Wait, what? Where are we going? We're going to spend the weekend with your mother-in-law. Aren't you excited? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't wait. Oh, man. 
I'm all ready. Last one to the car is a rotten egg. Whoa. It's like a blizzard outside. Uh, Mom, Dad, you better pack an extra coat. And, um, have you been outside recently? Holy guacamole, it's a blizzard out here. How are we going to make it to Grandma's house now? I don't know, but you can't let her down. We have to still go. Oh, <laughs> I have four-wheel drive and good tires on the car. I'm sure we'll be fine. Go get a coat on, Molly. Okay. Oh, my whole weekend is going to be at my mother-in-law's. Don't worry. Grandma's pretty nice, don't you think, Mom? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I can't wait to eat her burned turkey. That's better. Now it won't be cold. Come on, Molly. Let's get going. Gotta go over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The car knows the way to carry us all to her house in the snow. Uh, Dad, I'm not sure that's how that goes. Don't worry, Daisy. Dad's just not a singer. Come on, honey. We don't want to be late. Uh, are you sure about this? I mean, it's a little cold out here and, and, and the weather is, well, horrible. Don't worry, Mom. We've all got our seatbelts. And Dad said this car is four-wheel drive. We'll be fine. Yeah, this car is, whoa, I'm sliding already. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I don't know what your definition of fun is, but the entire town is deserted. It's a blizzard out here. My mom really needs us to check in on her, honey. She said she's lonely. Oh, okay, well, we should try to get there then. Go really slow. These roads are terrible. I can't see anything. It's it's almost a whiteout here. I think you took the wrong turn, honey. I think we're back in town. Nah, this doesn't look like town. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! We ran into the pool! Ah! Oh my gosh! Everybody try to open your door quickly! We don't want to drown! Oh my gosh, nobody else is out of the car. I'm out, Dad! I'm out! Wait. We're all out. We're all okay. Wait a minute. Where's Molly? Molly! I'll go back in for her. Molly? Molly, say something. Uh, well, what happened? Molly, are you okay? Um, uh, I feel kind of, whoa, I'm feeling kind of weird. Do I look all right to you guys? Oh my gosh. Molly turned into a Happy Meal. What? But, 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 but how can that be? I mean, we got in a wreck and now she's a Happy Meal? Ooh, she looks delicious. I'm going to eat them. Hey, no! Don't eat me! I, 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 I can't believe I turned into a Happy Meal! Is this what happens when you almost drown? You just, you just morph into something else? Come back here. I like Happy Meals. I want to eat you. Ah! My sister's going to eat me! I got to turn back out of a Happy Meal. How did this happen? Maybe if I jump back in the pool, it'll fix it. Okay, there's the car. I, I just have to swim down. Ugh. Does anybody know how a Happy Meal swims? Uh, uh, I can't see anything. Uh, uh, I don't want to be a Happy Meal anymore. Well, her vital signs are good. I just don't understand why she's not waking up. No, no, I, I don't, no, I, I, no. Molly, wake up. Wake up. You took a massive bonk on your head in the accident. But we need you to open your eyes, Molly. Open your eyes! What happened to me? <gasps> no! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! I don't want to be a Happy Meal! Um, honey, apparently your Happy Meal is really upsetting our daughter. Sorry, that accident made me really hungry and we've been waiting a long time for her to wake up. I'm just starving. You better get rid of it before she freaks out and, and goes back into a coma. Okay, Molly, I need you to calm down. No one is a Happy Meal, honey. No one's a Happy Meal. I, I was! I was a Happy Meal! What is she talking about? I don't know, but I don't want a Happy Meal as a daughter. I want Molly! This is just normal. Sometimes our brains get a little scrambled when we get a bonk on the head. She definitely has a concussion. So, um, she's not a Happy Meal? Uh, no, of course she's not. She's still your daughter. Oh, good! What happened? Well, um, we were driving to Grandma's house... And, um, there was a really bad storm. Yeah, I remember all that. And then I accidentally drove us into the Brookhaven pool and you almost drowned. And apparently you think you're a Happy Meal now. Oh, 
my gosh. Where's Daisy? Is Daisy okay? Daisy's fine. She's just resting and drinking some hot cocoa to warm herself up. You're the one we're worried about, Molly. Actually, I feel pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Sit, sit down, Molly. Sit down. It's normal to feel a little dizzy and sick to your stomach when you get a bonk on the head. Is it normal to think you're a chicken nugget? Um, well, there's a first for everything. I knew it. I knew it! I'm strange because I think I'm a chicken nugget. That will pass, Molly, and everything will be fine. Uh, what we need you to do right now is try to go to sleep and get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Whoa, Daisy, what are you doing here? I I'm supposed to be sleeping. Mm, well, I just came to see you, Molly. It was very important. Oh. <coughs> um, sorry, I was just choking on this giant bite. What are you eating? You, of course. Mmm, you're the most delicious happy meal I ever did eat. Mmm, and all thanks to that accident. Huh? What? No! I don't want to be a happy meal! Somebody get me out of here! I can't be a happy meal! No! No! Okay, where's the exit? Well, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. I have to get out of here. Ha! Huh? No one's allowed to eat me! Even if I am a happy meal! Do you hear that? No one can eat Molly! They're so full of cool things like snacks in the kitchen. Is that all you think about, Molly? Um, yeah. Molly, I heard this is the Megan story. You know what that is, right? What? No. Oh, I'm too busy looking for cupcakes. Molly, Megan is a crazy, creepy robot. What are you talking about? Don't be crazy. Hey, guys, I'm a fan. I cannot believe that we're going to be in this Roblox house together. Oh, me either. <laughs> it's cool to see a fan. Come on, let's go check out some other places. They are here. This will be an awesome surprise for you all. What? What is it? What? What? I love surprises. What is it? Hey, Gamma. Mega is ready for alpha testing. Awesome. I hope this all goes well. What kind of alpha testing? Who's Megan? Rest assured, she won't start going cyborg, Gamma. <laughs> okay, we're definitely getting some sort of robot. Wait a minute. Is this the robot that Daisy was talking about that's totally crazy? Well, then. <laughs> Let's go. Um, what is that? Wow, hi, Megan. Hello, who are you? I'm Katie. Calibrating, calibrating, pair, pair. Let's draw something. She's not evil at all, Daisy. Look at her, she seems so nice. Okay, what's she drawing? I'm looking to see what she's drawing. Oh, it looks like a pretty picture or something. Uh, yeah, if you a psycho! Megan, um, there's nothing on the paper. Maybe you need to recalibrate again. Oops, sorry. Whoa, she drew a picture of her. It's beautiful. It looks just like me. Wow, Katie, that's amazing that she could draw a picture just like you. Hey, Megan, will you send to our um be sent to our house later? Um, wait, she has to be given an e-heart, and then she'll be able to feel emotions. Okay, everybody, let's go back to the house. Alpha training is over. Wow, Megan seems really cool. I'm a fan, hi! Whoa, so many fans. This is like a Star Squad house right now. Molly, I'm telling you, this Mega Megan girl is, is evil. Oh, Daisy, pish posh. Don't be such a, a nincompoop. Did you just call me a nincompoop? Hey guys, look, I think Megan must be here. Oh, there's a box out there. Okay, yeah, that's definitely our Megan robot. She's so cool. I want her to draw my picture. Make me a snack. Like, preferably if she could bake me some cupcakes, that would be perfect. Hello, everyone. Oh, she popped out of the box all on her own. See, Molly, creepy. Not creepy. I was programmed to help you emotionally and physically. I know everything that has happened in the past, and I know 99% of human knowledge. It's insane, right? Totally. I don't like you, Megan. Come on in, Megan. It's great you're here. Katie's fine with her. Why can't you just be cool, Daisy? This is nothing cool about her. <sighs> okay, I'll go along with it. Hi, Megan. I'm Daisy. Um, I just want to know, um, can you dance? Of course I can. Watch this. Well, her dancing is pretty, well, basic, but, you know, she can sort of dance. Oh, it arrived. We named her Megan. It stands for Model 3 Generative... Um, what was the last word? I can't even remember. I am not an it. I am a she. 
Of course, I was thinking, do you guys want to... I don't know what I'm thinking, um, but do you guys want to play at the park with Megan? Um, yeah, I think she's amazing. Let's do it. I don't know, Molly. I still have a bad feeling about this. Come on, Daisy. She seems super cool. Uh, who, who's, whose screen name is Candy Pooby? <laughs> Shout out to Candy Pooby. Is that when you eat way too much candy and uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, this park is amazing. Megan's gonna love it here. Megan, look, there's a climbing wall. Oh, she's going right up for it. Yeah, there's a climbing wall. Oh, how come I can't do it? Because you're not a robot, Molly. Well, I did it, so maybe I am part robot. Look, Megan. Why doesn't Megan have a mouth, though? That part is a little creepy. Like, what's she talking out of? Her armpit? Katie, I thought I told you not to come here anymore. Go away, Brandon. Oh, great. A bully at the park. Just what we need. We're ready for dinner. I got pizza for everyone in the dining room. Oh, where's the dining room? I'm starting. Starving. I can't even talk right. I'm so hungry. Why am I sitting on the couch? Pizza's not on the couch. Pizza's right here. I want to eat all the pizza. Put it in my tummy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's some good pizza right there. Mm. Buddy, don't eat it all. Leave some for everyone else. Oh, it got dark out fast. Okay, time for bed. We have a lot planned tomorrow. Megan will go on her charger. Okay, where's Megan's charger? That, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Later that night. Come here, Brandon. You can't hide. <laughs> Nighty night, Brandon. Ah, perfect way to start the day with a piece of pizza in my hand. Molly, if you have been holding that since last night at the dinner table, I may have slept with it in my hand. <laughs> Perfect breakfast, though. Mmm, delicious. Breakfast downstairs, everyone. Pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. Molly, you just had breakfast. No, I had first breakfast. <laughs> now I need second breakfast. Ooh, pancakes. My favorite. I thought pizza was your favorite. Okay, pancakes are my second favorite. I heard something outside last night. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder what it could have been. Everyone, look outside. Ah, is that jelly? Why would they waste grape jelly like that? We could... Or even raspberry jelly, because it's red. I mean, we could have eaten that on our pancakes. Okay, guys, I think that might actually be blood. Blood! Ah! Don't worry, I have a secret underground base. It'll keep us safe from whoever is killing everyone. Oh, okay, well, at least I brought my pancakes with me, because mm, how can you live without delicious food down here in this bunker? What? There's a bunch of robots down here? This is huge! Take whatever you need to protect yourself. Hmm. Well, pancakes are a start. Look at all this science equipment down here. It's crazy. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna take a first aid kit. Can I take one of these robots? <laughs> Daisy, where'd you get that knife? I needed it, Molly. Um, it, it's important to survive this. <laughs> so, you have come to play? Let's play. Wait, where is she? I don't even see her. Okay, where is this crazy Megan? She's like invisible. Oh my god, there she is. She's crawling like some sort of dog. Spider, and she's chasing me, of course. And you know what, guys? I do not have... Oh, wait, I have a knife. Okay, this is good news. Okay, all right, I've had enough of you. Get out of here, lady! Crazy robot thing! Oh, boy. Yep, I need something to heal myself. All right, guys, I'm healing myself right now. Okay, I healed myself. Did I just die, or did I win? Um, I don't know what just happened, but a lot of other people... I... Wait, did... did I win, or did I die daisy no i think we but we beat him wait did we get a good ending or a ba bad ending I, I don't know molly my thoughts on this are there's no good or bad ending what but the robot was bad well she was just i don't know malfunctioning not really bad just malfunctioning she's not human she can't be good or bad whoa that just blew my mind wait, didn't, wait now i'm disconnected oh my gosh what's going on here i'm back that crazy robot might still be alive because it was messing with my internet connection oh no megan lives megan lives um i really hope not what i was trying to say before she disconnected my internet was that there's no good or bad ending to this game because a robot can't be good or bad they're just a machine whoa mind blown all right guys we'll see you in our next video this one was kind of crazy bye <laughs>
Can they change grandma back before their mom gets home? Or will they be grounded forever? Watch to the end of this video to find out what happens. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment below. Mmm, this donut is delicious. Maddie, is that all you do is just sit on the couch and eat donuts all day long? I mean, it's Saturday. Don't you want to do something? Yeah, like you, homework. Actually, I'm not. I'm doing homework right now. I'm watching these adorable panda videos. Yeah, well, I'm watching Brooke High, and I have to see what happens to Megan in this episode. Mm. I also have to eat more of this blueberry donut. Girls, girls. <laughs> Hi, girls. Um, I've got to do some work today. What? It's Saturday, Mom. Don't be ridiculous. No, I have to go to the office. It's called adulting. Whoa. Adulting stinks. I hope I never turn into adult. Trust me, Molly. <laughs> Being a kid is way more fun. <laughs> but I really do need to go to the office. Okay, well, see you later. I'm just going to keep eating donuts. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. You know, Molly, eating an apple once in a while wouldn't hurt you. Actually, it'd be really good for you. Yeah, Molly. You just eat a donut diet all the time. I don't just eat donuts. Sometimes I eat cupcakes, and sometimes I eat Reese cups. Oh, Molly. <sighs> Your diet is terrible. We're going to have to work on that. Okay, Mom, sure, but not on a Saturday. Okay, well, we'll see you later, Mom. Oh, no, 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 no. You girls aren't staying home alone. Well, we can't go to the office with you. No, you're going to have a babysitter. Ah, oh, babysitter, Mom, come on. No one wants a babysitter at our age. I know, Molly, but just for now, I think maybe another year with a babysitter. Another year? Oh, we're almost practically grown up. Didn't you just say that you're not an adult yet? Okay, yeah, but I'm old enough to not have a babysitter. I think a babysitter would be fun. Of course you would, Daisy. Such a goody two-shoes. Well, I don't think having a babysitter will be bad. When you find out who it is, you'll be super excited. It's Grandma. Oh, Grandma. You mean your mom, right? No, I mean Dad's mom. Oh, no. What? Your Dad's mom is really nice. I know she's nice, but she's so old. She's like the Crip Keeper. Molly, don't be rude. I think I hear her now. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, these hips don't work like they used to. Why you gotta have so many stairs out front? She complains a lot, Mom. Oh, there you all are. Oh, Grandma, I, I didn't know your hips were so bad you're in a wheelchair now. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a slow wearing out process to be old. Hi, Grandma. It's nice to see you. Good job, Molly. I'm so glad you're being polite. Grandma, I love your hair. You look like a glamour to me. Get it? Glamour? Oh, Daisy, you're so kind. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later. Grandma, call me if you have any problems, okay? Oh, we won't have any problems, will we, girls? No, because we'll probably be so bored. Oh, nonsense. We could play a nice game of, well, Parcheesi or something. Parcheesi? What's that? Ooh, I love Parcheesi. That's when they put Parmesan and regular cheese on the top of your, your pizza. It's so good. I don't think that's what she meant, Molly. Oh, <laughs> no, Molly. Parcheesi is a game. Oh, I thought you were talking about delicious pizza. No, no, no. I can't eat pizza anymore. I'm allergic to dairy. Oh, wow, that's horrible. Getting gold is terrible. Tell me about it. Now, how about we watch one of my shows on TV? Um, ow, oh, Grandma, you ran over my foot with your wheelchair. What's this garbage? Brooke, hi. Turn this right away. Oh, breaking news. Oh, the news. Grandma, that's all you ever want to watch. The news is very informative. Oh, Daisy, can I see you in the kitchen for a minute? Molly, what is it? Uh, Daisy, I have an idea. Is it to eat all the Reese cups again? Because, Molly, oh, you already did that. <laughs> no. Looking up a spell. A spell? What are you talking about? Girls, are you staying out of trouble in there? 
Of course we are, Grandma. <laughs> we wouldn't be getting into trouble, would we, Daisy? Uh, Red, no. Okay, well, could one of you bring me <coughs> a glass of water? <coughs> I choked on my dentures. Ew, gross, Grandma. I'm not taking a glass of water. That's gross. Well, one of us needs to. She choked on her dentures. Ew, Grandma has fake teeth. Gross. Here you go, Grandma. Try not to swallow your teeth again. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why they made these teeth so small. I can swallow them just so easily. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Finally, I found a spell. Molly, what's this spell for? Just need a couple of household ingredients, and everything will be great. Molly, what exactly are you making? Milk, okay. Okay, I should better not drink too much of it. I actually have to make something with this. Molly, what are you making? Tell me right now. Okay, fine, Miss Pushy, Miss Bossy, Miss Grumpy. Molly, quit calling me names. I'm your sister. You have to like me. Correction. I have to love you because you're my sister. I don't really have to like you. Yes, you do, Molly. Okay, shh. Grandma's going to hear you. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Grandma can't hear anything. I am making a spell. Well, actually, a potion to make us adults so we don't have to have a babysitter. Uh, Molly, are you sure that's a good idea? It's a great idea! Quit trying to talk me out of it because I'm doing this. Well, if it works, I guess we don't have to be with boy and grandma all day. Exactly! We can go to the water park, or camping, or, or to the arcade, or the ice cream place, or anywhere we want. Exactly, Molly, let's do this. Is that it, Molly? Ew, it smells horrible. Well, if um we drink it, maybe we'll be grown-ups. Yeah, if we can stomach it. It smells awful. Well, we have to try, Molly. We're going to be stuck with booing Grandma. Hi, guys. Are you home? Hello? Are you there? Brookie! Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you. Hey, I was wondering if you guys wanted to come out and see my new scooter. It's amazing. OMG! Yeah, you got a new scooter? That sounds awesome! But Molly, what about the potion? It'll be here when I get back. Um, what potion? What are you guys talking about? Oh no, <laughs> nothing. She's don't don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Molly! Uh, don't worry about the potion. It's just just a little experiment we're trying. Oh no, Molly. Don't tell me you're trying another one of your experiments. This always ends bad. Let's just go look at the scooter. Come on! Wow, Bucky, your new scooter is amazing! I love the color. The yellow is is so awesome. Reminds me of lemonade. Ah, lemonade. One of my favorites. Along with cupcakes and cookies and pretty much anything sweet. You guys want to go for a ride? Me first! Daisy, no fear. You're already sitting on it. Bye, Molly. See you later. Okay, just never go back now, Bucky, because she's kind of annoying, sister. What? I heard that! Rude! So wait a minute, I don't get a ride on the scooter? Well, she had to go down to the store for her mom and pick up some stuff from the grocery store. Wait, what? But but I wanted a ride. She'll come back later, Molly. Don't worry about it. Ugh, fine. Can't believe you got a ride on the scooter and I didn't. Grandma! Grandma? Where's Grandma? Oh, this looks delicious. What's this? Grandma! No! No, Grandma, don't drink that! OMG, Molly, she drank the potion! Ooh, this tastes really bad. Who made this hot cocoa? I know I taught you girls better than this on how to make hot cocoa. Grandma! Oh my gosh, Daisy, if that potion turns you older, then that means Grandma's gonna turn into a zombie! I mean, she can't get any older than she already is. OMG, she, she she literally is going to turn into a zombie. Oh, I feel really strange. Grandma, it's going to be okay. I'm sorry you're a zombie. What? A zombie? I don't feel like a zombie. I know, it, it's going to happen soon. The transformation, that is. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. I feel like I have a lot more energy. What? What just what just happened to me? Grandma? Oh my gosh, you just got younger! Wait a minute! Woo 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 woo! I thought 
good that potion made you older. Um, me too, but apparently, if you're already old, it makes you young, and you age backwards. Whoa, that's kind of amazing. OMG, I could do about a thousand of these. <laughs> I found the fountain of youth. I mean, it tasted terrible, but who cares? Whee! Oh, I'm going to go run around the block. This is going to be amazing. But Grandma, your bad hips. What bad hips? I feel amazing. Grandma, wait, come back. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Whee! <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I don't even think I could run as fast as Grandma. Holy guacamole. I don't know what you put in that hot chocolate, but it's amazing! Whee! I'm never going back to being old, ever! Um, Daisy, we have a problem. Yeah, you got us into another world of troubles. Go figure. Daisy, I'm serious. What are we going to do about this? Well, it doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. I mean, Grandma's really happy about it. Ooh, I feel kind of funny. Like, you're going to get old and be a zombie? Or maybe end up in the cemetery? Oh, whew, I have to sit down for a minute. No, I don't feel old. I actually kind of feel, well, I don't know. Like, I'm getting younger. What? OMG! Daisy, I, I think she might get younger again! Whoa! I can't believe it! I I turned back into a little kid! Grandma? Oh boy, we're in some serious trouble now, Daisy! Correction, you're in some serious trouble, Molly! It was your potion! Yeah, except for the fact that, uh, you were right in the kitchen when I made it! Molly, how you gonna blame me? It was your idea! <laughs> you guys fight like cats and dogs! <laughs> it's kind of funny! Grandma, are you feeling okay? Who's your grandma? I'm not your grandma. My name's Lily. Um, okay, Lily. Uh, you used to be my grandma. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm no one's grandma yet. I'm just a kid. Oh my gosh, Daisy. She has an amnesia too. She can't even remember that she was our grandma. Well, that makes sense because her brain is so young. Why would she want to be someone's grandma right now? She can't be someone's grandma, so her brain doesn't remember that she's someone's grandma. Um, okay, I think that made sense. Yeah, you know what I mean, Molly. <laughs> I'm going to go jump on the bed and eat all these Reese cups. Actually, I just jump on the couch. That sounds fun. Um, we're not allowed to jump on the couch. Don't care. Whee! This is so much fun. Ooh, mm. This chocolate's delicious. I'm gonna get in the hot tub now. I'm gonna get in the hot tub. Uh, wait, you're not supposed to get in the hot tub. Wait, Molly, um, she's breaking all the house rules. I know, she's like a bratty kid. I never knew my grandma was so bratty when she was a kid. Yeah, all those guilt trips she gave us about you need to be good kids and always listen. And she's being a total brat. Yeah, I guess it takes one to know one, huh? Exactly. Hey, get out of the hot tub or you're going to be grounded. You can't ground me. You're the same age as I am. I don't believe you. Who are you anyway? Get out of my house. This is my house. Don't you think that your house would be different than your granddaughter's? I already told you I'm not your grandma. Do I look like I'm super old like a zombie? Well, uh, five minutes ago you kind of did. Yeah, you were like so old. You, your hips didn't even work anymore. What are you guys talking about? You're being so crazy. Oh, I've got to go eat more snacks. I'm starving. Hey, wait a minute. Don't eat the, all of those snacks because you'll get a stomach ache. Yeah, that's it. You just want to eat them all yourself. That's why. And I'm not going to let you. Well, yeah, it's sort of that too. <laughs> mm. This is like the best ice cream I've ever had. Give me back that ice cream. Ew, you want the ice cream after I've licked it? That's disgusting. Well, I'm just saying, don't don't eat any more. Oh, my goodness. You're eating everything. Ooh, I feel kind of funny. Oh, no, not this again. Not this again. <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> OMG, my grandma just turned into a baby. <sighs> now I have a toddler. I can't believe this. What am I going to do? Well, 
everybody, maybe you shouldn't panic. Oh my gosh, not panic. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Molly, seriously, we gotta figure this out. If mom comes home and sees grandma as a toddler, what you gonna think? I don't know. This is bad. 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 All of your plans usually are, Molly. They usually are. Hey, this isn't a time to tease your sister. Well, there is that, um, catalog of ancient spell books at the school library. Maybe that would have an answer. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, come on, Lily. Or Grandma, or whatever. I just want my mommy. <laughs> okay, I'll take you to your mommy. Come on, follow me. Oh, boy, I hope this works. I hope this works. Don't worry, Lily. We'll have this fixed in no time. And then you'll be back to your old self. Yeah, Molly, her old self. <laughs> you can say that again. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find some books in the library. I hope we can find something. How to turn your enemy into a toad. No. How to make blueberry jam. Seriously, that's in a spell book? Daisy, we've been looking through these spell books for hours and we can't find anything. I know, Molly. I feel like it's no use. You made a potion that is completely irreversible. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Hey, where did Lily go? What? I thought you were watching her. No, I wasn't watching her. I thought you were watching her. Oh, no. The baby ran away. Oh, my gosh. And she's grandma baby. It's not just an ordinary baby. It's an old crib keeper granny baby person toddler. Molly, you're really getting confusing right now. I thought you were babysitting her. Well, I thought you were babysitting her. Now we lost Granny Baby. Well, let's go see if we can find her in quick. Holy guacamole. Lily! Lily! Where are you? Are you in the dumpster? Uh, no. Ew, it stinks in here, though. Lily! Lily, where are you? Lily! Oh, no. Who's calling me? Molly, I don't know. Maybe it's the police and they found Lily. Maybe, but I doubt it. Hello? Oh, hey, Molly. What's up? Oh, hi, Mom. Um, not much. Uh, you know, just hanging out with Grandma. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds fun. Um, I'll be home in ten minutes. Ten minutes? What? What are you talking about? Um, I thought you'd be excited I was coming home from the office early. Maybe we could go to the water park? Uh, no, no. No, I'm good. You could stay at the office. Molly, you seem suspicious. Molly, I'll be home in ten minutes, okay? Okay! Daisy, we have to get home! But what about Lily? I don't know. We're gonna have to tell Mom. We've got to be home, though, when she's home. She's gonna be really mad. And she's gonna ground us, like, forever. Well, Molly, at least go the right way, then. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> We're probably going to be grounded for the rest of our lives. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. We gave Grandma a new lease on life. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're definitely getting grounded forever. <laughs> Dizzy, what's that sound? Sounds like someone's sleeping. Oh, my gosh. Look, it's Lily. She's sleeping under the coffee table. That's a weird place to sleep. Not if you're a toddler. Basically, you can fall asleep anywhere. OMG! I just had a huge idea! Oh boy, not again. I can't deal with any more of your ideas, Molly. No, seriously, Daisy. We we could give Grandma some more of the potion. Oh yeah, because that worked out so well for us beforehand. No, seriously. If we give Grandma the potion, it should change her back. How do you figure, Molly? It, it worked backwards. Yeah, if you're old already, it makes you young. If you're young, it makes you old. And now Grandma's young. <gasps> Molly, so it'll make her old again. That's right, but we need to give her a double dose because Granny was really old. Ew, this stuff smells horrible. Oh, Lily, wake up. I want my mommy. <laughs> Lily, it's going to be okay. I made some delicious hot chocolate. Ooh, hot chocolate. That's right. You want it? Here you go. Ooh, it tastes bad. Drink it all anyway. Molly, don't be rude. You gotta drink it all. I don't want to drink it. Well, you gotta drink it. You have to. Oh, boy, Molly. You're a bad babysitter. Well, good thing she's actually our babysitter. Oh, you're funny. 
you feel super fun? Oh, my hips. They hurt so bad. Where's my wheelchair? Grandma? Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I think my memory might be going a little crazy because I don't remember what happened today. Oh. Grandma, uh, no big deal. You just fell asleep, that's all. Yeah, Grandma, we're just so happy to have you back. Back? Where'd I go? Back from La La Land when you were sleeping. <laughs> from your dreams, of course. You girls are acting so peculiar today. <laughs> yeah, sure, Grandma, sure. Hi, guys, I'm home. Oh, <laughs> hi, Grandma. Oh, hi, dear. Yes, they were perfectly good little angels. Mom, hi, you're home. Uh-huh, I told you 10 minutes. What'd you guys do today? Did you have uh, anything fun to do? Nah, it was totally an ordinary day. Right, Daisy? Yeah, boring even. Totally ordinary. Oh, yes, very ordinary. Except for the fact I can't remember most of it. What did you say, Grandma? She didn't say anything. Totally ordinary. Okay, well, Grandma, you gotta go home now. Thanks for watching us. <laughs> See you next time. Oh, I'm just glad you girls had such a boring, ordinary day. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Whew, that was a close one. Another glorious day of school. Ugh, another day of school. Ugh, don't remind me. Whoa, look at Sarah's car. It's so cool. Yeah, everybody knows that Sarah's really rich and popular. It's just sort of a known fact in school. Hey, losers. Good morning. And she's also a bully. Also a known fact in school. Holy guacamole, is that a Ferrari? Oh, M G. Whose car is that? Taylor Swift? I don't know, but oh my gosh. Um, hi, are you Taylor Swift? What, me? No. <laughs> my name is Charlotte, and I'm new here. Hi, I'm Molly. Whatever, your car's not that cool. Why are you at my school? She just said she's a new student. You have beautiful hair, Charlotte, and I love your outfit. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and this is just my first car. I also have a second and third one. Whoa, you're very cool. She's not that cool. Good morning, class. Everybody, I need you to calm down, please. I have a big announcement. We have a new student. Her name is Charlotte. Hi, everybody. I'm Charlotte. I'm sure we're all going to be the best of friends. Oh, that's very nice, Charlotte. You can take a seat anywhere you like and... Um, uh, where did you guys leave off in your last class? Oh, we were doing some Algebra 1. Whoa, you guys were advanced. Yeah, but it's okay. I'll just sit quietly and wait till you get to that part in this class. Thanks, Charlotte. What a great student. Um, okay, so can anyone... T okay, um, can you guys share workbooks? All right, thank you. Um, can anyone tell me the answer to number one, please? How about you, Sarah? Oh, wait, your workbook's not out. What's going on, Sarah? I just don't feel like it today. Something made me really grumpy when I got here to school. Okay, Sarah, but I still need you to do your schoolwork, okay? I know the answer! Of course she does, because she drives a cool car and she's super smart. Ugh. Wow, you figured that out even before I did, Charlotte. Thanks for sharing your workbook with me, Daisy. Oh, no problem, Charlotte. I'm a good student, so you can always hang out with me in class. Okay, Charlotte, what's the answer? Um, I'm going to say that it's B. Oh, very good, Charlotte. You really were advanced at your last school. You really were advanced. Blah, blah, blah. Isn't Charlotte just so perfect? Okay, class, that's the bell. Time for lunch. Yes, lunch, my favorite subject. <laughs> I hope we're having something delicious today. Hey, Charlotte, you can sit next to me if you want. Oh, thanks, Molly. That's super nice. Last one to the school lunchrooms, a rotten egg, Daisy. <laughs> and then you have to eat it in a rotten egg sandwich. <laughs> one piece of pizza, one bag of Doritos, and my mom said I have to pick something healthy at lunch. So one green apple, please, Large Marge. And what's that going to be, $5? No charge today, kids. Seriously? Lunch is free? <laughs> no, lunch isn't free. It's just that the new girl, Charlotte, paid for everyone's school lunch today. Wow, that was so nice. Thank you, Charlotte. 
Of course she paid for everyone's lunch because she's rich and perfect. And now she's going to be more popular than me. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm the most popular girl in school. Molly, what are you wearing? I accidentally forgot my gym clothes at home. And, um, well, I had to pick these out from the nurse's lost and found box. Oh my gosh, Molly, you don't even have sneakers. I don't need sneakers. I can still play soccer. Hey, Charlotte, you want to be on my team? Sure, I'll be on your team. Then I'm definitely being on your team, too. No, Daisy, she's going to be on my team. Don't fight, guys. I'll be on both of your teams. <laughs> I can tell already you're going to be the most popular girl in the entire school, Charlotte. No, she's not. I'm the most popular girl. Well, it seems like not for long. Charlotte is perfect at everything. How are you at soccer? Um, well, I, I'm pretty good. Uh, well, maybe she'll be terrible at soccer. Whoa, look at her footwork. She's amazing at soccer. Ugh, just my luck. Ugh, this is the worst day ever. Where is the rest of the squad? Um, Sarah, well, um, a lot of us caught the stomach bug. I'm finally feeling better and... I didn't ask how you were feeling. We have to win this competition and... Hey, everybody, um, we're ready to do the cheers. I still can't believe you made it on the cheerleading squad. Well, maybe we could open up the squad to some new people. I mean, it seems like Charlotte wants to join. What? No. We'll just do the competition with the three of us. It doesn't matter if everyone else has a stomach bug. We can do it with just the three of us. But what about all the throws and lifts and cheers that need like eight people? At least four people. I don't care. She's not on the squad. She doesn't know any of the cheers. I'm a really fast learner, Sarah. I'm sure that I could figure out the cheers. Watch this. I was a, I was cheerleading captain at my old school. Did you hear that, Sarah? She was cheerleading captain just like you. Maybe she's just as good or even better, which means we could we could win the competition. Uh-oh. She said that she was better than Sarah. This isn't going to be good. No one is a better cheerleader than me. Well, I think we should give Charlotte a chance. Since the whole squad pretty much has the stomach bug, we need as many cheerleaders as we can get for this competition. Ugh, I don't think so. I'm the captain. I get to say what happens to this cheerleading squad. Well, let me just show you what I've got. Okay, guys? Then you can decide. Vocal percussion on a whole nother level. Coming from my mind. Vocal percussion on a whole nother level. Coming from my mind. <laughs> She's amazing! Charlotte, you should definitely be on our squad. Yeah, she'll help us win the competition, no problem! Ugh, this cannot be my life right now. I am getting so angry right now, and I'm feeling really jealous and... Ugh. Whoa, what's wrong with Sarah? She looks green! She must have caught that stomach bug and she has to have diarrhea now, because that's what happened to me. Oh, no. Well, Charlotte, I guess you're the new cheerleading captain. Really? Me? Amazing! Are you serious right now? This is Charlotte's house and she has her own helicopter? Ugh, she is so annoying! I'm starting to get really mad and really, well, jealous! Oh, not again! I've turned green! I'm so jealous! She can't be perfect. No one is ever this perfect. I'll just spy on her and see what her secret is that makes her, well, a loser. Miss Charlotte, can I make you something? A snack or something? Oh, thanks. Um, hmm. Can I have some strawberry shortcake, please? Oh, I whipped up a batch of that this afternoon. Are you kidding me? She has, she has a, a personal chef and maid? Oh, she really does have the perfect life. I can feel myself getting greener by the second. I'm so jealous and angry. But <laughs> I can always make her look like a loser to everyone in school, even if she's not. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. I can't believe I'm going to be in the school talent show. <laughs> this is going to be the perfect song. I just know it. I'm at Granny's house and I'm kind of sad I came. I'm at Granny's house and she's totally insane. Crazy Granny, crazy Granny, crazy Granny, yeah. Thank you for the applause. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, man. She just sang a song. I'm going to sing at the talent show. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What am I going to sing now? What am I going to sing now? 
Well, I guess I could sing, um, the piggy song. Yeah, that'll have to do. Wow, that's a lot of people. Getting kind of nervous. Okay, here we go. P-I-G-G-Y. Oh, oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, man. I totally made myself into a laughing stock. Good thing I went to Sephora and bought that makeup that could cover my green, jealous skin. But I won't be jealous for long when I dump this bucket of water on Charlotte's head during her performance. <laughs> That'll show everyone exactly how much of a loser she really is. <laughs> Next up, we have our new student, Charlotte, who's going to be doing an amazing dance for us. Why is that bucket of water not dumping on her head? What's going on with that? Oh, all right, maybe I could just sneak out behind her and, and see why it's not dumping. I, I, I'm pulling a string. Oh, I need to I need to embarrass her or else she's going to become the most popular girl in school. Hey, why is Sarah on the stage? What's she doing? She's probably just trying to steal shot its thunder. Ah! Ah! <gasps> Her skin is green! She looks weird like an alien! What? I'm not! I'm not weird looking! Um, Sarah, are you okay? Don't even talk to me! Ah! Wow! I thought my performance was embarrassing. Um, everyone, um, thank you for watching my dance, and, um, thank you for coming. I'm the last performer of the night, and we really appreciate you supporting our school and our school talent show. Wow, well, at least Charlotte handled that with grace and ease. I'm ruined! I'm no longer the popular girl, or the cheerleading captain, or the best at everything! <sighs> hi, hi! I've got to run away to a new school where no one knows me and I can be the most popular girl again. Hey guys, what's up? Today Daisy and I are... Whoa! Daisy, your hair looks crazy! So does it yours, Molly? Whoa, you're getting old. You're 43 now. How come we, in real life... I'm the younger one. Well, in Roblox, you old girl. <laughs> um, today, guys, we are playing. Um, every second you grow older, and uh, yeah, pretty much, I am getting so old. Look at me. Oh, my hair keeps changing. Yeah, it will, Molly, as you get older and older and older. <laughs> I have no idea uh exactly what you do in this game. It just looked really fun because, yeah, you just keep getting old. Now, what do you guys think is a bad idea? Going over a glass bridge when you're 76 years old? Probably a bad idea. And guys, my hair just turned gray. I still look gorgeous, though, even if I'm a granny. All right, glass bridge, guys. Let's do this. I'm moving so slow. Ow! <laughs> now I need a crutch, guys. How come I have a Medusa snake in my hair? Is that just a part of turning 98? Maybe I'm like a witch or something. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm just like trucking along even though I'm an old lady. 108? Holy guacamole. Oh, no. Oh, look at there's like a little kid over there and there's somebody who's like super old. Uh oh, I just got a wheelchair <laughs> and a blanket. Molly, look at me. I'm 134 years old. Yeah, me too. Oh, we're adorable old ladies. We are, Molly. We are. We never got married. We never had any kids. Yeah, we're just two old ladies. All right, Deadly Obby, level very hard. And I'm wondering if I can do this with my wheelchair because... Ooh, what? What is that? <laughs> Holy macaroni. Uh, Molly, apparently when you get to age... 160, you're just creepy. Yeah, apparently. I'm like the Crypt Keeper! What? Oh my God, it's in my wheelchair! <laughs> Daisy, ow! You landed on my head with your wheelchair. That's rude. Sorry, I'm just trying to do this obby. And I fell. Actually, I'm doing better at this obby now that I'm 190 years old than when I was young. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, I'm doing 
doing so good and I'm almost 200 years old. Very proud of that right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what's my face now? Wait, what? Did I turn into a wrinkled prune? I sort of look like I am. I can't wait to see what I'm going to be when I'm like 250 years old. No! Oh! I did really good though. I almost made it, guys. Wait, what do you get if you make it all the way to the end? Nothing. Oh, Daisy, you fell. Come here, you wrinkled old prune. <laughs> All right, this game's ridiculous and also so fun. Molly, I feel like, I feel, well, ugly! <laughs> Good thing you don't live to this age in real life. Ugh. Oh, look, disappearing stairs. Very easy. This would be good for somebody who's 250 years old! Oh, what's wrong with me? I just turned into, like, I told you I'm a witch. Look at me. I'm young again. Don't be mean to me. I'm 270 years old! I'm going as fast as I possibly can, people. Imagine how much you could accomplish if you were on the planet for 300 years. You could have several houses, lots of cars, tons of money. You could probably solve every problem in the world if you're around for that long. One eternity later. Oh my gosh, this never ends. How much longer is this? Ay, 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 ay. Oh, wait a minute. I think I finally made it to the top. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna collect my win. Whoa, look at me. I look creepy. Oh, wait till you get to my age there, youngster. <laughs> when you're 370 years old. The looker. Level hard. Oh, wow. This is like red light, green light, but his face just disappears. I have 15 wins to play. Blah! I wanted to play. Okay, too bad. Too bad. You can't play until you get 15 wins. Stinky, stinky. Um, I'm like some sort of demon now. Let's click shop and see what we can get. <gasps> Ooh, I can buy wins. What? 250 Robux. You must be out of your mind. All right, 99 Robux. I feel like that could be more fair. Um, but I, but that still doesn't give me enough wins. Wait a minute. Why did I do that? Well, wait a minute. If I did that plus I bought it again, then I would have enough wins. Uh, Molly, I'm not sure that math was what you really needed to do. It was what I needed to do. Now I can go in and play the looker. The looker. Ooh, what? Oh, man, I died already. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he looks grumpy. Go, 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 go. Stop. I'm playing him really safe, guys. I'm playing him really safe. Go, 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 go. Ah, no. Oh, man, I died already. Um, holy guacamole. You can see, like, my spine coming out of my body. What? Guys, someone is mowing their lawn outside of my room right now. And it's, like, so loud. Don't they know I play Roblox? Guys, I'm getting closer. Do you see that award right there? I'm about to win it. Oh, yeah. It only took me 526 years to figure this out. Oh, I'm so close to my award. Ooh. Ah Wait, what? Wait, what? He got you with the last minute. What? No! Oh my gosh. That is so annoying. Three hours later. Okay, going. Yes! I got my win. I got two wins. And I bought a bunch of other ones. Okay, I gotta go find Daisy. Molly, I'm in the maze. Come in here. It says it's level easy, but I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, guys. Let's go see if we can help Daisy. Also, the lawnmower is still outside my um, room right now. I'm really sorry if it's loud. I'm... I can't help it if someone mows their lawn, okay? What do you guys want me to do? Play Roblox in my closet or something? Um, yeah, you can't even cheat with this maze because you can't, like, zoom out and see where you're going. I'm so lost. Molly, maybe it's because you're old. You don't know what's happening anymore. Uh, no, I know exactly what's happening. Look at me, I'm, like, trotting along. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I have to go poo-poo. Molly! Shouldn't you be wearing diapers or something? You're old now. What? No. I cannot find my way out of here. Oh, God, guys. I'm stuck in here. Wait a minute. What's this? It's a giant wall of... I don't know. It kind of looks like... I don't know. I, I, I don't even want to take a guess. That was creepy. Oh, my gosh. No, there's creepy things in here. Look at those faces. Daisy, I found you! Hey, Molly! Look at his witch winsies. Uh, Daisy, do you know how to get out of here? Uh, well, uh... Let us out of here, you whippersnappers. You don't change after you get to be like 600 years old. Your face never changes. Oh my gosh. I don't think we went out the other side though. So we did not get a, an award. I feel very upset about that right now. All right, DZ, I'm going to wait till I get to a thousand and then I'm going to respawn. It's a cute little 
little baby. One lifetime later. Whoa, how come Daisy's so much older than me still? I don't know, buddy. Oh my God, Daisy. Look at you. You really do look like a witch. Is that going to happen to me? No, I don't want to be a hundred, a thousand. Oh no. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm rebirthing. You will lose all your age and you will be reset to age zero once you rebirth you will age slower oh look at me i'm bald and adorable oh and i can run faster oh thank goodness being old was the pits oh look at daisy oh whoa you're huge <laughs> hold on i want to go see my sister oh my gosh hey quit knocking my sister over you big bully Molly, look at me. I'm so cute. I'm cute too. I'm age 26 though. I'm older this time. I feel like we should have sat in these rockers like when we were so old. I know. We could have just like been, I don't know. When we turned a thousand, we just looked crazy. Yeah, exactly. We just sit in our rocking chair and look crazy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching us age to a thousand. Every second, we kept getting older and older. It was crazy. Totally, Molly. We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Molly, what is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry! Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't! I'm starving! Mom, help! Can't wait any longer! Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! No! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad! Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and, um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so... Guess I don't have to do it tonight! Molly, pff, whatever, you still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just gonna skip it. Molly, no you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh! The answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer! Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog! It's smiling! <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready! Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly is still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair! Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Ugh. If only I could live a life like my dad. Mom! 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 Yes, girls? Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no. It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please?
What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly! Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom! Dad! Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute! I didn't know I was a part of this decision! What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow... Um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. <laughs> um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right, yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxier. Delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. <laughs> Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we, um, borrow your car? What? No way! Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh. All right. But be careful, okay? We will! Come on, Daisy! <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. 
Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy's after me. P I G G Y. Piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight, I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the, po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you going to do with that much money anyway? Um... Duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. We might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well. It was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. 
Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they were on their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Marley? Yep, pretty much. I'm going to start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Marley, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Marley. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Marley, did you eat a thousand dollars worth yet? Not even close. Marley, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Where's their bathroom? Marley, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Marley, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Marley, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Marley, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Marley, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Marley. This is just crazy. Hey, Mom, I'm going outside to practice with my soccer ball. Okay, Molly, have fun. Thanks. I'm going to make it on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot, and then I'll get really good, and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um... Maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my 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 soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now, but can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now, but don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What? Are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever. Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever. Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to skip ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that my best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class, Um, everybody come on in. Come on. 
We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test! I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew! I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Rookie... Brittany doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go wait, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I... I'm having the worst life ever! Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore! What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore? This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the... In my locker! What? Let me see that. It says... Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend, and you've been that way since preschool, since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my God. Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh... Oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's, she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. Well, I guess I should go home and do all that homework. Ugh. I just wish my day would get better. I lost my best friend. Rookie? What are you doing here? Hi, Molly. Um... Uh, I brought a pizza. Why'd you bring a pizza? I thought you didn't want to be my friend anymore. Wait, what? I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore. Really? What's this letter say then? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't write that letter. Wait a minute. Did Sarah write this letter? Maybe. Why you been hanging out with her then? You know she's a bully and I told you yesterday she was so mean to me. I was even crying on the phone and everything. I just thought if I was friends with Sarah, maybe, maybe since she doesn't have any friends, it would change her heart to good. 
she wouldn't be a bully anymore. Really? That's what you were trying to do? Thought if I won her over and was friendly to her, she wouldn't be mean to my BFF anymore. I hate to see you in pain, Molly. You were doing this all for me? <laughs> it really didn't seem that way. Sorry, Molly. I realized that the only person that can change Sarah is, well, Sarah. And it seems like she doesn't really want to change, so... <sighs> I told her we can't be friends until she starts being nice again. Wow, well, that's pretty amazing, Brookie. Thanks for sticking up for me like that. Is it okay if I come in? This pizza is getting really hot on my fingers. Oh yeah, sorry, come on in. And uh, bring the pizza, I'm starving. <laughs> holy guacamole, I mean holy pizza. This is delicious. I got it just for you, Molly, with my allowance. Oh, thanks, Brookie. You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. Ooh, something smells delicious. Glad to see you guys made up. So why didn't you respond to my text, Molly? I didn't even read it. Well, maybe I should read it now. Seems like you guys are BFFs again. Um, okay. Molly, I love you. You're my best friend. I'm sorry if you're hurting. Please talk to me so that I can help make it better. Oh, Brookie. It was seriously nice of you. Mm. But the nicest thing you've ever done is bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, Molly, I'll be your BFF until I'm old and gray. And I'll be yours, Brookie. And I'll be yours. 